I actually think... Oh no, we can jump there. That shouldn't have got my feet wet and it didn't, that's good. I just don't want to get wet. Wet feet right now would be bad news. Yeah, HB, I think you're right. I think that's exactly what it's happened. They've probably locked both doors to make a fire. I think you're, you're bang on. Uh, Hercule Poirot bombs himself there. Lock both doors, make a fire, unlock door, leave. Do I need that? I don't really need that. But I like to carry things I don't really need. It's like my thing. Glock. Ooh, okay, well, I've got to drop you then. I've been dark blue for too long here. I really need to get yellow temperature. Sorry, I need to get uh, the plus symbol. The dark blue is not going to kill me. I'm not getting frostbite. It's not the end of the world. But I really shouldn't be letting it run this far. If I was going light blue when I was inside houses, it would kind of be okay. But, oh, look at that. It's not going quite right at the moment. We're not... We're losing too much temperature. We're losing too much energy as well. This is burning energy like crazy. Surprised I don't double carry? Well, I don't really want to drop the fishing rod. Is the only reason I'm not double carrying. I think I will for the shotgun, though. The sport is just not an end game gun. I don't really... I think I'm going to have to break this down. I, I'm, tr I'm just... I'm carrying shit I don't need. This fanger. I don't really need that. But it sounds good, doesn't it? Do I even need the rope? Well, not really, but I'll take it. Right, that's kind of what I was here for, more than the Glock, to be honest, was the stab vest. What's the heat value of this? A medium, okay. It's not great, but the stab vest is so important. It's the difference between life and death with a uh, with a blaze round. Blaze round to the chest, it's the difference between life and death. Same for an SKS round as well. Christ, I got through that door a bit quick, didn't I? That was... Uh that was ma ma mad. Fucking madness it was. Right, more 9mm. That's good too. I definitely need a smoke grenade. It's getting light. Right, I think we'll make a fire. I keep saying it. I'm going to make it in that house there, but before I do, we'll loot this one. I'm glad we came here, though. I nearly didn't bother, but Delina was definitely worth it. 308 up the... Well, we've not got the bullets, but we've got the gun. 308 is no mean feat. We are also gradually building up our frost resistance now, because I've been playing with fire a little bit on the dark blue temperature. Oh, good. Oh no! Oh. <sighs> I had to get the Glock in my hands. Fair play to him. How did he get round there? That Well, he got round there quicker than I thought he would. I had 4308 as well, didn't I? I did, yeah. I hadn't even realised. I picked them up really early. So we've just spent an hour and 14 minutes uh, gearing up to get killed. Oh, we've got an interesting spawn, but... It's funny, when uh, when the game gets harder, I'm not judging by the way, I might have killed me as well, so I'm not judging that dude, but everyone thinks when you make the game harder, you make interactions more common, you do not. If you have to struggle like fuck for an hour to get to Delina, you'll shoot whoever you want to, you, you see, whoever you see, you'll shoot, because you need their stuff, you know, it's more common, like the harder they make the game, the more common KOS becomes. <laughs> Is kind of the, the way it is. So, yeah, I, I, it, it's going to happen. I, shit happens. I made one mistake there. I, I, I thought I'd put myself in a cover and I left myself open to the window. I should have gone prone. But what I was thinking in my mind there was unship the bullets from the Glock. get the Because I hadn't got all of my bullets in the Glock mag. So my plan was to just put as many bullets in the Glock as possible and then defend the building. I might even have made a fire and just started getting warm while I did it as well. But... My plan was a bad plan, clearly. Never mind. It's a bit annoying, but but we died to a player that killed me, you know? Shit happens. 
unfortunately, it means we're now resetting fucking plus symbols. We're we're starting from scratch. We've got all of that that first hour to restart, but at least we've got a decent spawn with which to do it. Big Shug, basically, if you stay light blue or dark blue uh, and don't keep making fires and warming up, you, uh, please don't get us cut. One more stick and no cut, please. You gradually get resistant to the cold. So this bar gradually starts creeping up along there. The longer you're in the cold for, the, the longer that bar goes up. I think it takes something like 15 hours to uh, get the frost resistance up all the way. This isn't Berezina, no, it's not. It's Cherno. Cherno. Chernerus? No, it's Cherno. Uh, happy bombs. Funny enough, I uh, I said exactly that. Uh, Tissy, it really. It, I don't think it needs them everywhere, but like somewhere like Tissy really needs it, because there's nowhere to make a fire. There's no buildings you can make fires in. You know, like a cup. Like you know, the uh, the newer building that in Tissy you've got like the camo building, and to one side you've got the headquarters, and the other side you've got that kind of single story, like open rubbly building. It could do with one in there, like places like that. A few little places like that in Tissy where you could make a fire. The blue tin shed building, you know, stuff like that. If it had one in it, would be really, really useful. I actually sent some wreck a message this morning myself. Not about anything as useful as that. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Uh, 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 uh. That really sucks. I'm a bit annoyed at myself there, just because I let... He only had a pistol as well. I had more gear than he did, I think. I just wasn't ready, you know. I hadn't really thought about the bullets. I picked up four bullets really early on. Uh, hungry, I literally just got killed, so we're starting from scratch. Starting from scratch dark blue at the fire and the fire's not getting warm so this is this is going to be challenging isn't it in fact let's uh, let's do that we should we should do that and use it as a heat pack i probably shouldn't do it with a stone because stones don't get any heat do they yeah we're on winter yeah i just got killed in delina which is kind of annoying but there we are he must have hit me in the head there as well the the he didn't even make me bleed with the first shot because i had the stab vest on but the second shot will have been a headshot, and that was it. You know, game over. Jesus Christ, it's cold here, isn't it? Look at that. We've got our single can of tuna as a heat pack. No, it's just made us go light blue. The fire will start warming up now. Once it gets to about 600, we should be good. Maybe 7. Uh, poison, I don't know. I don't know how you change character model from the DZSA launcher. I never really bothered. I just have a random character and don't really care. If, I'd like to work out how to make it so I'm always Burnside, but I, I can never be asked to work it out, so I just take a random character. So that's my first legitimate death on the new Winter Server, anyway. Uh, at least it changes the last death from that god-awful fucking car going three miles an hour killing me. Steve driving. It, it, it only takes a second to get killed in DayZ, yeah. It's time to Had nothing interesting to care, but can't waste this opportunity to share. Job done. <laughs> Kenny, well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Cheers for the tier three. Ten months, dude. That's really kind. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support. Ron, thank you for the bits. Gaming Nana, thank you for gifting beer shots. Sorry it took me a while to get there. I hope you're good. Thank you very, very much for the gifted sub. Thank you. MT32, cheers for the prime. Ron, thank you for the bits as well. You have to load the game before you hit play. But how do you do that by joining the server from the launcher, though? You know, if you want to join a, join a server and have it set up all the mods for you, it puts you into the server queue, doesn't it? Irish, I think I think a lot of the mods that are on the mouse are available for every server to use, so 
Sumrak's not involved in it, no, but he's made the the tools that made Namalsk available to other people so they can put them on their servers if they want. You can launch with a character option. What, in the DZSA launcher low level? Alright, I probably won't remember, but... Google the character name and add the character into your launch options. In Steam, you mean low level? Okay. What's the name of the Burnside character, the second oldest one? For no special occasion, I just want to tell you you're awesome, you are how you are, uh, and, and how much your content has helped me through these tough times. Steve Driving, ah, oh, thank you, dude. Well, I hope the tough, tough times are over, man. Hit load instead of play. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, cheers for the support. Kenny, Ron, Gaming, Nana, and uh, MT. Thank you. Yeah, okay, that kind of makes sense. Wouldn't it be cool if his name is Dave? How cool would that be if that dude's name was Dave? That would be hilarious. You have to make a character each server. Well, if you if you can put their name in those launch launch options, you don't need to do that. So if you can put that if if it's in the Steam launch options, it will always do it for you, won't it? That would seem the best way to do it and make sure you're always the same dude. Or Frank, yeah. <laughs> Frank Burnside. Oh, shite. Fucking shite bollocks. Has it gone out? Completely gone out. Do I stay? It's still smouldering. I think it might give me the plus symbol before it stops smouldering, but if I go away, we've got to restart anyway, so we might as well wait and hope. So rare that three sticks isn't enough to give you the plus symbol. Come on. Come on, you know you want to do it. We've got about five seconds before that fire goes out. Come on. Come on! Fuck me. Yes! <laughs> We ran out of sticks and we just that that's the best thing we've done today. Right, well you never know. I might put this unedited from YouTube just before I got killed, right? So maybe this week's video might be unedited on this life, right? So hello YouTube, I just got killed and then we sat by a fire and did nothing for a, for five minutes. This is an excellent start to a video, right? <laughs> I'm kinda hoping I can put this on YouTube so that I don't have to edit tomorrow Thursday. Because I want to stream tomorrow, really, secretly. So, uh, this is Winter Chernerus on the Zero server. It's got Namalsk settings uh, with uh, Chernerus map. So, it's proper winter, frostbite. You need to get the plus symbol. Uh, if you get cold, you get frostbite. You lose 10% health if you get it in one place and then another 10 and so on. Uh, and it's very, very hardcore. So, yeah, that's what we're playing. Hopefully, you enjoy this. I played it for six hours yesterday and died to a bug in a car. Otherwise, you'd be getting that life. It was epic. So hopefully this life will be better. That was like a YouTube intro. I always do it in like one take as well. That's how it's always done, obviously. Anyway, let's go. Uh, just don't get in a car again. Name Ram. Yeah, I think that might be right. By the way, YouTube, this is not the intro anymore. We're back to the stream now. Back in the stream. Oh, God, it was a big bug. Yeah, I hit one of those. I hit one of those at two miles an hour because the, the, the car was bouncing everywhere. And then it put me into a tree at 220 miles an hour, or kilometers an hour, whatever. Either way, it was a pain in the jacksy. Oh, God. Well, what's annoying about it is that I got in the car, and I said to, the, to you guys in the chat watching, I said, if you get in a car and it's like this, don't drive it. And then I proceeded to drive it. and <laughs> Don't do what TRMZ does. It was basically the message. And then I showed you why. Fucking so annoying. So annoying. So I could potentially start this, couldn't I? It could go on YouTube unedited. I could do it like two minutes before I died. 
get killed and then we start the next life and then the video begins, you know? You know, that would that would work, wouldn't it? You know what they say, the best teachers demonstrate, Zillot. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top educational stream. Village idiot. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. I, I, I don't mind editing tomorrow. You know, I, I'm really liking YouTube. I really want to keep it going. I want to keep doing a video a week and whatnot. But this week, I've got the kids coming. Uh, I can't... Oh, someone's blown the gas pumps by the look of it. Oh, there's actually different stuff here. I oh, know. We'll have a look at that in a sec. It's not gas pumps. Yeah, the uh, my, I've got to go and pick my kids up on Friday, so I can't stream Friday like I normally do. And kind of streaming is my job, and YouTube is kind of like the sideline hobby, if you like. So I want to look at that, but we're going to have to go this way first. So we're, I, I don't know, I, I would like to really put Sunday's video be an unedited one this week so that I can stream tomorrow. Uh, but it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit of a balance. It's a tricky one, really, because I like and want to keep doing both. But... If, if I have to choose one week between YouTube and Twitch, I'm always going to choose Twitch because that's how I'm paying the mortgage. I'm not, I'm not with YouTube. I, I, I enjoy YouTube and I'm, I want to carry on, don't want to stop, but it's a tricky balance. Groundhog, do you think so? I don't know. What is this, do you reckon? And what the hell is smoking here? Just a big fire. Oh wow. Do I get ill if I go on that? No. Why did I think I wouldn't? That's lucky. That's cool, isn't it? So someone set up I reckon if you saw a great big like uh, massive infected being blazed, I think what you'd definitely do is go and run along in between. You like play dead when amongst them. Yeah, that that we're we're kind of wasting the plus symbol. We better get a move on. That is cool, isn't it? Oh look, you can, it's kind of like an action shot. So all of these feel like thumbnails to me. Winter Chernerus. You can tell when I feel like it's a thumbnail because I turn the uh, I turn these dealies off. <laughs> Tiger, yeah, I got I got shot dead, dude. Exclamation last death. Anything that goes on your bombs is a good thing right now. What were my boots actually? Well we've got best insulation now, that's good. This grenade's kinda cool. It's a it's a modded one on this server. Uh, but it's 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 actually one that was in one of my Essica Epic Moments videos, I think it was. It knocks people unconscious for twenty odd seconds, so it's the one where somebody killed me and then I went running in afterwards and just dropped it on the floor and he was like showing off about how he was killing me and whatnot and he pretended to be my friend and then I dropped it on the floor, knocked him on con and took all his shit and ran away. I like that. Oh my god, that spectroscope is amazing. Add a little water and you can go fishing, just like my first experience of Livonia. I decided I needed to fish when they were like in the pond full of dead zombies. Yeah, Rebo, that's the thing that I hate most about being a streamer. I wanted to put that up to YouTube. It felt like an amazing adventure, and I had all of the stuff to go to the gas zone on my very first life, which I think was cool, you know. Very first life on a really tough server. It's actually, by all accounts, Happy Bombs has tweaked it slightly today to make it just a tiny bit easier. I don't know what he's done. Don't really care, you know. Like, we'll see how it goes. There's some medical stuff in there. But, uh, yeah, it, it was... It's, it was made a tiny bit easier, so we had it the hardest it's going to be. And uh, six hours later got killed by a bug, or by a car in Daisy. I shouldn't have driven it though, I should have known better. It's kind of cool. That's, that's not so good though. A bandage is really what we want. It's a bit tricky to carry significant gas stuff when you've got no backpack, you know, we're going to struggle to carry shit. That is good, balaclava. What is that? It's like someone's left a turd in the bed. Is that what that, what is that? Wow. 
Well. I don't want to sleep next to that guy. <laughs> I bet it must be fun, like, doing the server, like... When, when you're doing a server like this and creating it, and you've got, like, the little bit of freedom to add a few things in like that. I bet it's fun. Like, you must be, like, people are, like, whoever edited that must have been thinking, this will make somebody laugh when they see it. Like, little, little things like that. I think that must be quite cool to do. Not that close, you'll get pink eye. <laughs> I'm not into scatology. Right, now we are risking frostbite. We also have an audio bug, so I'm going to have to relog at some point. You can hear the sound has gone wrong. It's going occasionally. Yeah, we definitely have an audio bug. Another MP5, but no mag. So I am risking frostbite in my hands, and I, I don't really want to do that, do I? The biggest problem I've got now, I've got nothing to cut... Uh, got nothing to cut my, my rags with, you know, sorry, cut the sticks with yet. No axe, no white knife, no nothing. So if I get a bleed doing this, I've got to use one of my few bandages, and I'm going to end up running out, you know. We, hopefully we get lucky. How can I do this? Mm. I can't do it because I need to carry that. Oh well, it's only it's only some rags. We'll we'll get more. It's not like clothes are hard to find, are they? You know, we'll, we'll be right. Try and work out where to make the fire now. I think we're just going to go this way. This is a slight risk, but I'll just do the last building, and then we'll go to that little time behind. I think I want to be in a house. There's not much point trying to make the fire outside. It's just going to be harder to get the plus symbol on. MP5s everywhere. And not a bullet to shoot. Got to be a little bit careful. Oh shit, the road flare's not going to last very much longer. No road flare and, and no plus symbol makes uh, TRMZ a dead boy. We'd best go this way. So we've got to cut through, through some trees, getting the first house we see. I was going to go AFK and fix this audio bug. Well, not go AFK, but log out and log back in. But I can't do that either, because the flare will go out, you know. I, I, I guess I could log out within my hand, but even that would be a risk. So I think we're going to get the plus symbol and then log out. I think otherwise we're going to be right in the ship. And whilst we're at these few houses here, we really, really need to get either gloves or something that, that allows me to make future fires. I can't make a fire after this one. I'm kind of in the shit. I really don't want frostbite this early on. It'll go when the event finishes. Oh, is it a bug with that, is it? So it's like a cold event going on or something, is it? Kind of like a... It doesn't feel like I'm getting wet. So, yeah, it's, it's just like a storm, isn't it? Uh, try and make some more space. Yeah, well, Admiral, I'm going to check every building while we're here. There's there's a few places. We, there, we can get gloves in any house as well, but hopefully this will work. I, I'm just a bit worried that even this might not give me the plus while we're standing at this fire. Elder Shell, uh, Elder, Elder Shell, thank you for the 13 months. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. Sir Tavish, thank you for the bits. Have the last of my bits, dude. Thank you for the 19 months. Very cool, man. Thank you. I have nothing interesting to share, but can't waste this opportunity to share. Job done. Kenny, thank you for, the, for that. I read it already, but thank you again, dude. Cheers for the resub. The fishing rod doesn't go on your back. There you go. There's your answer. No bueno. It's time to start running. Uh, Admiral, yes. At the moment, I'm risking frostbite. Even standing here next to the fire, I am still potentially could get frostbite. 
dark blue means you're at risk, and when it goes white, like polar white, you've got it. So, like, that there is close, but it's actually whiter than that. So it, that's that's just turns white when it's in your hand. Uh, but when it goes really, like, blocked white, that's it. You can't You can't fix it. There's no getting over it. Once you've got frostbite, that's it. You've got it. Fire's only 200 degrees at the moment, so it's not. It's going to take a little while. We'll just keep topping this up. This is my. This is the thing that's helping me stay not dark blue at least. And once the fire gets to about 500, we should be all right. I don't know. We'll see how we go. It's a little bit slow paced this, but I really like the challenge of it. You know, it's it's just Chernarus in a very different light. Unfortunately, where we got kind of stuck last time was the death. The death was a real shitter. That death was really painful. Because we'd found a blaze, we'd got a few bullets that I'd forgotten about, and had a Glock and an Amphibia, and uh, we had a start, and all of that is now up the, uh, up the shitter. How would you feel about uh, warm hands emote when around fires? Uh, what did we have instead? I, I guess, I guess we had this. We had like a heat emote and a cold emote, and they may be a bit more simple, but we had those. Which maybe are a bit simple, but I like the running themed emotes, which is why we picked them, or why I picked them. Uh, there was also going to be one for, like, standing on a fire, but I think I, I changed it for something else. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, it got... There was going to be one, because originally on the mouse, you, if you stood on a fire, you could get bugged and die. Thankfully, they fixed the, the fire bug, but or it seems to have fixed. A warm ass emote. Very nice. <laughs> I, I t that, that's the one good thing. I, I, we're kind of changing the subject slightly. Uh, sad Jesus Flames. Thank you. Cheers. It's nice to be mentioned in the same breath, dude. Thank you. Uh, I, I don't know what it relates to a, a warm arse emote, but the, the best thing about getting cold is that we've got a log burner in the front room. Uh, that makes it sound like I live in some posh house. It's not. But it's really cool to put a couple of logs on it and sit there and uh, like warm up. It's, it's great Like in the winter. Like, feeding logs into the fire. It's re I really like that. Ah! Ah! Where are you? What are you doing? Hello? Ah. Sorry! Somebody was cruel to me, I have to return the favour! So I'm gonna die, so I, I need I need loot. This guy's got it. Poor dude, but we just had it done to us, and like I said before, it's kind of survival of the fittest. Shit happens, I'm afraid, but it's the way it needs to be. Sometimes the hump is going to only be getting over. That guy that killed me may only have got over his hump because he killed me, and likewise for me. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I don't really care. I sound like I'm justifying it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Shit happens. <laughs> There's no right and wrong when, when it's a server like this. You've just got to do what you do. Clearly, he didn't know I was in there, though. He had no fucking clue, did he? He had no clue at all. Uh, disinfected. Don't need that. I do feel slightly bad for the guy. Only slightly, though. He thinks he was wearing that belt, I think. So, he's, he was so not observant that he didn't realise that I was in there. Alright, uh... Oh, he was cold. Do I need this fishing rod? I guess I probably do. Let's go with that. Do I need that? No. No, we'll leave that. Let's go. I need to go back to that before the fire goes out. I need to just get my plus symbol quickly. And get away from here as quick as we can. It's very unlikely that he can spawn in and get back to me. Just looking. Can you actually see? You can see the smoke, but it, I can see why he didn't see it. The smoke is really, really faint. In fact, I can't really see it at all. <laughs> I 
his PC just got on Craig, the Craigslist. Yeah, uh, shotgun. You are right, and it was it was kind of bad. It was I, I I'm not going to lie, it was a bad kill, and he did just start talking. But I'd already aimed, and I was already committed by then. But it's tricky. It's so hard. This you know, and we're here. I can't even light another fire. But now, I've used my tool, my four bullets, to give myself. The start, you know, right or wrong, it's the way it's the way you do it, you know, or maybe it's not, you know. We could have teamed up with that die guy and had an amazing adventure. And that I'm a little bit gutted about, if I'm honest, because he spoke after I'd already aimed and started shooting, or just at the point, but it was too late. I was already committed in my mind, that's it, that's what was happening. Uh, and so if he'd spoke a millisecond earlier, I probably would have reined it in. But it was too late. Look at that, there's there's rice there. But yeah, it was it was it was a low kill, but no lower than the guy that just killed me. It's kind of like Daisy, isn't it? This is the thing. It is tricky. The poor dude has actually put some effort in as well. You know, he's been fishing. He's he's done the work for us. Uh, what do we have? That let's put that on the frozen pile. <laughs> I don't think I got... Oh, I did get my tuna back there. It's, it's cold. Let's just heat them up. So what's he got? He's, a, he's got a sporter with a scope. Has he got any more bullets? We can go back and check him again in a minute. But yeah, I'm, it, is, it is harsh. I can see it now. If this does go to YouTube... Somebody that's that's listening to me right now is going to go, You shouldn't have killed that guy. You're evil. You used to be so nice. You're such an evil doer. Why did you kill him? That's not in the spirit of the game. You should play exactly my way. Ah! And to that person, I'd advise you go back to 2016 and actually watch the videos. Because I used to kill people then too. So, fuck off. <laughs> There's no right or way, way to play the game, okay? Tough shit. <laughs> salmon? Where the hell did you get salmon from? Holy shit, that's cool. <laughs> Philippe, uh, seriously, people do lecture me about killing people in the game on YouTube, like, properly, you know. Uh, but, like, what, what I think you have to be if you're gonna, if you're gonna appease the white knights of YouTube is, you have to suck up every kill where somebody KOSs you, and just go, oh well, he killed me, well, alright. But you have to suck up all the deaths, but when you get in the same position, you're not allowed to take the kills, you know, that, that's the way it is, you know, you can't do it, you can't, you can't, you've got to take it but not give it. I like to be a giver. I don't want to be a taker only. <clears throat> right, and we'll put that one there, because it takes up more space than this one. He really didn't. Uh, kind of surprising. He's got a lot of gear. He's got a lot of gear, but he's not actually got a gun to defend himself with, which is really surprising. Uh, anything in the cooking pot? Did I look? I can't. I think I looked. Yeah. All right. Not much. There's water in there. And um, we, we could make that. Might be useful for for. Fishing, not fishing for uh, like surviving later. He was he was using bone hooks as well. Blimey, hardcore. YouTube comment section is like Reddit in video format. I don't know. I've always quite liked it for the most part. I know I've got the plus symbol now, but we can still sort the inventory a little bit. I, you are right. I've, I've started I've started checking it less, but I do still try to check the video comments quite re reliably because. There's lots and lots of genuine people on there, and the bad ones are much more the minority. And the reality is, a, a troll comment or someone that gets annoyed about the way you play a game, that they're, they're gonna they're gonna go away. You know, they're they're just gonna leave. You know, that I I, I actually quite value feedback when it's something like, oh, I, I thought actually that this this video, uh, the music didn't really match the scenery. I maybe it was a dramatic thing, and your music wasn't quite right or whatever. You know, actual feedback about the video is really useful, but. Feedback about my playstyle isn't useful, you know. If you don't like my playstyle, don't watch, you know. It's it's nothing... It's a game, you know. I'm going to play always. I've been playing it since 2014, you know. You have to experience everything. 
I can't just play it one way because there's no way I could still be playing the game. I've been playing it so long, you know. I have to experience it all to keep it fresh and keep it fun. But uh, people don't see it that way. They think they should. There's some kind of secret code, and you have to follow their their rules, or or you're not doing it right. You know, I don't know. It's weird. I don't really get it, but people definitely think that way. Probably explained it more than I normally would, but there is just the st the slightest chance this will end up on YouTube. So uh, I don't often get the chance to talk verbally to the YouTube audience. I'm not telling you off because 99.99% of you don't give a fuck like everybody else. It's just the odd white knight that, that loves to tell me. And there'll be more of you now, because I've talked about it. <laughs> Shall we kill the chimpkin as well? Oh, yeah. It's the mouse. But it's not. But it is. But it's not. That was an unfortunate building for him to run into, wasn't it? I do think a lot of it came from Frankie on PC, and, and I can see why. Not so much with that guy. That guy, actually, that was a harsh kill. There's no way about it. That that was a harsh kill. There's no dressing it up. Killing that dude was harsh. It was. There's no hiding from that fact. Let's just go over to his body. I, don't, I didn't fully loot him. But there was a reason why I killed him, you know. It's a really tough survival server. I've effectively just saved myself two hours, you know. I've saved myself two hours with that. And, and it seems worth it, you know. I, I don't regret it. I think it was the right choice. It was the right call in the moment. But... Uh, Okay, I did kind of loot him thoroughly then. I think I could quite like the sledge, actually. But yeah, uh, I think going back to him, like, he used to have this, like, you can't kill Bambi's thing, don't kill new spawns, it's wrong. But I, I actually think killing this guy is far wronger, so I'm, I'm making myself sound worse here. But this guy, and I didn't know it until I killed him, obviously, but he's been alive quite a long time. He's been fishing. He's put a serious amount of work in. Killing this guy has just cost him... Two hours, 90 minutes. If you kill a new spawn, they've lost five minutes, and they're a new spawn again instantly. They've lost nothing, you know. I, I, I never really understood that. The, the morals of killing a new spawn, you know. Yes, there's no sport in it. I'm not saying go out and shoot new spawns, it's great fun, but it doesn't matter. When you're a new spawn, you die, you're a new spawn again. You'd lo lost fuck all. This guy that I just murdered in cold blood has lost loads, you know. He's got a reason to be really salty, as it turns out. Am I Frankie on PC? No, I'm not, no. Frankie on PC is the one that can edit. Uh, nope. Uh, I've probably used mine a little bit. We might as well switch it over. Saying that, I probably don't really need it. I've just picked up that sledge. I don't know. We'll keep them both for now because I don't have a knife. But the sledge is probably going to go, really. But it's so good for killing zombies. Uh, Grey Haze, thank you for the nine months. Manim, first day of vacation and seeing you online. Oh, well, I hope you have a good one, Manimi. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you have a good vacation, dude. Thank you very much for the resub. Grey Haze, thank you for the Haze Man's Twitch baby. Adrenaline, thank you for the 41 as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers for the support. <laughs> well, I, I agree with that. The moral of the story is do what you want. I agree. It, it's, it's, a, it's similar on Namalsk, though, right? Namalsk is very, very cutthroat in the beginning. If you meet a player that's a new spawn, they'll they'll be friendly. If you meet a player and you're semi-geared, they'll probably try to kill you because you're literally saving yourself two hours. I do think I'm a bit... I've kind of missed out there. He sounded like a chilled out dude and that could have been a fun adventure. But I was chasing with the intention of shooting him and by the time he spoke, I was already firing, you know. If I could turn back time and he spoke a touch earlier, I think I wouldn't kill him. But it's too late, you know. And it certainly has saved me a lot of time. <clears throat> uh, Ticklop, a tiger doe, uh, Jalbs, thank you for the follow. Henrik, it would be amazing if it was possible somehow to get this map released on console. It would be so good. I, I don't disagree. But it, I just don't know. I... Even Winter Chernerus, I, I, I do think it's a shame. I, there's never going to be modding on console, and I think it's unfair to give anyone hope that it's going to happen, because the devs have said it won't, so uh, I don't think it will happen, but I think it would be so cool. I, I, it would be an amazing thing if the game was a bit more open to shit like this, you know?
Well, Jarrus, yeah, I agree. When you when you're when you've been alive a long time and you get killed, I I got killed on Livonia on Monday, and uh, I'd been alive for like three hours, and I had a Mosin and a shotgun and various different things, and we were having a good. And there was a load of shots in Colin Brody, so I went to have a look, and there was about twelve dead bodies, uh, and I, I got stun locked to death by a dude with a hatchet. You know, he took his shoes off and shoe fuckered his way up to me, and killed me with a hatchet. You know, that is a painful death. I didn't say anything about it, but that's why we came here. This house, this 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 grandma's house, can spawn uh, hunting loot. So often you can get scopes and stuff like we just found. You know, it's a really good little little building to loot. Oh well, we've we've started this right. If this does end up on YouTube as this week's video, it will. Uh, it will certainly get get people switching away after 20 minutes. <laughs> you killed that man! <laughs> uh, let's go. By the way, shotgun, hope you're good, dude. Yeah, I got shoe fuckered. I actually, I, I shouldn't swear too much, you know. I, I need to try and control that. YouTube, uh, YouTube doesn't really mind swearing. It doesn't mind the F word. But it does mind the F word in the early part of the video, so... I've got one video on uh, at one of the new maps. What was that map where there was the huge, huge town? I can't remember the name of the, the map now. Rostov. It was Rostov. My uh, first look at Rostov, or first encounters of Rostov, in the first minute, I meet a random group and they all say the F word about four times. And that's the only video I've had demonetized in about two years. Because they, I think if you have more than two F words in the first minute of the video, it's going to get demonetized. You're allowed to swear. If you're playing an 18-rated game like Days, holy fudge. <laughs> you're allowed to swear, but you've just got to be a bit mindful of uh, the early part of the video. And it's, it's a bit like Beverly Hills Cop, I suppose, back in the day, you know. You, you don't want to be having, like, like, 60 fucks a minute or an hour, you know. You need to control it down a little bit. Let's just eat this dude's mackerel. Then we'll take that. So that's a modded... Uh, there's there's no really extra guns on this server. But there are different skins. So zero servers have different skins. That one's... I know, it's, it's like a mahogany finish, I guess, isn't it? But now we're, we're actually more geared than we were when we got KOS in the last life, aren't we? That's, that's kind of cool in a way. I don't need that. Just trying to think. I don't really want to drop the MP5. We may end up going to the prison island, maybe. So, keeping that, especially since we have a mag, seems like, I think we dropped the PSO scope. The chances of me, I don't really take the PSO scope for AKs or anything, so the chances of me needing that are somewhat remote. Right, let's go. Uh... We've got water as well, so we can probably just skip this town. Let's just let's just skip Bolotta. We don't need Bolotta. We've got plenty of food. Somewhat surprisingly, we're full full plus him. Sorry, full a apple, aren't we? That's kind of cool. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Drop just brought me some pea and ham soup. I will fix that door one day. Yeah, I do need a new hat. It's still working, though. That hat will still... Even though it's low insulation, bad insulation, as long as it's on your head, it's stopping you getting frostbite, and that's the main thing right now. I don't think... Even if I had best insulation clothes everywhere, I don't think I'd still be uh, avoiding being cold. Even though I'm dark blue right now, it's making my health reduce a little bit. It's not... Uh, I think I need, need to drop this sledgehammer, you know. Did I, I did... Oh, I dropped the axe. That was a mistake. I should have kept the hatchet and dropped the sledge, but never mind. I'll find another one. We'll work it out, but... Uh, I am going to make another fire. I think we'll get out this way. I should have dropped the other melee weapon. Sorry, should have dropped this melee weapon and kept the, the hatchet. There's a yellow and green house up here. No, oh, there it is. I think I'm going to make a fire there. Funny. No, it's not about YouTube stealing your money. If they demonet if they demonetize it, there's no adverts on it. So it's not a lame reason. YouTube don't make any money either. 
it, it's, it, it changes its status to yellow, which means it's only suitable for certain advertisers. So you might get monetized or you might not, but the reason it does that is because obviously if you're a brand, if you're trying to sell a video game, like a lot of my ads will be related to gaming, right? But if you're trying to sell a game and uh, you put the advert on a video and in it the, 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 the videos, the guys going, F this, C word that, F you, C word you, you mother trucking this, that and the other, or if they're saying really bad stuff all the way through it, they're effectively advertising on it. They're almost associating their brand with that. They're, their advert is almost giving that behavior a seal of approval, you know. There is there is some sense in it, you know. You, you don't want your product associated with particular behaviors, let's say. So there is some reason behind it, you know, that it's not it's not just YouTube being YouTube. Like, advertisers don't want to advertise on things that aren't really right for their brand, you know. Uh, what am I going to use as kindling here? We'll use one of those. Uh, it certainly does slow the gameplay down a bit, Capitom. As you're seeing here, I'm having to make another fire. I think we're just far enough away from where I, uh, where I bumped into that evil guy that forced me to kill him. <laughs> we're just far enough away so that, uh, he's not likely to catch up, you know. Because it's slow, even if he got a Cherno, sorry, a Cherno spawn, he'd never make it here in time, you know. I wonder if this water is safe to drink. That could be like his From the Grave, uh, let's find out. It's bound to be. It's full. This could be his from the grave. It's like redemption. It's probably full of petrol. Uh, Mrs. Diamond, I'm going to stop about quarter past seven today. So I started early and I'm going to stop slightly early. We, me and my missus were going to have lunch together today. Uh, and then I'd start the stream about 2pm. So instead of doing that, we're having dinner today and I'm going to stop about quarter past seven. I do have chlorine, you're right, but if it was petrol it still wouldn't work. I think I'd be sick by now. Yeah, I did have chlorine. Too late though. I don't know, we'll give him his chance at redemption. Maybe he filled it with dodgy water, maybe he didn't. Hey Gravy, you're right, dude. Hope your stream went well. Gravy was streaming earlier, right? You can click his name and follow him and, and uh, follow another noob streamer like me, you know. Uh, there, there's another one. <laughs> Well, it might have been filled with pond water, I don't know. It could have been filled with anything. It could have been filled with spunk, for all I know. Hi, adverts. <laughs> I don't know what it was filled with, but yeah. I think I'd have uh, struggled to swallow it down quite so <laughs> Sorry, too far. <laughs> I've, I've I can't remember the joke, but that just reminds me of... Uh, my dad used to tell a joke about cowboys going into a saloon. And a spittoon, uh, like a spittoon, like they have in old cowboy, in old westerns, where they spit their chewing tobacco or whatever into this spittoon. And he used to tell a joke about this spittoon, and the punchline involved uh, drinking it or something. I can't really, I don't remember the joke, and I don't even want to tell it. But he used to try to tell the joke, and when he got to the punchline, he started. He used to start going. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, used, it used to make him want to hunt like Chunda himself. He used to tell this joke, and every time he, he couldn't get to the end, he couldn't get to the punchline. <laughs> uh, Chester, thank you for the 23 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Ah, it's Troy. Thank you for the new sub. That's really kind. Thank you for the gifted new sub. Thank you. Should be enough for some tack back. Keep on uh, being a legend. We're told that's really, really kind, man. Thank you very, very much. Thanks a lot for the support. That's really, really kind, man. Thank you. We need to get white temperature pr white here pretty quick because these three sticks are... Oh, I only used two, didn't I? Right, that's not going to do it. Let's put it there. These are all in the... They should be in my jacket or my trousers. Kind of surprising just how much <clears throat> you need to uh, have on you to get your temperature up now. We just went to white before I put those in. but And also, they do seem to be losing temperature really quick. Quicker than they used to. I could use the heat pack, but I think we'll save it. They seem to be losing temperature really, really fast.
Henrik, I, I, I stopped doing 24-hour streams in 2018. I, uh, I did them when I first was kind of close to being a full-time streamer. Because I, I remember one stream where I got nearly a thousand follows in 24 hours. And my follow count was 10,000, you know. So that would be like me going, getting 20,000 follows in a day now, you know. That, that is an insane equation. So gaining a thousand follows, or maybe it was like 900, but gaining 900 follows when you had 10,000 follows, that is insane. And so it was a way to attract a new audience and try to grow my stream when I was trying to grow it from being like a hobby into being full time because I was hating my job and thinking it was possible but uh, I, now I want to keep things ticking over and hopefully keep growing gradually but I don't want to do 24 hour streams anymore they're, they're really really stupid in the long run uh, they're, they're bad for your health big time but they're also like like you're just like a complete wreck for three days afterwards Camberwell Carrot, one, one, one full month that, uh, longer than a full pregnancy. Who'd have thought it? Dude. Well, I, I hope I hope you've given birth. <laughs> Thank you very much. It, it, it's not a lot of fun. So you're saying you got complacent now. Yeah, that's right, Rob. I'm definitely complacent. That's why I don't stream ever. <laughs> I don't think it's anything to do with 40s. I think I could do 24-hour streams now better than most other streamers could. I think I'm actually more equipped for it. I don't think it's an age thing. I, st I probably sleep less than a 24-year-old. I'm more equipped. Once you've had kids, you're more equipped at not sleeping. You know, you basically spent five years not sleeping. Sorry about that, Lancehead. Sit Swiss Army. Milk or cereal first is not a question. Milk or cereal first is not a question. That's like, like asking whether you should put your your pants on or your, like your boxers, your briefs or whatever, or your or your jeans first. You know, it's not possible to do milk first. If you do milk first when you're having cereal, you 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 like probably should be in a straitjacket. Everybody knows it. It's just a meme at this point, surely. Nobody that actually thinks it's right can seriously think it's right. You, you just like uh, you serial killer, literally serial killer. Let me keep the Jaeger jacket. Right, so I'm I'm drinking out of a, I'm drinking the soup out of a cup, like a big mug, but I've got a couple of little slathers of bread, well, gluten-free pita bread to dunk in it. Uh, so I actually have to do a tiny bit of eating, so I've moved the mic just a touch away. Young Hazy, thank you for being being so entertaining, dude. Are you watching the right stream? Thank you very much for the support, dude. That's really kind. Much love from Sweden. Thank you very much. Cheers for the for the tip, dude. Lance said, "There's no no need to get uh, jealous." By the way, I'm I'm fathering a lot of Twitch babies right now, and I'm paying everyone exactly the same maintenance. Don't worry. I have more viewers than Syndicate. Guys, I've just discovered this uh, new new website. It's really good. <laughs> it's called www.notownedbytrmz.com. Uh, we're only just getting going as well. I've started way too early, you know. The, the view count will uh, like tickle up a little bit more, hopefully, by the end. Devil's Dark, do you think? I've come back down this way just because there's a hunting stand here. I'm hoping we might get some blaze rounds. Still holding a zucchini that I'd forgotten about. I should have cooked that in the fire. My wife doesn't eat the two in a bowl. She eats a bite of cereal and then a sip of milk. What the hell is... People take the mick out of me because I used to have butter. Like if I had butter on toast, like just regular toast with butter on. I used to put the butter side on my tongue and people were making out like I was a freak. 
Meanwhile, there's people eating cereal by putting the milk in first and then tipping in loose cereal on top. And then there's other people that have got a glass of milk and then are eating the cereal crunchy style. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Why, why was I getting called a, a madman? Doesn't compute, does it? All I liked was the nice buttery side to be presented to my taste buds that can taste the butter rather than the dry, horrible, crusty bit of bread that is not as nice. It's a moot point now because I've, I've gone gluten-free. I uh, I can't really have it. To be fair, I actually had some toast earlier today, but gluten-free toast is like cardboard, so it ha it's no good with butter. You have to like slather it in beans or something. Take the taste away. Some people dress sock, shoe, sock, shoe. But if, if they're sensible, they keep their shoes by the front door. So they're walking barefoot to the front door. And then putting their socks on by the front door. On the doormat that's all gritty and stuff, where people have come in. You could just remove bread from the diet. Casio, well, uh, if you go gluten-free, it's a lot more than just bread, though, right? Uh, I don't have I don't have gluten free toast very much, but yeah, I, I kind of like uh, handheld stuff to eat while I'm streaming. So I have quite a lot of gluten free pita bread because it actually tastes nice. <sighs> I don't think about taking that, but no. Gonna lose the plus symbol in a minute. I think I am just gonna quickly buzz down here and uh, check the PD. I could fill the, the cooking pot up at the well as well. I don't know how many zombies there's going to be. We'll see. Mattis, I know. I'm, I am trying to di mini minimise the talk of gluten-free. I know when it first happened. It's been like six, seven weeks now. It's definitely the, the gluten-free talk has minimised some, which is good. I like that. I, I'm not, I, it, But it comes up, you know. But it, it's more of a five-second conversation or a two-minute conversation. It's not like a three-hour conversation because most of us have had it now right it's kind of it's kind of been done how many red shells have I got only two it's gonna load the red shells for now I don't want to keep this for very long But yeah, I, I just just to briefly uh, go over old news, like uh, going uh, gluten free. Uh, I don't even know why I took it to be. I, I'm not going to take it. I took it in case we got a macro of and we were using it for killing zombies, I suppose. But I don't want the scorpion. But since I've gone gluten free, uh, my health has improved no much. I'm not saying it will work for everyone. I'm gluten intolerant. It's not just random. Uh, I basically had. Uh, Let's just say tummy troubles for about three years and never really worked out what it was. Uh, now I've worked out what it was. As soon as I cut it out of my diet, I just got so much better so quickly. Like, within a few days, I felt like somebody different. And since then, it's really, really been a big deal for me. You know, I'm not, I'm not the smallest of people. I'm a bit of a fat bastard. Uh, and in the last six weeks, I've lost, like, 18 pounds. And I'm going out for walks for, like, 90 minutes a day. I'm not, I'm not, like, like, like morbidly obese or anything, but I do need to shift a bit of timber, you know. I'm not that bad, but anyway. Uh, pictures of me are on Google. Search the running man's I need a fat. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like a different person. I'm able to eat like regular stuff. It's so good. Like, what I mean by that is, if you're eating something that you're intolerant to and you don't know it, it gives you like a bad tummy and you're far too regular, let's say. Uh, and you don't really know and you're always in that state. And I just thought that's the way I was, you know. It might sound stupid, but I was so used to it, it felt like it had always been that way. It kind of creeps up on you. It's not like you switch a switch and it happened overnight. It, I'm, I'm, when I say three years, it's probably more like ten that I've been like it. But if you're eating stuff that's making your tummy bad, you don't get much energy from your food. And so you start craving junk and you end up eating chocolate or fast food or whatever because you've got no energy. You're permanently tired. And then when you start cutting that out, you actually get the benefits of the food that you eat so you don't crave all that other shit. I'm not really on a diet. I just not eat, not needing to eat all the shit I was eating.
Where's my webcam pick? Uh, it's on hiatus after I used it yesterday. Hmm. We have got a Mosin. We could have a look at that. Croc, no, I'm definitely not saying that the, the Bolotta airfield bed was me, no. Dark blue temperature. I would suspect that's over towards, uh, well, between Boar and Pavlovo somewhere. My guess would be that would be someone shooting an animal. I don't think that would be a, a firefight. Someone probably shot a deer or a boar or something like that. Uh, Jamie, James Hurish, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you for gifting target Tony the sub. That's really, really kind, dude. Thank you. Rocco, that's not going to get purged, dude. I, I I don't know if that's a good buy or not. I don't know what the 1080 Ti goes for. <coughs> Excuse me. The 1080 Ti is a good card. It is a good card, but it's obviously like two generations old now. You know, I'm, I'm using a 1080 Ti right now. But I don't know whether 400 euros is a good price or not. Gumper, well, I hope you feel better, dude. I hope you do feel better. That That sucks. It's expensive. There you go. Clowny thinks 400 for a, for a 1080 Ti is expensive. There you go. And that's the trouble, isn't it? Like, but it's one of those things. It, it might be expensive, but in two months' time, it might not be. You know, it's it's hard to know. Hi Dan, uh, I got killed on the first life and then uh, somebody mercilessly KOS'd me when I was just minding my own business. And I respawned on the West Ed of Cherno and then I mercilessly, mercilessly KOS'd somebody else who was minding their own business and now I'm quite geared. <laughs> so uh, yeah, someone did me the dirty so yeah, I ended up doing the dirty to someone else. There was kind of a storm going on. And I was, I was in a house with a fire and he came running in, didn't check his corners and didn't even realise I was there. <laughs> I wonder, I, I do feel like this dude's probably killed an animal and now he's going to be going to a house to cook it. It's a matter of, like, decisions here, but part of me wants to go and find the house and shoot the dude. Because he's going to have gear and if he's got gear I might be able to have that gear kind of thing. I don't actually want to go this way. Oh, oh look, there's a fire there. My, this is ringing true. Where's the fight? It's gonna in the left corner. I wish I had a blaze round. This might be harsh, but. I'm going to just drop the blaze here because I don't have any bullets for it. And I want to put my gun away in case he happens to look out the window. Okay, he looked out the window. That shot's at me. I obviously saw him at the door, but I didn't want to... <laughs> you gone back inside? Yeah. moved windows that sucks fair play to that guy so I tried to do the dirty on him and he got me but to be fair actually I put my gun away and was approaching the house my intentions were probably to kill him but I put my gun away so if he saw me he might not be bad and he was so 
it kind of shows like when you're KOSing someone or you may be thinking about it, he KOSed me, you know, my gun was away. I was not in a, uh, I put my gun on my back specifically so I could run and I ran through the field so that he could see me as well, you know, but I, I still probably would have got my gun out and shot him. So yeah, I, he KOSed me, I was probably going to KOS him. Uh, Chronicle, no I didn't. No, no, no. I aimed at him just then, but he'd already shot at me, dude, you know? You, you're not understanding that. He shot at me in the field when my gun was on my back. I think once he'd shot at me, the, the chance for interaction is over, you know? Of course I'm going to aim back. What, what, what do you think I should do? Keep running towards him, shooting at me, going, are you shooting at me? You know? What, what do you think I should do, you know? That, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he did fire at me first, and I did drop my gun so that I could run up and approach him, right? What's a, what's frustrating is that we've uh, we've lost the uh, holy shit. That is a mad gun to find in Berezino. What's frustrating is we've lost that progress again now. So we're two hours and sixteen minutes in. We died after an hour and fifteen, let's say. Now we've died again. You know, we we're gonna. It's gonna be painful if I keep doing that. I could go back for the blaze. That That is partly in my mind. I don't know, though. It's a shame, but I, I tried to go left. It was, a, it was a bad peak, to be fair, but I think he could just see me as I was rolling. I tried to roll left and slightly change the angle I was at, but I think he could see me. It was never going to work, basically. Uh, but I tried to do it anyway and, and failed, you know, but shit happens. frustrating, you know. I, I, I did approach him with no gun away. Now, I still think he was not... He was well within his rights to shoot me. I was going to probably shoot him, you know. This is not a judgment on his... what he did. I don't blame him. But I gave myself the best possible chance to not get KOS. And I did get KOS. But like I said before, this server being as hard as it is, it's going to lead to that. It just is. You're going to get KOS from time to time. Uh, I still haven't got a stick yet, which I meant to. The KOS levels on this server are going to be higher because it's harder to survive. People are going to more likely kill you. <laughs> Let's go and get the sticks. I want, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about trying to get a gas mask from Berezino and just running to Riffy and seeing if we can just use the gas mask to survive. If I can get a gas mask and a filter. I'm thinking about running in, checking a few things, and seeing if we can't get some shit. That could be kind of funny. The easy to survive servers have lots of KOS too, you're absolutely right, but KOS always goes up when the game is harder. If if serve, if KOS is like a 7 out of 10 thing, then on this server it'll be a 9 out of 10 thing, you know? That's a rough approximation, but it's the way it always is. Unless you're on some kind of RP server. If you make the first hour really, really hard, people don't want to waste that first hour, including me, you know, I'm, everyone's the same. And I'm comparing vanilla to hard servers here. Like, and like you probably just said by the sound of it, if you make the loot really easy to get, on the flip side, if it's really easy to get guns, people just want to play it as a deathmatch server, so that balance is really hard. The balance to get right between making the game hard and making the game too easy is a very hard balance to strike, and that's the one the devs are trying to make for vanilla, you know, like, there's no right or wrong approach, really. Some people like heavily modded, some people like, uh, some people like no trader bases, some people like infinite Sammer, and so on, you know, there's loads of different choices there. But it does affect the outcomes a little bit. Oh, bollocks. I forgot to put the fucking sticks in. Oh, that was smart. Oh, well. At least we got some rags off the dead guy. It's time to start running! 
It's not lost us a lot. It's lost me one rag, but given I've got knives, it's not the end of the world. I would like to go back and get my blaze, but I think I'm just going to give that character a swerve, you know. The, the dude won the fight. Fair play to him. We're dead. Start again. Right. At least I can finish my soup, though. That's good. Big how you can split anything by tapping right mouse button whilst hovering over the stack. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. It hasn't been so bad lately, but sometimes it won't split. You have no space for it to go in your inventory. What should happen is you try to split something and it goes on the floor, but sometimes it doesn't do it. So when you split it, it should go on the floor. Uh, and Amen, it had 13 rounds in it, so I haven't got any spare ammo. And we're not likely to get spare ammo from Berezino, but to be honest, you're not really likely to get that gun in Berezino, so you never know. That is an absolutely mad find for, for Berezino, that, getting a get an AK. You'd be happy if you found that at a decent military base, never mind here. <clears throat> so the sooner we can get, get the temperature up, the better. This is so frustrating, because we are dying and having to start again. But, you know, that that's what Daisy is. It's about choices. Do you go towards that? You hear a shot, and I kind of worked out in my mind that it was somebody hunting, and we'd probably see him cooking somewhere. Do you go towards that and take the risk, or do you stay away, you know? And the right choice probably was to stay away. Certainly with, with my hindsight goggles on, it was absolutely the right choice not to go near the guy, wasn't it, you know? But that that's what Daisy is, isn't it? It's kind of cool in that way, you know? Unfortunately, when you make a bad choice, you're dead. Uh, and so you get to think about it for 20 minutes or an hour or six months. Joito, I really like this server. It's fun. It's really good. Hello, by the way. Uh, it, it is tough, so it's exactly like Namowsk. It's obviously slow, like we've only just spawned in and we're making a fire, but we have accelerated some in that I've got a gun and I've got a knife and I've got some food. Uh, we've got two flares, you know. Little things like that. It could save 20 minutes at least, you know, so... It, it, it's fun, though. I really like it, the, the survival side of it, being a bit more like Namowsk settings but on so like hardcore mouse but on churnerous i really like the dynamic of it well rob that's the thing you know it's a little bit like gambling in a way but you're gambling your own life on on their life you know will i kill him will i not kind of thing you know if i kill him it could he, he's got good gear he probably had a scope he shot at me from fairly early on he probably had a scope that mag through the arm yeah it, it doesn't even i've not even felt a thing just a flesh wound Uh, I agree, Yoda. I think it's a really nice change. Right, let me catch up with the alerts that I've missed. James Hurish, thank you again for the gifted sub. Dirty Grinch, I, Paul, this is a really cool mod. It's very sweaty down here. Much love from Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. Uranus. I think you mean Uranus, right? Uh, it's not sweaty in my Uranus. In my, my anus. My Uranus? What? James Hurish, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Rocco and Juito. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Rose, thank you for the 60 months as well. Sapphire badge. Thank you very much. Exo Ghost, cheers for the one year inning. Very kind. Cheers for the support, guys. You're very, very kind. It's not actually that bad to have found that as well. It's only a it's only a Shima, but it does do a, a good job. It will it'll, it, we can wear that for the rest of our life, but basically, which might not be long, I suppose. Uh Hey Blau, I, I don't know if you can't play it online, no. Thursk. Thursk is a racetrack. <laughs> It's a place in Scotland, actually, but I only know it as a racetrack. Uh. <clears throat> I just saw a, a headline on my phone that looked all exciting that said that Deontay Wilder had been... Uh, suspended for six months but it's just a regular thing where people have taken so much punishment so if he's assessed by a doctor he's not it, it looked like a real it was like a click I got clickbaited on my phone just now <laughs> is Thursk not in Yorkshire is it I always thought it was in Scotland maybe I was thinking of it, it's because Thursk racecourse is always shit racing and maybe I think of it as similar to air which is a bit harsh because air does have a couple of good race days 
So he's not really suspended. Ah, uh, 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 shite. I, I fucked that right up. Oh, no. Right. Hopefully the fire's still burning. What we've done there is put my foot in the thing. Oh, it's not wet. We've got away with it. That is lucky. I think we're okay. If you're in the water for just the splittest of seconds, it doesn't... It doesn't get everything wet. So if you do, like, one front crawl, crawl stroke in water, it doesn't get you wet. I think that's what's happened. I'm only standing by here now. I know we're okay. But if I stand by here for another ten seconds, it will just reset my plus symbol from the time... That'll probably do. From the time we were over there, which just gives me a bit more time. So my plan right now is to just quickly nip into Berezino, drink at the well, maybe try and find some gloves, go to the fire station. I think I'm going to gamble. It's a big gamble, but I, f I feel like we could do it. I think we might have a run to the gas zone just with a gas mask and see if we can do it. If we can get a gas mask. If I can't, I obviously won't do it, but I believe you get about three minutes. Maybe if I can go to the medical and get a blood bag, I can also fix myself as well. I've been meaning to try this for a while, but... At the idea of running in with just a gas mask and my own blood to see if I can then uh, cure myself if I get injured and whatnot. It seems like quite a cool mechanic. It might, maybe a risk, but if we die, we might get a southern spawn. I can go back and pick my blaze up. You can't use the Shima as a hat. It always goes on your face. However you wear it, it goes on your, your face. We'll have that. Somebody else has been here. Look, there's a dead zombie there. They don't kill themselves, do they? Whoever it was didn't want matches, though. Bloody hell. Maybe they were geared, or maybe they were blind. One or the other. Well, I guess we can drop that now. We don't need that. Let's eat the food. Another dead zombie there. My guess is we're going to find them over by the police station or something like that. Car's drivable. It only needs a spark plug. And a battery. Gives us potentially a different mission. Finding a spark plug and a battery in Berezino should be a piece of piss, but there'll be other people trying to do it as well. You learn from your mistakes. Well, no, I, I'm still going to get a car. If, if, it's, uh, if I get in and it's bouncing like yesterday, then I'll get out of it again. Probably. I'm going to put this on semi-auto because I don't want to waste bullets. If I end up shooting, I'll, I'll probably need to be quite selective. If I fire full auto, they'll be gone in half a second and that's it. Fire station would be good for a couple of reasons, I guess. We can uh, try and get ourselves a fire jacket and whatnot as well. Do need some gloves. Uh, we've got a few things to try and find. Plus symbol's not going to last too much longer. Weapon cleaning kit. This early on. That's quite rare. Mm. Can I get that in? <coughs> yep. Huh. 
I think somebody died here. I don't know, my powers of uh, deduction uh, tell me that there's a dead body there. The little grey cells. <laughs> when Paul finds the car, all the chat can fit in the back seat. <laughs> uh, Ado, thank you for the three months. Exo Ghost, thank you for the 12 months. Re really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. That, that's cool, isn't it? I don't quite know what they're... Maybe they're burning infected bodies in that factory, but I don't know what else they're making. Who's supplying the gas, you know? The gas price is already going up and up and up. Oh, my God. Give me all your stuff or you die! Give me all your stuff or you die! This gun's much bigger than your gun. I told ya! <laughs> I do feel a bit bad, but... Never mind, eh? Probably why he didn't get matches. How did he survive the first hit? Did it not hit him in the head? I, I don't know about this going to YouTube now. It's feeling a bit KOSy. <laughs> you turned into an evil butt. It's hard. It's hard, and I have no regrets. Okay, YouTube, just take it. All right. You come and be a do-goody two-shoes on this server, by all means. <laughs> I'm moving in the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh dear. So yesterday's stream couldn't go to YouTube because I spent all that time playing, didn't have any firefights, was just like PVing to the nines, and then got killed by a car bug. And today now I'm giving myself doubts. Whoa. Careful. Some guy was just shooting in here. I managed to get him with a melee weapon, okay? I, I don't need... I saw you run in there with a gun. Yeah, that's right. What? You saw nothing. The other guy was the one with the gun. I got. I'm now got. I've got his stuff. I was in here cooking. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Yeah. I got his stuff now. So up your bum. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching you from the balcony. I saw you shoot through the window, so uh, I don't believe you. You didn't see me shoot through the window. You saw him through shoot through the window. So up your bum once more. Another manly uh, Jimmy Carr scream. I've started screaming like Jimmy Carr laughs these days. I, he laughs like, oh, 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 oh. I keep screaming like it. I'm turning into Jimmy Carr. I hate that. I'm just trying to lose that guy. That that guy knows. He's a knower. I don't want to meet a knower. I want to meet an unknower. I can team up potentially with an unknower, but he knows. He knows. The secret's out with that one. that that's a plate repair kit probably don't need that but anyway paramedic pants they give you more space Come back here.
He should have given me stuff though, shouldn't he? I, he should have given me his stuff. That's just simple. Simple mathematics. So I w had this clever plan, this cunning plan to get a gas mask and a, and a filter and go to the uh, thingy, but I, I don't think it's going to work, is it? Did my cunning plan involve a turnip? Not just yet, but you never know. We'll see if we can shoehorn one in. My plan at the moment involves a backpack, because I don't want to drop all of this loot that's no good. He didn't have... Oh, he only had, like, one bullet. Ah, oh, now, there we go. Disinfected, are they? They're disinfected, so we need to keep those. I, I need more rags. There was quite a lot of clothing back there, wasn't there? I left a jumper in one of the garages, didn't I? Or whatever I swapped. Yeah, it was it when I took the trousers I left my jeans. I still don't think that's quite enough. Quickly check here. Like that. Can I cut that up? Yep. Probably enough. I, I've, I really can't remember what you can and can't cut up anymore. It's kind of annoying. Like my brain just doesn't want to absorb that info. This will make things easier. Also, I've changed my appearance that little bit now. I've got different pants on, different face mask. We'll have a different backpack. Uh, that guy, the Noah, might not know anymore, you know. Uh, he won't know it's me. I have to say, this has been so fun. I know, I know it's been KOSy, and I care not for that, right? Like, I care not about that, is what I mean. But it's it's really fun. That the server and the challenge is really fun. Maybe it does bring out the worst in me a touch, but so be it. You know, needs must. I'd rather be the governor than a dead guy. Except I'll have to start calling all the zombies biters. It's a biter, and I don't have uh, I don't have a family member locked up somewhere. I left the suit pants off. Oh, fuck bollocks! I'll just use these. It'll be all right. I want to craft an eye patch. I want to just put the. I just want to combine them. I fucking craft anything. Leave me alone. <laughs> MDH, I don't have a best American accent. The only American accent I I have is, Hey boy! <laughs> that that one. And I'm not doing it in full right now. Uh, because uh, I, I gave up performing monkeying about four years ago. <laughs> There's a link to a video that's a, that's basically titled Why TRMZ Doesn't RP. The, the voice is in there. Search for berries? What the fuck? That's a new one on me. That must be a mod, right? Takes too long. Fuck searching for berries. So that that's obviously modded into the server, but I, I it takes too long. Fuck that.
Uh, Gower, this is not a PVE server. I've just KOS someone, and I've just been KOSed, and then I was KOS someone else, and then I was KOS. So I've been killed twice today. I did find a berry. Look, holy shit! As that bar circles, you must get more. But yeah, uh, it's not it's not a PVE server, but it, it has Namalsk survival settings. Uh, so it's not just Winter Chernerus cosmetically. Uh, so a lot of the Winter Chernerus servers were just like regular Chernerus, but slightly colder. This one has got all of the Namalsk features on it, like Frostbite and uh, like uh, the plus symbol being a requirement. Uh, you can get Frostbite, you can also gradually increase your frost resistance. The temperature is properly cold, it's it's cold way beyond just a bit cold in Chernerus, you know, so it's much, you've got to make fires, you've got to survive uh, and gradually build up your frost resistance. You need high insulation clothes. If you don't have a pair of gloves on, you're going to regret it. You know, it, it's a proper survival server. With all the same features of hardcore Namask, but on Chernerus. So, not only is it hard like Namask, but it's also spread out. You know, Namask is quite a small map. Whereas in this, if you want to go significant distances, you've got to really plot your way there and take your time and do it right, kind of thing. Right, I don't think so. Somebody got a fire jacket, the lucky bastard. Why can't that be me? Somebody else got a fire jacket. Why couldn't that be me? Bloody jeans. Jesus effing Christ. So I am worried about uh, my, my hands right now. That's good bit more space, but more importantly, a bit more heat. It is worn, right? No, it's badly damaged. So what is that now? That's medium. So it's not actually any more heat right now, but it will be if I fix it. I saw you. I saw you. I know what you did. What a... What a fucking snitch that guy was. I saw you shoot him through the window. I saw you. <laughs> well, what the fuck are you doing in here then? If you know there's some KOS bastard around, why are you letting yourself in? Piss off! <laughs> uh, do I check the... I wouldn't check the top of that tower right now. No, I might go and check it later, but... It's... Blimey. It's a little bit of a risk to go and check it right now, you know? Like, I might get shot. I'm also freezing cold. I, I don't really want to go up there at the moment. It doesn't feel entirely safe. Oh, I've been here. I'm going to get crossed by any second. I've got to make a fire. I'm trying to hold off just to try and, uh, like, lose the zombies and uh, maybe try and find gloves, but we're going to have to make a fire, like, instantly. I, I can't delay. Can't delay. Make a fire today. So we're just going to quickly loot this while the zombies catch up. Jesus Christ, she's catching up a bit quick, that one. Come on then, Speedy, I'll kill you. You're on your own. Everyone else has lost me. again. Kind of hoping we might find gloves, but I've got to make a fire. I need a bush. For fuck's sake. I'm going to get frostbite in my hands like any second. I 
come on, give me. Give. All I want is a bush. Have gloves, have gloves, you know you want to. Normally a decent place to find gloves one of these buildings, but not today. Can range find blimey. Actually don't really want to be aggroing these zombies really. <laughs> Getting frostbite. Fuck me, come on. How the hell did you just get in here? <coughs> Clever girl. <coughs> Why is the heat pack 40 degrees? Shit. Guys, I'll catch up with the alerts in a second. Thank you very, very much. I'll catch them up in a sec. Let me, uh, let me just struggle through this a bit until I've got frostbite and then that's it. I can't I can't solve it once it's once it's there. And a fronter, okay. That's kinda of cool as well. Right, give me a bush. I need bush. I need to get inside a bush. Why is there so few bushes in this hellhole? Come on. You know, you don't normally struggle to find bush, do you? Not in Berezino. Downtown Berezino is normally crawling with it. There has to be a bush over here, right? There's got to be. I don't want to use the knife. I don't want to chop down a big, big one. I need... Oh, God. Paul, come on. There's a guy about to kill himself on that bridge. There's a bush around here. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, you? Have you got sticks? Nah, just spawned in. Get me some sticks or you die. Go. Go on. Sticks, go. That's not getting sticks, is it? Get sticks! Get sticks! The second shot hit, I think. Where did he go? <laughs> Alright, he's not getting sticks. Maybe it hit the fence, I don't know, but I missed him anyway. What a surprise. TRMZ misses shots, confirmed. We all knew it. Where the fuck did he go? He had time. Why is there no bushes? How can this be? What is going on? How could I be in fucking electro before I see a bush? What the fuck? Where are the bushes? There's one. I see one. Holy shit! Thirsty chimney using rags will not do, dude. I have, it takes ages to get the plus symbol. And I've only got like five rags. And you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Also, rag fires only burn at like 100 or 200 degrees. They don't even get very hot. Like, it'll take... I'd have to use all of my rags and I still wouldn't have the plus symbol. I've got a fucking bleed as well. What's your fucking game? Uh. 
You have got to be fucking shitting me. Punching is more powerful than the 22. I hit him with three 22 rounds. Obviously, 22 is weak, but he killed me so quickly with his fists, you know. Holy fuck, that is annoying. I don't think the AK round hit. I think I missed the AK shot, unfortunately. That is so frustrating, though. And there is a bit of an imbalance there. Now, I, all right, he, he killed me, you know, and he's got a, a loot up. But there is a slight imbalance between shot, gunshots and fists. And I don't think the 22 should be any more powerful. They should make... The, punching shouldn't be that powerful, should it? I instantly died, you know. I was at least white health. I don't know whether I was full health or three quarters, whatever. Whatever I was, you know. But heavy punches are more... They, t they cost more health than fucking bullets do. That, that can't be right. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm not extolling the virtues of 22 getting more powerful. I'm not really bothered, you know. I think 22's fine. The problem is, punching shouldn't kill you that quickly, you know. That's stupid. It's so stupid. But anyway, there we are. I, I died. Fair play to that dude. He gets the gear. Yeah, I, uh... I, it's easy when you get killed to be like, Oh god, uh, so 22... I think 22 is about balanced. I don't think certain bullets are, but I think 22 is about right. I just wish I had a couple more bullets, you know, but I ran around being a bit of a bandit and someone got me, you know. It, maybe it was the guy, the initial guy, you never know. Maybe it was the initial guy that I killed in the house. Probably wasn't, but you never know. He might have got his karmic justice, you never know. But the, the point still remains that I hit him three times and he's neither unconscious or injured enough that it's a problem, you know. that That's not so clever, is it, really? I doubt he will bleed to death, Phoenix. He's probably bleeding two times, but not enough to cause him a problem. I don't know if I missed that 22 shot or not. I felt like I hit it, but I obviously didn't. But when you point fire, the gun's not always pointing. Like, you have to... The gun moves, right? So it, sometimes you can go be a bit left or a bit right than where you thought. I thought it was in the centre of the screen. I thought I'd got it right, but I obviously didn't get it right. Ezekiel, yeah, but it's still a game, dude. It's it's a game. There has to be difference. If you if you try and use the real life argument for twenty two, like just to read your message out for everyone that's not read it, you say that. But if you shoot me with twenty two at that range in real life, I'm pretty sure I'd be crying on the floor. You you're right, but there has to be a difference between being getting shot in the chest by a blaze and a twenty two. You know, if you shoot somebody in the rib cage with a twenty two in this game, they can't just be on the floor and incapacitated, like either dead if it hits a vital organ or not, kind of thing. You know it. It, it, there has to be, it's still a game that requires some game balance, otherwise you might only have 22s, there's no point having higher calibers, you know, so I'm not, I don't think the 22 should be more powerful, but I don't think I should die to that few amount of hits, you know, I died so quickly. But, but real life, yeah, bullets kill you, but that's not an argument for the game, otherwise there's no point having different calibers, is there, you know. Equally, people have survived Mosin rounds to the face and things, you know, not always do you die. 50 Cent got shot five or six times, didn't he, you know? And that wasn't 22. Uh, so it's uh, it's a bit of a tricky argument to make, really. But real life and game doesn't always work out as, a, as an argument to make, you know? I did pistol whip him before I shot him, Kabassi, so I, I kind of staggered him. I, I pistol whipped him twice with the 22 and once with the AK. So I pistol whipped him three times. And shot him at least three times, but... <laughs> HB, look at fit Paul with his 50, 50 Cent reference. 50 Cent was shot nine times, was he? There you go, you know. That AK... Well, did I actually hit the AK shot? If I hit the AK shot, he should have been dead. But I don't think the AK shot hit. It wasn't the same guy that I was saying get me some sticks to either, was it? It was a different player. Uh, 50 Cent must have been like uh, like a fucking mummy by the, by the time he was uh, like half an hour in the hospital. Jesus. You've got to be really lucky, haven't you, to be hit nine times and nothing that's in, it, like essential. Anyway, I, I'm, it is what it is. This server's tricky and, and it is hard and we're causing ourselves some problems here, but... I guess uh, finding an AK-74, AKS-74 in Berezino is uh, a bit of a temptation for me to turn me into a get-me-a-stick bastard. <laughs> I 
I did hit the AK shot, his hoodie went damaged. Do you think maybe that was because I, I hit him with the gun? I don't know. I think I think I missed the AK shot. If I'd hit the AK shot, the dude would have died. Kabasi, even if I'd hit him in the chest or stomach, I don't think it would have mattered. 22 doesn't kill you in three shots. I was hoping I might knock him unk on, but you can't really go for headshots when you've only got three bullets in the gun. I just tried to kill him, you know. Maybe I should have switched to my knife and gone with the knife against him, but he'd already staggered me and hit me with three heavy hits. I was already yellow. It was, it was really tricky. That's what happens when you go looking for bush in Daisy confirmed, yeah. But yeah, I, I do think your time to die from melee is... Like, like the, I think the melee weapons feel fairly balanced now. I, I don't particularly like the heavy attack stun lock so much. I, I guess it's part of it, but... If you've got... Like, I got heavy attacked by a hatchet yesterday. No, on Monday. And he stun locked me to death, you know. That's it, you know. He took his shoes off. I couldn't hear him. By the time he was hitting me, there was nothing I could do. I couldn't break his stun lock. And then I tried to run away after I thought his heavy attacks had finished. And the last one hit me in the back and I was dead. You know, you can't block them. You can't shoot back. You can't do anything. In fact, I think I had a knife in my hand, so I couldn't do anything. They were unblockable and I coun't switch to a gun. A gun. I couldn't attack him back. I was just, like, stun locked to death. It's very, very annoying. It is bad luck, but the stun lock... The stun lock... Enabling you to go from full health to dead before you can stop it. It seems a little bit unbalanced in a way, you know. Like I, I don't know. And this is—it's not just happened to me now. I'm talking about something that was Monday, so this is not like oh, I'm so annoyed I just died. Let's splurge a load of feedback. But I don't think having no right of reply to a new spawn with a hatchet when you're 20 hours in because they took their shoes off and then stun lock you to oblivion. It's—it is a bit shit, that isn't it? You know. I, I don't mind the stun lock, but flinch when you're shot with a big gun, I kind of get. But flinching that badly from a hatchet, it is, it, it is a bit of a... It's a tough pill to swallow, you know, but... And they do have a long range as well, yeah. Uh, right, let me catch up on the alerts. Take away cheesy peas. Do you like peas? Do you like cheese? Sorry if this has been asked before, but can you tell me if day one, day zero servers are down... I can't find them anymore. Uh, Takeaway, just use the official launcher. It's probably just that they're not... Sometimes if you're using the, the modded launcher and it polls at a funny time, the servers will disappear, but I'm sure they're not down, no. Uh, just use the official launcher and search... If you want to play day one, go into the official server, go to community and search for day one and just wait a minute and then you'll be able to play one. Uh, McGann, thank you for the eight months. That's really, really tight, kind, dude. Thank you very, very much. Alcatraz, thank you for the gifted sub. Gower, thank you for the new sub. Howdy, Godfather of Daisy. Keep on running, you sexy bastard. Much love as always from America Land. Death Magnet, thank you very, very much as well. UK McGamer, up your bum. <laughs> thank you very much. See up shop, thank you for the 51. Edu and Exo Ghost, thank you for the resubs beforehand. You should always just reference Navy SEAL Mike Day, who was shot 27 times and walked away himself to a medevac, Bye. quoting. I was shot both legs, both arms, my abdomen. I mean, you throw a finger on me, anything but my head, I got shot there. Jesus Christ, how the hell does somebody like that live? Shot 27 times. I don't think I'm quite ready for carrying that. That is insane. This, I actually don't know. If I, I, I've just, I, I can't suicide after I've just done that, can I? But I don't really want this spawn. This spawn sucks. I don't really want this spawn. It means going to Delina where we died all that time ago at the fucking house, you know. It, it sucks. I hate this old Nietzsche spawn. It, 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 it's painful. It's just a boring loot route. It's fine, but it's a road quite often travelled. So you're just basically looting the same route everyone else has done, you know. It's, it's frustrating. My blaze, uh, well, no, the guy that killed me in the house will have taken the blaze. He only killed me with a pistol. When I died, I'm not talking about the death where I died from the guy cooking. I'm talking about a different death. So my very first death was, I didn't have a blaze. I had a blaze, actually, but it wasn't the one probably you're thinking of. 
Uh, we've got to keep the spawn anyway. I might run back up to Berezino. We're not a million miles away from where we died. I might run back to my body just to see if the other dude bled out. I don't think he did. You never know, we might get some Revenger. I still want to do that thing where I find a gas mask and a filter and just buzz into Berezino. Sorry, into Riffy Boat. I really fancy that. I think that could be fun. Alright, Gravy, take it easy, dude. Uh, Alright, well, it's, it's better for meleeing players and zombies than fisting. Gow, it's very rare that I get them right. <laughs> I get I get so many names wrong, but yeah, I guess I've read that one right, which is cool. But I, I get so many wrong. Trust me, I'm uh, I'm no no good at stuff like that. Perhaps it's because the first autograph I ever got was David Gowers, the cricketer, <laughs> former captain of They Think It's All Over or whatever it was. Why can't I pick that up? Uh, Scott, I've not been in the gas zone today. No, I've been in the gas zones quite a bit. There's a few videos on YouTube of me making the journey and whatnot, but I've not done it today. I had the stuff to try and do it yesterday and got killed by a car. Uh, it was a glitch, basically, or a bug, whatever, but yeah, I got killed by a car. I don't really want this helmet, obviously, but it is helping me with my heat value, so we'll keep it until we get something better. Obviously, I need to keep carrying the flare as well because I'm going to need to light another fire with it. Heat pack's pretty useful. To be fair, actually, heat packs are not that useful. They are they are a bit shit. I I I don't know. I I could be wrong, but I feel like. If you've got a heat pack in your jacket and your trousers, I feel like that should probably be enough to move you up a level. So if you're flashing dark blue, you're dark blue, or if you're dark blue, you're light blue, you know. If you've got one in your jacket and your pants, maybe it pushes you up a level, but it, it obviously doesn't do that, you know. They're not really... They don't, you need, like, four to do anything. All right, Nayrim, dude, thanks, man. I hope I can get this zombie killed first. I may get I may go on the corner. Oh, let me have it! No! No, Nayram, no! Why why did you do that to me? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, unmodded. That's it. <laughs> Fuck. I keep ripping my headphones off the uh, off the table now. Oh, God, that sucks. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go for a piss and make a coffee, and also try and uh, get over that. Uh, Okay, I'll be back in two seconds. I'm going to make a coffee. It won't be long, guys. It's time to start running!
Sorry, guys. Oh, God, that sucked. Harder. Oh, sure, City. It's the ones that you spawn in with, right? They are only going to 40. That makes sense then. That's why they're not getting fully hot. I presume you can, yeah, you can it's hear me. That's good. When I, uh, when I went to move my chair, it ripped the uh, headphone cable out of the PC, which was clever. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to log out of Steam and log back in just to make sure that we get this uh, mod update. <sighs> Kabassi, I'm all right. May I suggest a toning down of trolling? <laughs> Have you watched the new June movie? It's not out yet, is it? It's not out it's until... It's about 10 days away, isn't it? Something like that. But it's not out in the UK at the cinemas yet. I want to watch it, though. I'm going to, but not yet. Uh, cheers, Ariana. Have a good rest of the day. Uh... I want to see June at the cinema. It looks like it's going to be good. What headset do I use? I have Sennheiser GSP 500s. So I believe Sennheiser as a brand are kind of like uh, defunct. Some absolutely crazy company that... Uh, took over, decided that it was a good idea to drop the brand Sennheiser, who've got so much history with audio, and call them something other than Sennheiser, which I can't get my fucking head around. It's like taking over Ferrari and changing the name. I know Sennheiser aren't Ferrari, but imagine imagine taking over, like taking over Porsche, and then calling them Smiths or something like that, and changing it. Why the fuck would you do that? You'd have to be an absolute moron to change the brand name Sennheiser. Why the hell would you do that? I still can't get my head around it. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, Dave Z, I'm not. No, I'll be streaming, so I can't watch Shatner go into space. I just don't... I don't understand what the hell they were thinking, really. And I've heard the new company's name a few times, and I still can't remember it, you know? What does that tell you? I can't remember the name. Yeah, Sennheiser was sold, but rather than keeping the name over, they've they've changed them to... Uh, changed it to some other brand, you know. I don't think I can stream it, Dave Z. Something tells me I might be in trouble for that. Well, that seems a bit harsh. We've we've lost the zombie, but we've kept the blood or the bleed. Right, okay, let's carry on. So my plan was to try and get a gas mask and go and rinse Berezino, right? Go to the Riffy boat. And Nayram has just stolen a filter from me, yes. Nayram's just stolen a filter. That bastard. <laughs> so now we've got to try and get a new one. Check inside medic. Well, Blaze Play, let me get there. You know, that that's the plan, but... You have to those cars, like the car I was just looking at. It uh, it can spawn medical loot, you know. So it's it's the same as checking the medical. It, a lot of the time, in places like Solnichi, where stuff's really high traffic, you get better loot at the house or the car nearby that spawns medical loot, rather than actually in the medical. Proof of the pudding here being that there's fuck all in here. Let's have a little look, see if there, I think there might be meds in some of this stuff, maybe. No. NBC jacket. Do I want that? I presume that surgical thing might give me a little bit of protection, I don't know. 
I want the NBC jacket anyway. Romania, it has. It's been, it's been a bloodbath today, but I mean, some of it my own doing. You know, if you run around saying, shouting, uh, get me sticks and shooting at people, you're probably attracting attention. Maybe I should be a bit more sensible this time, but I don't know. I, I've still really enjoyed today so far. We've been playing three hours, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I've caused my own demise once or twice, but it's been fun. I guess it's been a little bit different than yesterday, where I got away from where you spawned really quickly. And did everything right, and then got killed by a bug. Maybe today I'm just not feeling it, you know. We did the slow game, we did everything right, six hours in, and a car decides to go from two miles an hour to a tree at 220 miles an hour, you know. Like that, at that moment I decided that today maybe might be a bit more fun and a bit less serious. I don't think I can handle the disappointment of that happening again. <laughs> I'm going to quickly check a little bit around here, see if I can get some gloves. To be fair, I could always just not get in a car, but yeah. I don't really know what to do. I want to go back. Oh, obviously, our dead body now will have gone, so I'll, even if uh, that dude had... Uh, not yet, we've still got the plus symbol. Even if that dude had somehow miraculously bled out, which I don't think he will have, but if he had, his body would be gone too, so there's now nothing we can do about it. That's interesting. The heat pack that you find in game is different than the one that you find. That's weird. So it's been modded to be a smaller amount of slots. I'm going to have to carry on looting here a little bit. I can't really leave just yet, unfortunately. Almost all servers are down now, right now. No, they're not. Everyone, the DZSA launcher is not finding the servers. Just use the official one. The servers have not gone anywhere. Don't use the official launcher. Use the sorry. Don't use the DZSA launcher. Use the official launcher. Your servers will be there. Just click Daisy. Click the Daisy icon on your desktop, and then go to servers and type in the name of the server you want to join in the community. Heat packs just got updated. Oh, okay. Oh, bollocks to that, man. Some gloves would be nice, or a fire. Sorry, a lighter. Whatever. What's that? Sport rounds. Could have done with those a second ago when I was piling bullets into that dude and then he killed me. Well, three bullets into him. I think I've actually lit those peep heat packs a little early. Time to start Where's the... Oh, there's one more house. I'm going to have to keep looting these for now. I don't know how much these heat... That's that's 90 degrees. Oh, that is cool. So the heat pack that's been modded is actually way, way better. That is very, very cool then, isn't it? Still isn't worth the fucking filter that I lost. But it's still good. Took my first advantage into Gaston on Livonia this morning. Guess what I found? Absolutely sweet fuck all. Oh, like him. That sucks, dude. Not really. Was it? I presume it wasn't like a, a proper one, you know, like a static one, Radonin or Gliniska. Uh, I saw HB's post about this new Winter Chernus map. So cool. How's it playing so far? Abominable. Really, really good. I had a great time yesterday. Unfortunately, died a little bit unluckily. Uh, a car that decided to 
become a plane into a tree. Uh, but yeah, it's been good. It's been playing really well. I'm, I'm enjoying the server a lot. I'm enjoying the uh, survival a lot. It's really good. I don't really know what to do here. I, w I want to go to Berezino. I still have kind of I I like hopes of like buzzing into the uh, boat and getting an AK or something. I think it's probably uh, dumb, but I think I'm going to try. I'm going to make a fire in this house. I do need to get a uh, drink at the well as well. Did I not get a bottle of water? I did. Let's sort out the, the well. I'll just have a bottle of water, and then we're, I think we're going to start heading towards Berezino. I may go to the northeast airfield, and perhaps we'll try and get a gas mask there. Maybe go to the fire station at Chennai Palana. I just want to, and even if I don't have the full NBC loot, I really want to try and go to the gas zone. Tripper, well, it's not just a winter mod. It's a lot of Namask mods as well, but it's all open. It's not, like, exclusive, as far as I know. How do you update mods on the official launch? Big Shug, you just let it do it for you. So you choose the server you want to join, and then it says set up DLCs and mods. You just click that, and then it will check all your mods are up to date and put you in the server. Three barracks west of Krasnostav. Well, what I'm after is uh, stuff to go in the gas zone, so I probably won't bother going to those, the civilian barracks. I think there's there's four, isn't there? But yeah, there's no zombies since the respawn, since the restart. I don't know why. Maybe I don't count as being really here or something. Yeah, if you're looking to join this server, I would advise you don't watch the stream anymore, by the way, guys. Watching the stream... I'm not saying everyone's doing that, by the way, but... Watching the stream and joining this server would be a bad idea. I've not hidden the server I'm on. But if you do decide you want to go and play Zero's Winter Hardcore server, leave the stream before you join it, because otherwise you might come unstuck. Yeah, I, I, if you're playing on console, maybe it's a bit trickier, but if you're playing on PC, there's not really much of a, a reason to play official, to be honest. Captain, uh, well, if you're not watching the stream, you don't need to be in the stream, do you? That's what I'm telling you, right? So you're here now watching the stream. If you want to go and play this server, just stop watching the stream. It's very straightforward, right? Please know that the succulent called Paul from B&Q's babies have been split and put into their own pots. Paul is so much happier. Very cool, Tenacious D. Very cool. Oh, thanks, Big Shug. Cheers for the heads up, too. And by the way, it's not me that's going to be reporting anyone, and uh, it's not it's not any great shakes, but I, I happened to realise that somebody was uh, moaning yesterday because they'd got a temporary ban from the server because they were watching the stream as they were playing in the server, you know. The admins sometimes watch my stream whilst I'm streaming. Uh, I'm not going to be reporting people, but admins do monitor these things, and stream sniping is a, a thing that this server, like, deals with, you know. Pykan, uh, follow me on Twitter for all your uh, update requirements. Is modded servers not easier than official? Some are harder. Th this is harder than official, Legend. This is way harder than official. Some are harder, most are easier, but no. If you're playing on Community Tab, that doesn't mean you're playing on modded servers, you know. Spaggy has a lot of servers in the Community Tab. They're all vanilla. They're exactly the same as community servers in every way. Except for maybe the night time being a tiny bit shorter. But there are servers that play exactly like official, but they're community, you know. You get kind of both. Like day one servers, day one's well, day one's not quite like official, but it's it's certainly not easier. 
there's a few extra guns, but it's not easier than an official server. It's about the same. Schism, a, a, a hacker wouldn't get kicked from uh, from official in an hour. They could potentially hack for several weeks. Uh, unfortunately, battle I tends to catch up, you know. So that that's what you're right that. If you get if you go around the map using a speed hack and kill ten people in five minutes about eight kilometers apart, a community manager can see that and, and ban the player straight away. But Battle Eye works in waves, so they'll work out what code is being used or what code is being exploited and there'll be a ban wave. But it might be every month or every three weeks or every six weeks or whatever. <laughs> well, there's no official mods, that's the point, Schism. There is no official mods. Daisy doesn't have uh, moderators or admins on official servers. You just join. Everyone that has Daisy joins the servers. That's it. There's no moderation goes on. Uh, if you're on an official server, that's you buy the game and you can play on the server, and that's it. There's no, there's no nothing else goes on. Battle Eye and Steam. You can get VAC banned by Steam, or you can get Battle Eye banned, but you have to get caught. <coughs> Well, uh, Marshall, I, 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 I don't really have any guardian angels as such. It's just if an admin happens to be watching, you know. I, I, don't, uh, I don't have any admin rights on any servers myself. I've never seen an admin panel. Uh, I, I, to be fair, actually, on uh, Spaggy gave me access to a private Dear Isle server and I recorded a couple of uh, flying around things for a few videos about a year and a half ago. But I've never really looked at admin logs. I don't know how it works. I just joined a server as an admin and flew around for a bit to make a video. I didn't really, uh, I didn't do anything else other than that. So that that's the nearest I've ever been, been to be an admin. I, I'm not really, not really kind of keen on getting admin servers, admin powers on a server I'm streaming on. I'd rather just be a player, you know. Uh, but yeah, I, I, if a lot of servers, like general, like especially this server, it's ran by a streamer, Happy Bombs, right? They kind of try to deal with stream snipers if they can, because it makes their server more of a place for communities like mine and other streamers to play on, which helps to keep the server a bit more popular, you know. I would hope that yesterday this server came out, me retweeting it and then me playing it to some people probably helped fill it up, you know, so there's a bit of a symbiotic relationship there, I suppose, in a way, you know. Ever try any RP servers? I'm not that uh, not that much into RP. I played Daisy RP once, and there's actually a video of me playing on Daisy RP from like 2014. But I meet two dudes who decide they want to be a cannibal, and so they're just going to eat me. But they were actually not break. They were breaking the rules of Daisy RP. You can't just decide you're a cannibal and then eat everyone. It you're not allowed to do that, or at least on that server. At light RP, like you'd get on uh, like Daisy Underground or Karma Crew, not Karma Crew, Daisy Underground or Day One. Like, like, day one's not really RP, to be fair, but, like, Daisy Underground is light RP, RP in courage, you know, you're not forced to do anything. Uh, I kind of like that sort of thing. I'm not that keen on... I'm not that keen on, like, whitelists with strict rules and exact things you have to do and initiations and, like, stuff like that. Platinum! <laughs> Ah, uh, Marshall, you're very kind. It's okay, I, I'm not really looking for that kind of stuff, you know. I, I'm, I, I think I've, in, in the time that I've probably had my name on the servers with Spaggy, you know, the Running Man servers, now they're, they're still there, they're just called Spaggy, they're not called the Running Mans anymore. There's no drama there. I'm, Spaggy's still a mate. It just became too much of a pressure on this stream and the Discord and everyone's mental health with the amount of stuff that was going on with the like people coming here and people going to the discord moaning about the servers uh, but the servers are still there but in the time that I he probably hosted those servers for four years and I never had admin access to any server open to the public ever uh, and I probably messaged him about stream snipers maybe three times perhaps four maybe, maybe I've miscounted but I don't really if I think I'm being stream sniped I don't send it off to the admins I don't try and get people banned it just happens all the time. I just don't bother. It happens every day, you know. It might have happened today. Probably hasn't, but you never know, do you? You know, I doubt it. But I don't really want to start making loads of work for admins. I just play the game, you know. I don't really. Whatever happens, happens. 
Gower, I, I think I could be okay at RP. The problem is it becomes a bit like... Uh, it, it feels a bit like when I used to do drama in GCSE, you know, at, at school. It it feels very cringy. Like, when you meet a really good rp -er, and some of the people that stream RP, you know, like Silent Sentry is a great example, you get really, really good rp -ers, you know, really good ones. And it makes it really interesting, but you also get really, really cringy rp -ers, and it just makes my skin crawl. I just don't want to do it, you know. I, I don't want to be... The good thing about Daisy is you can make your own fun, you know, a bit like chasing that guy and saying, get me sticks, get me sticks. You can create your own fun in any given scenario, you know. If you're playing RP, your fun is reliant on the other person and it being good, you know. If you meet a guy who's dull in regular Daisy, you can do what you want, you know, or, or a girl or whatever, you know. You can, as long as you're not being, like, horrible, but you know what I mean. You can, you can kill him, you can befriend him, you can do what you like, and there's no rules, but... When you're on an RP server with rules, you have to follow them. And then the enjoyment comes from only meeting good RPers. Or you get some tedious one that wants to tell you, like, a six-hour backstory that you don't give a fuck about, you know? I, I just... Yeah, I, I can't, it's, too, it's a bit too amateur dramatic for my liking. I just can't get my head into it. Uh, definitely not a noob. Sup, Paul? I don't really have time for Twitch, but I watch all your videos. Dude, thank you very much, noob. Thank you for the resub. You've been around since I first started streaming, like a few people have, dude. Thanks a lot for the resub, man. Pixelated KO, uh, mainly a lurker, but love the content. Thank you very, very much for the support. Cheers for the two months. BB Doink, thank you for the two months as well. Kalotic, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Cheers for remembering you've got Prime and for picking me to use it on. Uh, Noodles Dupree, thank you for the three months. Uh, Script Alert, Juan. Uh, don't suppose you know where I could get a new PC from in the UK. PC specialist script alert would be the place. Thank you. <laughs> uh, guys, if you do get the chance, exclamation PC. Uh, click the link. It's free to do, but it just shows to my sponsor that I'm sharing the link. It's just a link to their website, but it's tracked with me. So, And if you're on YouTube, it's in the comments section. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Mike, two months already. Always happy to support my favorite streamer. Thank you very much. It's not in the comments section. It's in the video description. Sorry. Uh... Niley, thank you for the for the new sub. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Uh, Atty, I, I'm good. I'm good. I hope you're good. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm probably getting myself killed a little bit by... Uh, oh, no, we need to check this. By being a little bit too uh, shooty. But I'm really enjoying the, uh, the Winter and the Mouse. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Rob, you're welcome, dude. Thank you for the sub. That's really kind. Cheers for the resub. Uh, what are the chances we get a stream tomorrow and an edited video on Sunday? Esteban, the only chance that that happens is if I feel today's stream is good enough to put to YouTube this week. I actually think so far it's been alright, even though it's been quite kos -y. I think it's been an interesting reflection of the winter map and how I'm kos and other people are. I think it's quite an interesting reflection of it, you know, of the, the harshness of it, you know. So if this stream goes well to the end, I could end up uploading this as this week's YouTube video and I'll stream tomorrow during the day. But that's quite a big if, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Big Shook, good luck, dude. Hope you have a good good run. Good luck with it, man. <coughs> RP on Daisy upsets you. <laughs> it doesn't particularly upset me. I just don't do it. Well, I do. When I meet random people, I'll, I'll play a little bit of a part, if you like. But if I meet another person, I like to play the part of Dave, the guy that's just not really Dave, and he's just playing a game, you know. Uh, I don't really like to be, uh, like, playing some role like I'm an actor. I'm just not. I agree, Telemar. I, I, I think understanding why people like IP is fine. I just don't want to do it myself, you know. I, I think it's good that... It's the same as, like, trader-based servers and stuff. You'll see people sometimes on Twitter or Reddit saying, these shouldn't be a thing, it's simply not DayZ or whatnot. There is no there is no right DayZ, you know. There's the game the devs make, which is the one right DayZ. But when you're looking on the community tab and you've got all the tapestry of the modded servers, there's no right or wrong way. 
whatever you want to play, you know, whatever you enjoy, I'm glad it's there because it means more people play the game, you know. Uh, the, the, the kind of real DayZ is effectively the game the devs make, but we shouldn't all play vanilla, should we, you know, we play what we like. Mowgli, dude, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream, man. Thank you very, very, very much, dude. I hope you're good. So we've already looted this town once, but it was hours ago. Hopefully we can get better luck this time. Light blue when I'm in the house. So I'm, I'm carrying this uh, torch to make the next fire. Let's do this red and green one. I'm not carrying it for any other reason. It's not giving me any heat or anything. I uh, could change, but... Oh, oh very nice. It's time to start I'll eat that... Uh, I'll eat that rice in a sec. I just... I want to loot down the bottom end, just check a few houses, and then uh, make a fire. I need to make a fire quite quick. God, it's taken a while to eat this, isn't it? I want to make a fire quite quick. But I also want to try and find gloves, maybe a backpack as well. We'll uh, So we're trying to get as much done as possible. But what I don't want to do is get frostbite in my hands. And we were running the risk of that before, weren't we? We've certainly risked it quite a lot today. It's a bit tricky here. If I make a fire at this house down here, one of these... These are the very first houses that you arrive at when you come into the town. It's a bit, it's a bit dangerous, let's say. Also, hear a chicken. I could get that chicken. I can, I can cut it up, can't I? I don't know how long this uh, flare is going to last. It's not got long left. It's time to start running. Right. I'm going to quickly leave that burning there, check the last two houses, then we'll come back. I might get the chicken first, but I want to light that fire before I do. I I can always get more sticks, but when that flare's gone, I can't light a fire. Do I have some heat? I guess I could, actually. I could use my stone knife to get some uh, bark, but that stone knife's not got much life in it as well. We've got to be careful how we use it till I get another knife. Holy shit. I'd like to take that, but I don't know if I can handle the loss in space. I know the fire's burning and I need it, but I'm going to go and get the chicken. It's up here somewhere. Oh, come on. Please tell me that's gloves. Yeah. Slightly less of a concern now. We ain't getting frostbite. The fuck is it?
Uh, Doddy, keep up the great work. Love the streams and vids. Dude, thank you for the 15 months. That's very, very kind. Stormy Imp, thank you for the 15 months as well. Thank you very much, both of you guys. Thank you. I just heard it now. It's miles away. I think we'll just go back to the fire. I, I don't want to fuck around. We're, we're best, although we're not now risking frostbite, we are still going to get. Uh, we'll end up losing health considerably the way we're going. We need to get the uh, plus symbol and then just crack on. At least we're generating some more frost resistance as well. Brown, well, I hope it goes well. Quite the successful job interview. Hopefully, the Zagorki bars will be on me. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Hope it goes well. Uh, King Destroyer. Well, good luck, man. Hope that goes well, too. Still got two sticks left. Let's put one there. And then we'll do that. I wish there was food recipes in Daisy Esteban. I think there's a chance we might see that at some point. I didn't mean to do that. That's so annoying. Oh well. Might as well put them on and leave it burning for longer then. We can always come back to this town to get the plus to get the plus symbol as we leave, but that I actually didn't mean to do that. I meant to put the three sticks on there, but never mind. Twat. That's three kilos. How heavy is this one when it's empty? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the kilo. I, I might be a mistake. And you guys will be well aware of just how much I try to save stamina, you know. I, I'm never... I'm always trying to keep the minimum amount of uh, excessive weight. I ne I'd never carry loot that I don't need or anything, so it seems like the right choice. I lost swag points, did I? I don't know. I look I look like a killer now, don't I, with that black coat on and these, these boots and... The black jeans with the gloves. I, f I look like a killer. Stone cold killer. Uh, Wellsy, back again. More bits for a great stream and no driving today. Good advice. No KOSing today might be good advice as well after the start. Uh, bad day at work, but at least I can come home to TRMZ. Argonaut, well, I hope you have a better day tomorrow, dude. Thank you for the resub. Wellsy, thank you for the bits as well. You're in the wrong streamer. Do you think so, Psycho? I look more like a Midwest... No no Midwest housewife is going out with a coat like that and dark gloves like that, surely. And a bandit face mask on. Give me all your money. Your uh, lactose-free milk or your life. Uh, right, let's have a drink of this coffee. Sam, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Cheers for remembering you've got Prime and for picking me to use it on. I can hear that bastard in Chimkin now. Laughing at me. You hear him? He's like, he wasn't cock doodle doing at all. And now, listen to him. He can't fucking stop, can he? Where's the zombies? I feel like there's no zombies since the restart. I might... I might be imagining that, but it feels like there's no zombies. There was definitely zombies on the server before the restart. Still got his eyes open. One of my 15 quantum. I fucking hate these ponchos.
Everyone that ever wears them is always it always always makes me think they're a, think they're an RPer. I don't know why. And I, I, like I say, nothing wrong with that, but I always think they're going to come up with something. This weekend is when I try to get my girl to do some. <laughs> Eight iron. Good luck with that. I'm not reading the rest out. I want this might go to YouTube. I don't want to talk about rear entries. Okay. Good luck. I hope it goes well. In fact, to be honest, I hope it doesn't go well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hope she says no, no, no. Because that's the most common answer in my experience. I didn't gank. I didn't. I I just I, I I like I say RP and RP's place. But when I see somebody wearing this hood, it makes me think of somebody doing a voice. I don't know why. Maybe when I first first had one, it was on a server where it was happening or something. I don't really want to. I don't really can't can't really put my finger on explaining it. But maybe when they first introduced, everyone that came over was always doing some dodgy accent and trying to RP. But and I'm just going, you alright? My, your microphone sounds a bit funny. <laughs> I like. I know you. You were talking about RP before. I. I like RP, and RP has a place. But sometimes, like, someone coming over and giving you some tedious bollocks when you're just on a normal server is tedious bollocks, right? Well, the fire should still be burning. I'm actually not planning on looting the entire town. Actually, sheep up that way. Don't think, don't even think we need the sheep anymore. I still have, uh, ad, like the uh, ambition of uh, trying to go to Riffy Boat with nothing but a gas mask. <laughs> uh, Angry Chair, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Hunter Bravo, Angry Dude thank you for the continued support man and Hunter Bravo, thank you for the bits keep up the good work and by the way, who's plowing the roads during these zombie apocalypses the roads aren't ploughed, they've, they've just had a few cars drive on them as you can see the, the, the road clearly hasn't been ploughed it's just had a couple of cars on it you know. to be honest I'm surprised like daisy cars being daisy cars they wouldn't really make tyre tracks like this they'd be like stuck in that tree up there on top of that house or whatever, you know. It's definitely not been ploughed though, look. This this these tire tracks seem particularly strange. Like some great big combine harvester has come driving along course because there's one track on one side and another track on the other. Motor uh, motorbikes only on this this road. Come on then. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I think two swirls round and that'll be it, mate. I think I have to get more sticks. That fire shouldn't still go out. It had eight sticks in it. It should be going for a bit. I bet it's still got like two or three sticks in it, probably. But let's go and find out. Gangster, I'll get there, dude. Sorry, I will get there. I'm, I'm trying to keep up, but... When you're like in full ball speed loot mode, it's it's kind of easy to miss them, and I'm kind of catching them up in groups, kind of thing, you know. Three sticks. Uh, daily dose of poggers. Thank you for the nine months for the dose man's Twitch baby. Ethan and Sam, thanks for the support. Argonaut and Doddy, thank you. Uh, I haven't missed your tip, gangster. It was two minutes ago. Trust me, that doesn't count as a miss. <laughs> if it's 10 or 15 minutes, then it's a miss. If it's two minutes, it's not a miss. It's fine. I'm, I'll get there. Doesn't mean I'm not grateful. I am very much so, but it takes me more than two minutes to catch an alert sometimes at the moment. Uh, this is for the Midwest housewife bandit Karen with cock in her hands. <laughs> All right, she's, uh, she's uh, 
It's broken the cock down in two now, so we're okay. Uh, Gangster, thank you for the tip. And Mike Blatz, thank you for the two months as well. Yeah, within one hour, consider yourself lucky. To be honest, it's, it is really hard, actually. It's not, I don't mean like hard, oh, poor me, but I feel bad that I sometimes don't catch them. But equally, if I stop everything every time for an alert, like the one that just went off, uh, if I stop mid-flow in everything I say because of an alert, I'll never say anything. And that's, an, uh, that's a crazily cool thing. In reality, it means that the stream's going well, and I'm very grateful for that, you know. So... The flip side of it means that the stream's going well and things are going okay and that's great, you know. I'm really pleased about that. But it does make me feel bad when I, I don't catch... And I, to be honest, I don't feel bad if it takes me two minutes to read an alert out. But I feel bad if I miss them and I do I, I know I miss the odd one, you know. That kind of winds me up a little bit. But uh, F1, uh, thank you for the great entertainment. Dude, thank you, Ferrari fan. That's really kind, man. Trina B, thank you for the resub as well. Uh, Ferrari Mans was a was a Twitch baby as well, dude. Thank you. Uh, Trina B, thank you for the 16. Niley, thank you for gifting Captain Oblivious the sub. Very, very kind. And a 41-month resub as well. Got to use keywords if you want Paul to read it quicker. E.g. gluten watches, cock, chimpkin, misses, etc. <laughs> yeah, keywords. Z Pity, yeah, exactly like on the mouse. You... you the food except for like like that milk I'm drying that milk but it would have been fine it's exactly like the mouse yeah so you uh you have to d like defrost the food and and then drink it death magnet you missed my eight month sub seven months ago nobody's counting <laughs> sorry dude <laughs> decamp yeah I know I know it's Jack FPS. The world of DayZ today has been pretty good. I've, I've managed to get myself killed a few too many times, some might say. And to those I'd say, we're doing great. It's all going just according to plan. If that plan is to keep dying. We actually could chamber both of these, couldn't we? So, I'm going to go towards Berezino. I'm still hankering after going to the gas zone, like I said. So, we could maybe... Do you know what? Let's skip it. Let, let's go towards Krasnostav. And no, I've changed my mind. I'm having an argument with myself right now. I'm not going to go to Lower Berezino. I think we might do Upper Berezino only. Uh, and try around the hospital. Just to see if we can find a filter or anything like that. And then after that, we're going to head towards Kozlovka. Do I, no, not Kozlovka. What's the... Dubrovka. Dubrovka's the name of it. We're going to head towards Dubrovka, maybe Kelm. And then Krasnostav and the Northeast Airfield. Rusty, yes you can. It's exactly like Namask, so it doesn't have the alien event or anything like that, but obviously the map is different, so there's no alien event, but everything else is like Namask. You can't eat hot food. If you try to eat hot food, you get burnt. If you don't have the plus symbol, you might get frostbite. It's exactly like playing Namask, but changing to Chernerus. Gredon, uh, the server's been pretty popping yesterday and today. I don't know if it's full or not, but I'd be surprised if it's not. The only thing that might affect its popularity a little bit is that the third party launcher seems to be struggling today and so people sometimes don't find the server they want to go in for some reason. Q since this morning. Very cool. To be fair, Gred, and just, just so you know, it's very rare that I'm not playing in a full server because I'm all about meeting other players, you know. Sometimes I might be shooty, sometimes I might be chatty, but we had a cool team-up the other day. Not on Winter Churros, but we had a co couple of cool team-ups in the last week or two. We had two on Monday. On the mouse, actually, but I kept getting killed. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of like teaming up with people. Uh, but equally, something like this where it's a bit trickier, I might get a bit shooty as well. How did yesterday's life on Winter Cherner ascend? Gangster, I got in a car, I was driving a car around for ages and I got in the car and it was all bouncy and I said to the chat, well, if you get in a car and it's like this, don't carry on driving it, it's not worth the risk. And then I carried on driving it and it wasn't worth the risk. Uh... 
well, this server's not got 100 plus players, but the reason that is, Vipsam, is, is because the server owner has done it, you know, so some servers will reduce the zombie numbers to try and buy server performance. So they'll reduce the number of servers, maybe reduce the number of animal AI uh, to try and increase the player count. So they'll they'll try and have more players and less other things, you know. But I don't think this server has got less zombies. I think it's not. But maybe maybe it's been tweaked in the last update. But I didn't see an, an, a single zombie in that town. Whereas when I was in there two hours ago, there was quite a few. So I should think it's just an anomaly with the restart that just happened. Still got the Livonia character from yesterday, the one that got the had that chambered sniper, and I got two kills at the helicopter. That guy, uh, he's still alive. Yeah, I, I didn't want to carry that one on. Might do it later, but to be honest, I really want to stick with this for today. I think we'll probably carry the Livonia dude on on Monday next week. This this if this stream feels like it can go to YouTube, then I'll be streaming tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow is usually my edit day, so I normally edit on Thursdays. But if this feels like it can be this week's video. Then I'll put this up unedited, and then tomorrow... Oh, we could potentially use that. We know where there's a car. And we know that cars on this server work A1. So yeah, I don't know. I, I This this might be the last stream until Sunday. Or maybe I might stream tomorrow. It just depends how we go. Depends how this stream goes. Killer Clams, dude, thank you so much for the four years of resubbing, man. That's very, very, very kind, man. Thank you. Ruby Badge, no less. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, the M14 is it's cred incredibly high recoil. I would, I would like to, on that Livonia character, try and swap that uh, six times ACOG scope for a regular ACOG scope. But regular ACOG scopes on servers that have got the modded ACOG seem really hard to find. It's a bit frustrating. I can't stand that modded ACOG for some reason. I just don't like it. I much prefer the standard one. Getting hung up on the fucking... Tr Can I just get through? Please. What do I think about AKs? They're great, Gredon. AKs are great if you can get them. They're not always easy to find, but... Someone's been here and dropped a badly damaged hat. I do like the skybox on this. It looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. Pink sky at night. New spawns delight. Broder, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel and remembering you've got it to use somewhere. Thank you very much. Big man with a chambered sport. Oh yes, I got two fully geared kills in 2014 with a 20 with a chambered sporter. It's in a video. I can't. Re one of them had an SKS and one of them had something else. But that was in the days when you headshot somebody with a sporter and they'd probably die. Though Th those days aren't here anymore. I can't remember what it was called. One in the chamber, I think it was called, and I think it was 2014. Gredon, yeah, I, the 74 is the weakest of the AKs, but it's the lowest recoil, so uh, the KA-74 has the lowest, it, assuming it's the full-size one and not the, the, the baby carbine one, the small one. A full-size AK-74 is uh, is really decent. I probably personally would rather have an AKM or even an AK-101, but uh, they're, hard, they're all hard to get. Whichever one you've got is normally enough to save your life. They do still kill fast, but if someone's wearing a plate carrier, it can be the difference in like a 50-50 trade, you know. If you turn a quarter and start shooting each other at pretty much the same time, that's the difference, isn't it? You know, like, it does make a difference. Also makes a big difference between, like, how many shots to knock them unconscious and not, you know. Not always can you hit every shot, so two shots might knock them uncon, whereas with the 74 it's three, and that can, that can make a difference. So they all add up, but yeah, it's still a great gun, especially the big one. The, the baby AK, the smaller one, the AKS, it, it's kind of cool, and I always take it. It is good, but it the, the recoil can be a bit of a leveler with it, but it, it's still very, very good. I have rope, don't I? Yeah, I don't need any more. 
Unfortunately, it's cold as shite. I think we're going to have to make a fire before we go anywhere else. Oh, this this is this is a problem. Badly damaged. I might get one piece of. Ah, uh... oh, do you know what? I think we're just going to go to the hunting stand and try. We'll get to the main part of the town. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. Isn't there a hunting stand in this tree line? Where have, where am I missing it? Oh, it's right there, look. Right in front of me. Uh, Caleb, thank you for the 17 months. That's very, very kind. Brother, thank you again for the support. Cheers for the Twitch Prime. You have been playing Daisy for seven plus years. Ever been close to hanging up the proverbial gloves? Great vids, Paul. Probably George. There was only... Uh 0.57 where I really struggled. I don't remember being a streamer very much in 0.57. I think I was, but I hated 0.57 and I struggled at that time to play DayZ. Uh, it was when there was AKMs and drum mags in Cherno, Berezino and Electro and you didn't need to ever travel anywhere. It made every map like a DayZ. Every server was like a, a deathmatch server. And there was a horrendous bug where you could only die to a headshot. So you could hit somebody 20 times in the chest and they wouldn't die. And if they happened to hit you in the head, you would, you know. Or, well, you might not be bugged. But because I knew the symptoms of the bug, when I got it, I would log out and fix it. And so you would end up PvPing against somebody that was bugged and didn't log out or didn't know. Uh, and so you were constantly battling people that were almost impossible to kill while, while you were logging out to fix the bug. It was so frustrating. So, yeah, the nearest I got was 0.57. But even then, the game was still great. It was just tricky to find interactions outside of the airfield. You, you could go to Starry, Novi, Northwest Airfield, Tissy, well Tissy wasn't there actually, but VMC and whatnot, and there was nobody to be found anywhere. King Cause, I absolutely, I really hate that feature. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. The, the third person camera feature that Scum has, and I, I know some people love it, and I'm not saying you're wrong. But I really can't stand it. I, I think it's a stupid... I, it's a nice idea, but it's just... If you want to fix third-person cameras that badly, don't play third-person, you know? I don't get it. I, I think it's immers immersion-breaking and kind of dumb, you know? Like, you can be playing with somebody, or you just randomly meet someone, and they're running behind you, and you do that with the third-person camera, and they're talking to you. You can hear them talking, yet you can't see them, you know? It's just stupid. I, I, I just, I don't like that third person camera angle and I did say when it before when it was announced I was not convinced it was a good idea. And I, and I know this is just my own opinion and it doesn't mean I'm right, it's just mine, you know, it's quite a strong one. But if you're that against third person that you want to try and make people disappear off the, like, like that, just make a first person game, you know. <laughs> if you're that against it, just make the game first person, it seems quite a simple fix really. Was that the same patch as the one you put your... Uh, I don't remember that one, Shotgun. I, when the gun used to go on your back, uh, it, it, I always thought it was a hacker, but I'd, I'd, I, can't, I probably just can't remember it. Uh, it's, MVGs are more rare uh, on uh, 114 grid, and they're very, very rare. So I maybe went over the top loot, ra wasting my stone knife there, but... Apparently, there's only one pair of MVGs in the map at any one time, and they only spawn at a helicopter crash site, so you're going to struggle to find them, basically. I think it was a sporter that we ran over, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not worried at the moment. Oh, it's a BK, and it's right in the door. I actually didn't see that one, I don't think. Yeah, we'll take that. I've got bullets for it. I just picked up a couple of bullets, didn't I? There's no point despawning it. Somebody else might want it. If you despawn it, it just reappears somewhere else anyway, so... It is Big Trotsky. It plays exactly like Hardcore Namask, but it's in Chernera, so it's very hard. Uh, Riz, uh, much love, brother. Hope you're well. Dude, thank you for the 28 months. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. 
Uh, probably George, you have been playing... To oh, I read that one, didn't I? I've never really done it. It's always been my favourite game. So, coming back to the seven-year question, I genuinely look forward to it. I knew I was going to play this map today, and I was looking forward to it this morning, you know. That's why I started early, if I'm being honest, you know. My missus went out, I was in my own, I was wanting to play this map, so I started early, you know. Uh, I, I still really love the game, it's my favourite game, and to be honest, the streaming's going well. I'm, I never thought I'd do as well as I'm doing stream-wise, you know. I, that, like, it's going really well, you know. When I started streaming, and I looked at the top of the list, and there was people like Mr. Moon, and Kiwo, and Jamjar, and Blackout, and Sacriel, and Break, and LP, and uh, all sorts of others as well. Lots of others too, right? Anthony Kong fan and all of those guys, you know. The fact that, like, some middle-aged fucking twat has managed to infiltrate that group. I know I'm not that much older than one or two of those, to be fair, but uh, I, it feels cool, you know. I really, I'm quite proud of how the streaming has gone. Uh, even though it is only streaming, you know. It's not like I'm, uh, not like a brain surgeon or something, you know. I'm very proud of how it went, though. It's cool. But yeah, I, if I couldn't play the game anymore, if I didn't enjoy DayZ anymore, I don't think I could stream it, right? Uh, so yeah, I, I feel quite lucky in that. I, there are times where I feel a bit self-consciously sad about it, in a way. If I look at other streamers, and this is not because of anything that comes my way, but if I look at some of the streamers that played DayZ and then went on to, like, if you look at, like, some of them are multi-streamers or some of them are on Tarkov or so... But I wake up every day and want to play DayZ and I, I'm not going to change for the sake of it, you know, so I, it almost feels a bit like I stuck with Daisy and I don't know, others didn't kind of thing, you know, but it, it's just what I like, you know likewise other streamers that moved on to say Tarkov had probably fallen out of love with Daisy, so they went with what they what was right for them, you know uh, Bubbles, thank you for checking out the vids Yeah, well, it can go both ways, Ten, and you could you can get bored with the game that you grew your audience on. It doesn't mean you're definitely gonna. If you, it depends on timing as well, you know. Like, if you get bored of DayZ and it's just as Tarkov comes out, you can switch to Tarkov. If you get bored of DayZ and there's no game that's relatable, it can be really hard. If you like, it would be really hard if I stopped streaming DayZ tomorrow. I don't know what would happen, but I'd, I'd like to think if I did something like Tarkov, I'd do all right, but. I don't really want to play Tarkov, you know, that's the point. I'd, I like it, it was alright when I played it last, but I don't want to play Tarkov 8 hours a day. That, that would probably do my head in, you know. I just can't, I can't get into Tarkov. It gets boring for me after about level 40, and that's that. It's the best tactical first-person shooter on PC, no doubt about it, but... I just don't know how people play it over and over again. Which sounds stupid to say, because I play DayZ over and over again. It's just a personal choice thing. But in DayZ, everything's a bit more random. And you like random encounters and random bullshit and random adventures and teaming up and getting killed. And so every day is slightly different than the last. Whereas in Tarkov, unless you really work at it, you're still basically doing the same thing. And maybe that's just my narrow view of it. But I, don't, I just can't get into it the same. Uh, I'm here for the day. I, I like the stream because it feels like a normal life, lurking in the background and being ignored by my dad. Speaking of, howdy. <laughs> Ursa, hello. I'm not ignoring you, see? I hope you're good, dude. I, I, I don't know about Hunt Showdown. I, I, I've watched one or two things Tope's done on it on YouTube, and it looks quite good, but it's not really my game, I don't think. There will, there will be something else that will come along that will really float my boat at some point, but it hasn't happened yet, but it will do. The thing is, I'm not desperate for it to happen, and I, I always use this example, and I, maybe I shouldn't, but when when PUBG came out, and I watched a video Deadly Slob have made of PUBG, he was so relieved to have PUBG, because he needed a bit of a break from Daisy. you know, he used to be, he was main gaming Daisy six, seven days a week, making videos almost every day, and the relief in his voice when PUBG came out, and then Tarkov, you know, you could tell he wanted something else. I ain't... I ain't really in, I ain't wanting anything else. If something else comes out that's better, great, you know, but I'm just not in that boat. I'm not desperate for something else. I'm kind of happy with this, you know. It's my favorite game. <clears throat> the year is 2067. Paul is on his deathbed streaming DayZ that that day never came. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So you can see it's it's not just night. I feel like it's blue at the moment. You see how everything looks a bit more blue? I think we're not only at night time now, we're in, a, we're in a weather event as well, so it's actually more cold. 
which is why it's taken so many sticks to get the plus symbol. Sorry, to get white temperature. Hey, Dialogues, how you doing? I'm really good. I hope you're good as well. Oliver Montgomery, thank you for the six months. Pritch, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Cheers, both of you guys. Thank you for the gold badge resub and the Twitch Prime new sub. Thank you. Yeah, the, the thing... Uh, NA, NA man, I mean, Tarkov's a more popular game, so you're not wrong in preferring Tarkov. I'm not trying to say that Daisy's better either, you know, but the thing that gets me about Tarkov is that it has a Daisy esque vibe to it in terms of the risks involved when you're first playing and you're, and you're level 1 or 10 or 20. In that you've got this gun that you can't afford to replace, or you've got this armor that you got in a raid and it's really rare and you've only got one set. And when you're in a firefight, you don't want to lose that one armor set. That's the only one you've got, you know. It really matters. And so you care so much more. It's a bit like DayZ. If you've been alive for 10 hours and you get killed, that 10 hours progress is gone, you know. So the firefights have way more meaning as a result. And in Tarkov, it creates a lot of that, you know. you you like been in a round for half an hour and you've killed somebody that's got an M4 and all you had was like an entry-level SKS and you somehow killed him, you know. And you're trying to escape with this M4 or AS Val and his armor and his bag or whatever it might be. Or you've done a task and you've been finding that task really hard. And you're trying to escape to complete it, you know. Like trying to complete these things or get out with this rare loot that you can't get gives you that same buzz. But the, that buzz for me just dissipates as soon as my, my traders are completely done. Like when the traders are all at level 4. Holy shit. When the traders are all at level 4 and the hideout is all done and it's generating me millions every day because of the because of the uh, graphics cards and whatnot, I completely lose that, you know, I completely lose that edge because there's nothing I can't buy, there's nothing I can't afford to lose, there's nothing I can't get, there's nothing to do. I, the, the, tip, the PvP might be amazing, but I was playing PvP games for the sake of playing PvP games 15 years ago, you know, I, I kind of, I'm a bit bored of that now. While it, once it loses its edge, it's a bit like, I don't know, playing poker. When you've got no gear in Tarkov and you're a low level, it's like playing poker for money. And when you've got all the gear and your hideout's level 50, it's like playing poker for buttons. It's point, who gives a fuck whether you win or not? It doesn't matter. That's the kind of the problem with Tarkov. It, it has, to me, that's the problem with it. trying to work out if those trousers were any better. I don't think they were. It's definitely blue. It's not just dark. It's, it's definitely cold as shite. So we have got a slight problem. I can make three more fires. I can't cut up any food. <laughs> Did him with the jab. But yeah, I, whenever I'm talking about stuff like that, of course I'm only explaining my own opinion, you know. My, my opinion is only mine. I'm not speaking for anyone else, right? I, I'm not trying to talk people into playing Daisy and not Tarkov, right? Uh, Tarkov is a much more successful game than, game than Daisy ever will be. Uh, certainly in terms of Steam players and... Well, not Steam, because it's not on Steam, you know. But certainly in terms of uh, players online and viewers on Twitch. You know, like, when it does those events, that Tarkov will have a patch just before Christmas and it'll do these uh, game giveaway events and you'll see Tarkov streamers with 100,000 views because people are desperate to try and win, I don't know, a gun loadout or something, you know, like, you'll see, you'll, Tarkov's, like, popularity is way off the scale compared to Daisy. But Rust is more popular than Daisy, it doesn't mean I want to play it, you know, I, just, I guess everyone plays what they like, you know. Oh, that's cool. So we don't really need those anymore, but we'll keep them for kindling.
adapt. I guess, yeah, there, there is a bit less loot. I'm doing all right finding loot in the towns for the most part. But yeah, it is a little bit trickier, and you're right, people are spending more time in them, but the problem I'm having is uh, getting killed by people fisting me while I've got an AK. I found an AK-74 in Berezino, AKS-74, with a mag, but I only had one bullet left, and then some dude punched me to death. Right, maybe I should be a bit more careful about punching this zombie. Tried to, I tried to punch three times there and it wouldn't let me... I don't know what was going on. Okay, so what we're after... I think we deserve a filter. Bloody hell, a gun with a mag. Look at that. I don't know about this not finding much loot business, dude. I don't know. I probably could keep the Makarov, but... I don't want to. Another pair of gloves. I don't really need two pairs of gloves. Someone's actually looted it recently. There's a zombie there I didn't kill. So it's been looted recently, yet we still found that pistol. Or maybe they just didn't know to loot the cars. You never know. Some people aren't very thorough, are they? You know, That's one of the things that can really help when you're playing a, 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 on an area that you know people have been. Like, some people are dumb and, and don't check, or just don't know. Dumb's maybe not the right analogy, but... or description. Like, the cars around here can often be the best loot, not the actual medical itself. <clears throat> With that in mind, let's quickly check this building as well. Another eye, Jay. I've been punching these zombies whilst I've got a baseball bat, so I'm dumb as well, it turns out. Bit better, isn't it? Patrol hood. No, no thanks. grab these. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, let's chamber the round. Probably good to have the rounds chambered when you're shooting the thing. Uh, I agree, Mowgli. I agree. I Last year's kind of hard mode, Winter Chernerus, was just Chernerus but a little bit colder, that's all, you know. There was no plus symbol kind of stuff there was no uh, there was no frostbite and everything you know Th this year it's it's really really much better i agree it, it's made it feel like a different environment entirely it's not just cosmetically different and it was a bit harder last year the, the servers i were playing on you still had to make fires and you still had to cook a little bit but it was nowhere near like this this is like the mouse but with a much longer distances to travel it's kind of a, a fun challenge I'm not surprised there's nothing here, because everybody loots this. But look at the difference between the cars out the front and the medical, you know, case in point. Maybe one in two players checks the, uh, the cars, but every player checks the medical kind of thing. I just thought that uh, light shimmering thing there was a was a dude it's not sorry not dude it was loot uh oliver thank you again pritch thank you very much riz probably george caleb and broder and killer clams before that thanks for the support guys same goes for this although i've been shot on this a few times but a lot of people don't know to check it or don't know just don't check it whatever 
Unfortunately, this time, it's got a big bag of shit, but you can find good stuff up there sometimes. We're dark blue. Hello? Hello. You seem a bit sneaky. Are you alright? Just trying to avoid zombies. Don't have anything to put them. Yeah, good, po good idea. <gasps> you sneaky bastard, you. Avoiding zombies. Avoiding me, you were. A wise move. I've been killing everyone. Have you got a knife? I don't. The only thing I got is a stick. Oh, God. Alright, I'm going to find a knife. I need a knife. It's just gotten a little bit warmer, so it might not be quite so bad. The cold event just finished. Yeah, can't you make a knife uh, two rocks? You can, yeah. I only have one rock. Here, you can take mine. Oh, dude, what a legend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Man. Yeah, I'll be around here for a sec. Oh, did I hear a chicken? I, I do hear things. I am. I I do hear chickens. I do. Ghost chickens. Ghost chickens. Yeah. I should really team up with this dude. He seems legit, and he gave me a stone, but I'm not gonna because I've got a particular get like aim game in mind. I want to go to uh, I want to go to Amarillo with Marie who's waiting for me there. No, I want to go to the, the gas zone, right? I want to get a gas mask and just try. I, I, if I go with someone else, I mean, he's going to get the filter or the gas mask or shit, you know? I want it. So yeah, I do feel a little bit bad. I'll tell you one thing though, we've found a lot of batteries. If we find a uh, medical. You what? Did you already loot the medical building? Uh, I didn't, no. I looted the side and I looted the cars, but I didn't go in. Yeah. I need a gas mask filter. Have you got a gas mask? Uh, my buddy did. He's near Riffy. Oh, is he? What's he doing near Riffy? Yeah, he... Uh, apparently he saw a guy run in there with gear and die. Ah, oh, so what is he trying to go and get the gear, is he? Yes. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, very cool. Good luck! I don't have one though, otherwise I'd give it you. Shit, now we're against the clock. Now we've got to get there, quick! I want to get there! Must get there sooner! <laughs> I think he's trolling me, he's got to be, right? Yeah, I lied, but I'd, like I say, I don't want him to follow me. It's a, it's a white lie, that's what's called a, a, a thoughtful lie, you know? Because if he follows me, I'm probably going to shoot him. So if I tell him a lie and send him back the other way, yeah, I've wasted five minutes, but he's not dead, is he? You know, every cloud has a silver lining. Uh, Rectangle, thank you for the 25 months, dude. Hope you're good, man. Thank you very much. It's been quite a year. It would have been longer, but I didn't figure out how to link Amazon and my Amazon account. Once I did, I am happy to be able to support you for free. The fact that the Prime subscriptions give you the same dollars is great. Keep on running. Buzzkill, dude, thank you for the support, man. Cheers for using your Twitch Prime on my channel for the last year. Thank you very much. Platinum badge as well, dude. Thank you. I really need to make a fire. The only thing is, we're losing health only. Like I said before, we're not getting frostbite. Which is which is pretty cool. Maybe this is the sadist in me, but there doesn't seem to be enough storms that make you wet, if there are any. I think there are some, but... And we've been on this server four and a bit hours today, and six hours and a bit yesterday. We didn't have one storm that made us wet, and maybe that's... Uh, I don't mean in the pants, I mean like clothes-wise, right? Right. On the mouse, if you play for six hours, you'll see a couple of storms that make you wet, and you have to survive those, you know? Oh, there's a known issue, is it, Twitcher? Like, okay, cool. It's good timing. I definitely didn't hear that chicken, like, in my head. 
That's a chicken that actually exists. But I've come here to make a fire because we've been cold for a little bit long. Matches. Matches, matches, wherefore? Oh, there you go. Uh, Bobbins. Hi, TRMZ and chat. Bobbins. Hello. Thank you for the two month resub. That's really, really kind. And Nate's new. Score a goal or I want a refund. Uh, speak to Twitch for the refund. <laughs> Thanks for the support, dude. Very, very kind. I do feel a little bit bad that I just fucked off and left him, but I, like I say, I, I maybe it's just because it's new, but I really want to. Uh, I really want to get in and around and explore this and try and get to the gas zone and stuff. And I'm really finding it. I'm not playing it as a PvE, you know. We're PvPing, you know. We're getting in action and whatnot. But I don't really want to do a random team up yet. I just want to explore and play and struggle. Uh, what town is this? This is Berezino Bear Food. Uh, one of the major spawn towns. It probably is... I don't know if it's biggest or not, but it feels like it's probably almost bigger than... Uh, it might not be bigger than Cherno, but it must be close with, if you include both parts. Oh, yeah. That's kind of annoying. Forgot about that. I haven't actually got any sticks. Oh, well. Big mistake. I, I don't know why I just did that. That was me just not paying attention. That's why I'm struggling to survive. I can't even make a fucking fire. I think I just thought I had sticks in my backpack and enough time to put them in and I didn't. Oh my god. I'm sure there's less bushes than there normally is. <laughs> oh. I've done this before actually around here. There's bushes in front of there, look. Oh god. Yellow temperature. Strayflaif, uh, 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, have a good stream. Dude, 77 months. That's as long as anyone. Pretty much, dude. Uh, Strayflaif, thank you so much for the continued support, dude. I really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. <sighs> Going to take both sets of sticks. We might as well. We're freezing our absolute nuts off right now. The upside to that being that we are increasing our uh, frost resistance. I'm getting suggested to do the PC plug. I've done a PC specialist plug. I'm, I'm kind of seemingly doing one a day at the moment, right? But yeah, click the link, PC specialist. I did one earlier, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> Just for the prompts. Uh, maybe I should do more, but I feel like one a stream is enough. And I've not been I've not been asked to do any, but one a stream kind of works. I think that's enough. I don't want to just shill it all day long because it it sounds a bit pushy, you know. Well, it is useful. It is useful. Don't get don't get me wrong. It is. Right, come on then. I think we'll just let that dry there. In fact, let's do that. Uh, Keith Cleveland, uh, Jamjar streams loads. He just doesn't. He kind of doesn't play Daisy anymore. But Jamjar still streams as a full-time content creator. He do, and he's doing just fine. You know, he's he's cool. I actually briefly heard from Jam in a in a little DM. I I don't know him brilliantly well, but we both know each other pretty well. We played together a few times. You know, not many, but a few. Uh, so yeah, I, I, he's doing just fine. Blackout likewise is still streaming, but he's not a full-time streamer and went went decided not to be. You know. He still streams a couple of times a week.
abnormal birds. It's not exactly on my mind, no. <laughs> that was loud, wasn't it? Holy shit. Keith Cleveland. No, well, uh, I think uh, Jamjar stopped uploading. I think he, it was to do with Daisy, you know. I, I, I don't know. I can't speak for him, but I know he kind of fell out of love with uploading YouTube videos and focused on streaming. And I think he stopped uploading YouTube videos at about 116, 120,000 subs, something like that. And he has he was he was uploading much less, uh, and just decided to focus on streaming. I think was pretty much it, you know. And it, I think it, it is tricky. I, it's one thing that I, I struggle with. Like I'm hoping that this stream will feel good enough to be this week's unedited Twitch vod instead of editing. I really like doing YouTube and I want to keep editing, but it is it is tricky to do to stream five days a week and spend a day editing. The editing day is the most tedious day. Like that two-part adventure I did with the gas zones. Each video took ten hours each, you know. I'm doing five days on day Z, and then on what would be normally your day off, if you were full-time, you'd do five days on, two days off. On one of your days off, you spend ten hours editing day Z. It's, it's not the most fun in the world, and that's not like... Our, like streaming's, I love it. I love what I do, but it, the streaming is a lot more fun than the editing. Editing is dull. Uh, you have to... I don't know, maybe some people really love it and some people really don't, but editing is kind of boring. Uh, Kill Phil, thank you for the gifted subs. That's very, very kind. Thank you for the gifted subs once again. Cheers for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Jake Black, cheers for the Twitch Prime. Server is shutting down. I'm not going to go anyway, guys, but the server's going to be down for at least a minute, so I'm going to click the advert button for one minute, and then we'll join. You won't miss anything. I'm going to click it now. But I'm staying here. I'll just chat to everyone else that can hear me. <laughs> but I, I know when I click the advert thing, I'll, I'll join the server after a minute. Uh, Max Pax, thank you for the nine months. Max Man's Twitch baby, no less. Thank you. I think I clicked it right. Yeah, I did. Uh, you're a professional editor, nine hours a day, five days a week. It's shit. Yeah, it's so t it's very brain brain numbing, isn't it? And it's very repetitive, of course, Piercy. Because once you know how to edit, you're more just just chopping things up in a way, you know. It's not that complicated, is it? It's just very time consuming. I I, I think it's good. I like the. Uh, I, I like the end product, and I really like doing YouTube. I love the end result, but I can't... Oh, it's it's so... Like, 10 hours straight editing is just mind-numbing. Bongo, I guess they're tailored ads to you, dude. They, it gives you ads for what you need. <laughs> uh, Amber Berries, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime as well. That's really kind. Cheers for remembering you've got Prime and for picking me to use it on. Likewise, uh, Kill Phil, thank you again, dude. Jake Black, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Guys, just to quickly reiterate, the adverts are over. It was over. It was, I don't play adverts whilst I'm in game. I never play adverts while things are going on. So that you'll never miss anything. It, there's no need to sub to try and avoid adverts. Or if you want to get Twitch, uh, Twitch Prime, not Twitch Prime, Twitch Turbo. I, I only ever play adverts when I'm not in game. So you'll never miss anything, by the way. So don't feel the need to sub or to whatever on that basis, right? You won't miss anything. Tatematic, dude, I, that would be amazing. But getting you the footage and, and trying to work it out creatively is kind of tricky. But I, maybe it'll be something that happens one day. I'm kind of quite happy with the way it's going right now. It's just this week I can't stream Friday because I've got to get the kids. And th that makes this week a four-day stream week. And I want it to be a five-day stream week. And I'm a streamer more than I am an editor, right? So I really want to... Uh, I really want to carry on. Like, making sure I'm doing my five days a week streaming, you know? That's that's how the mortgage is paid, right? So, I... I it's another chicken. The fire is a light. It's just not... It's not making a noise. But it will, it will kick in in a minute. I don't know what's going on there. Twitch Turbo is... It's a bit like YouTube Red, but not quite. So, if you... It's, I can't remember how much it is, but Twitch Turbo gives you a turbo icon, which is like a battery-looking thing. A bit like that white crown, but it's a battery-looking dealie. And it means you see no adverts across the whole of Twitch. So if you watch loads and loads of streamers, it's a way to not see adverts on any stream. 
And there are other ways, but guys, I really don't want to talk about ad blocking, right? Let that, it's just tedious. What you do is what you do, but I don't want to have some massive conversation about it. So, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I don't study it, and I know I just played an advert just now, but the ad re advertising revenue is quite a small part of what I do. So, to be honest, when I play adverts, it's more because there's just downtime. I might as well, you know. I know I'm not in the game for a minute, so I might as well, but... I'd, the advertising revenue on Twitch is just not great. So, I, I, you do. If somebody watches you with Twitch Turbo, I believe that it still counts towards the same kind of thing. Like, as the view counts as a bit of revenue. But uh, the advertising revenue on Twitch is not great. So, I never really worry about it. Oh, gee, yeah, kind of just answering the same thing. Unless you're an absolutely massive YouTuber, and uh, sorry, streamer, and even if you are, same, it's the same ratio. The actual advertising review, but if you get a thousand views on YouTube, it's worth, like, let's say in the, it, I'm going to pick a random number, let's say it's out of 30. It, the advertising is worth 30 on YouTube for, for a thousand views. That same thousand views on Twitch with the advertising revenue would be worth about three, if that makes sense. Uh, it's just their, their advert rate per thousand views is just not the same. Because when you join a stream, you get an advert invariably at the start, and that's about it, you know, like... And it's, it's a bit... I'm not saying this is like, oh, bad, 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 I wish it was more. What I mean is, like, it's not really the thing that, that makes Twitch a great deal of money. I think it, they would like it to be, and I can understand why, but it, it's, it's kind of tougher to sell. The advertising space on YouTube is seemingly a lot more valuable. Quantum, that sounds like a good idea, yeah. Cheeky bastard. There was another chicken, but I don't think I can be bothered to go and get it. I think we're doing okay. Okay, the, the baseball bat is not as long as uh, I thought. Can you put that away? Not the first time I've heard that. Whoa. <laughs> right. Will you come in the house? Come on. <laughs> right, come on then. Let's go. I, I'm not going to go. I'm going to go towards the northeast airfield. I don't want to stay around here anymore. Probably shouldn't have made that jump. Now I'm yellow health. That was a bit dumb, wasn't it? But we'll be all right. I'm not going to go to Kelm Town either. I'm going to go straight to Kelm Summer Camp, I think. Love the sound. That sound. Great, isn't it? I'm going to drop that. The car's in Berezino. I'm not going to Berezino. Fuck it. Uh, Twiz, I farted on my wallet yesterday. Now I have gas money. <laughs> That's that's not as funny as that chuckle deserved, I think. <laughs> oh my word! We've come across an orgy of uh, an orgy of police station loot. So what's happened here is there used to be a police car. The police car has despawned, but the loot hath not. How cool is that? We just got a pioneer, pristine. What? Oh, that one's cooler. I know it's not as camo-y, but that one looks better. Uh, so we've got three bullets and a red dot. So we've got a red dot, red dot pioneer. I'm not convinced the red dot pioneer is going to be the kitty, but if we can get an ACOG on that, that'll be badass. I laughed at that, but not your fresh prince. Well, consider it a personal slight rectangle, okay? <laughs> uh, Twiz, uh, I I've just read that. I can't read it again. Not twice. No, Twiz. Thank you for the six months. Joel Sweden, dude, thank you for the 68 months. You're incredibly kind, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, Evil, Evil Soul, thank you for the two months. SMC, thank you for the nine months. That's a big man's Twitch baby, no less. Uh, Basil Sweet, cheers for the bits. Amber, Amber Berries, thank you very much for the prime. And 
it's time to share out the TV license money to what to who I watch most. Kill Phil, dude. That's incredibly kind, man. Thank you very much for the very generous tip. Uh, that must be top tip of the week, by the way. Thank you very, very much, dude. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Keysick, that wasn't even early days E, but it kind of was. Yeah, the, the loot explosions. Uh, Kill Phil, thank you again. Very kind. They were particularly bad at the airfield. You could go into the, the uh, fire station and some barracks. The VMC camo building. And there would be like 150 things in one room. It was insane. Thanks a lot for the support, Kill Phil. Very, very, very kind. Thank you. All right, let's try and have another drink of this cold coffee. There was a few videos of it back in the day. I, I never made a video with one of those as the thumbnail, I don't think. I probably should have done. I should, and that, that's where I went wrong back in the day. I should have been making, you won't believe all that loot, crazy loot, crazy airfield loot extravaganza. I'd have got more views, wouldn't I? I am a little bit more clickbaity now. Uh, but that's not because of any other reason than I've learnt the ways of YouTube, but it took me about four years, right? Like, back in the day, I made a video where I intentionally took a sporter to the airfield, and I got I killed a dude, I, and then I killed his mate, so... Like, I went there with a sporter, and I came back with an AK-101 and a... whatever the other gun was, AKM or M4, I can't really remember, but... If I made that video now, there's no way it would have been called Sporting Chance. Sporting Chance is a great name! Because I, I decided to take a sporter when I had a better gun and I decided not to use it. And I decided to go to the airfield on purpose with a shit gun just to see what would happen. And I called it Sporting Chance and it was a great name, really good name for that video. But it won't have got any clicks because it, it doesn't work, you know. The video needs to be, I went to the airfield with the, with the worst gun in DayZ, you'll never guess what happened, you know. It would need to be something like that and then it would have got, it would have got loads of views, you know. Uh, that's the trouble, Landboy, you know. Everyone hates it, but it works. And, and the reality, there's a difference between clickbait where it's actually in the video, you know. Like, I don't... Like, it might be... Veratison made a video on it and called it legit bait, which I think works, you know. If you're telling the truth with the title, it's okay. It's when you're saying, I went to the airfield and I saw massive pairs of boobs. Come and watch, you won't believe it. And then there aren't any massive pairs of boobs, you know. Then, then that's not fair, is it? Uh, Twiz, thank you again, dude. Joel, Kill Phil, uh, SMC, Evil Soul, thank you. Also, Captain Daddy-O, uh, C. Gilesley, uh, Boo, Boo, One UK, Blizzard, thank you for the follows. That's click back. <laughs> nice callback. Right. I don't know how it's going to go. We're in here. I need to make a fire. What's that there? I don't see something. Nope. No, I didn't. I think I'm going to quickly try and buzz round and loot this, even though I'm dark blue. And I suspect I'm going to go yellow health. But I'm going to quickly try and buzz round and loot these, and then I'm going to come back there and make a fire. Because if I don't, if I make a fire first, I'm going to have to get the plus symbol, and then I'm going to have to make another one before we leave. So we're just going to try and get around quick. Because after this we're going across towards Krasnostav and I don't really want to do that journey. Well I can't do that journey Dark Blue, I'll have to get the plus symbol before we go. I'm just trying to loop fairly quick. Looks good didn't it? I'll turn the gamma off. need to be a bit more careful than I am. There could easily be a... Uh, probably should pick up one of these for... Well, I've got quite a few rags, actually. I'll end up standing on a bear trap doing it this quick, won't I? But I'm trying to get back before I lose my white health, which is going to be lost, like, in the next minute, I'd say. These, these boob-like mounds of dirt at the Northwest Airfield with little sheds and they vaguely look like boobs. Or, yeah, exactly, Chambers. 
There we go. It wasn't quite even that long, but there we have it. Yellow health. Ooh! Blaze rounds. Two of them. Maybe not that generous, but okay. Might take that. I can't remember if I've got... I think I've got tape, haven't I? Yeah. Take that. I think it's got more space. More space, same insulation once it's fixed. Well, that was a bit kind of shit. We did all of that. We got a jacket that needs fixing and two bullets. It wasn't very good, really. To be fair, we got the hunting knife as well, which is probably quite useful. It does just go to show how cold the server is, though, right? We're on the... Uh... Because it's now daytime and we're freezing our bloody natchez off. Where's the health going down? Deal squid, when you dark blue temperature, your health goes down. So I'm losing health because of cold. It's so cold that I'm losing health. That happens on vanilla as well. It's not just a feature for uh, this uh, kind of survival Namalski sort of modded experience. It happens on, uh, happens on regular servers too. Alright, let's start having a little bit of a sort, sort around. Uh, so I saw the I saw the message in chat that Will Shatner is now a spaceman. That's kind of cool in a way. Pommy Matt, it does feel colder than a mouse, but I think it's because of the distances you're travelling and all sorts. Hi Shropshire, by the way, dude. I saw your name come up earlier and I did my best to ignore you as long as I could. <laughs> I hope you're good, man. Dirty Imp, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for using your Prime sub on my channel, dude. Thank you. Uh, you should make a video like that. Get killed and say, bet you didn't guess, guess that. Fade to black. <laughs> you won't believe what happens next at the end. Oop Noop, thank you for the 10 months. Very, very kind. More eyes. Uh, I think they went past the, what, the fold of what's considered space. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what the definition of astronaut is. Okay, maybe you're right, but... They're, they're, I think about 100 kilometers up, there's a line, and I forget the name of it. And then once you're above that, it's considered space or not. But are you only an astronaut if you'd like the space station's in orbit? If you go to the space station, you're definitely an astronaut, surely. The space line, yeah. So I think you do count as an astronaut once you've gone past the space line, right? There's no way you get you're getting to the space station and you're not a space person. You're definitely an astronaut. You can't heat up a rock divers, no. The Carmen line. The space line. Carmen line. Carmen line, eh? How'd you check that you broke the Carmen line? If your job description says astronaut, then you are one. 100 kilometers, alright. Maybe I said miles, I don't know. They, yeah, they demoted Bezos and said he was just in high a high-altitude passenger. Oh, well. They probably only did that because it was Bezos. Anyone else, they'd have gone, well, well, it's all right. Because it's a, a rich dude in his plaything. They're going, like, fuck you. You're not an astronaut. We are. <laughs> Pay your tax. <laughs> then you can be an astronaut. What if you drive a Tesla to, to the space station? Good luck with that. Dirty Muggins, it may well be my boss indirectly, but I'm aping society. I'm not talking about me. I like Jeff Bezos. I think he could lend me a tenner. <laughs> He's my favourite Bezos. I can't say I'm too asked about it, really. I... We talked about it briefly the other day, but space tourism at the moment, I couldn't give two shits. It's for people that live in a different world than I do, you know. It's it's for space tourism is for the people in the masks in uh, in Squid Game. You know, no spoilers about Squid Game. But space tourism right now is only for people wearing the funny animal masks in Squid Game, right? It's not for everybody else, you know. It's for people that can put their feet on human tables. <laughs> 
it, it's not it's so it, it's irrelevant right now. I couldn't give two shits, you know. I hope none of them crash, but it it's completely irrelevant, really. It's not even the rich, really, 27. You've got to be, like, uh, multi, 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 multi billionaire, you know? Uh, let's not drive scared. That's good advice, Alexis, yeah. 25 million a ticket. Fuck off. Oop, noop. Thank you again, Dirty Imp. And it's a tricky thing, right? Because there will be serious progress made because of this, right? So... The reality is that this becoming a thing, and it might be for the uber-rich right now, but in 50 years it might not be, you know. Uh, uh, going up to the edge of space for a ride is a bit excessive in many ways, but it will lead to future technologies and it will lead to other things down the line that wouldn't have happened otherwise, you know. Just like anything, you know, like, uh, uh, I think, is it chemotherapy that, that actually came from the gas that's in mustard gas? And mustard gas is horrendous. But I'm, I'm, I'm comparing Jeff Bezos to mustard gas right now. That's not my intention, but you get the point. It will lead to future things, but right now, it just looks like rich twats showing off to all the normos like us, you know? It, it, it's, it's just, it just feels like uber-rich wankers, like, like keeping up with the Joneses. Like, what's that? You've got a new Porsche. Well, I've been to fucking space. Ha, 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 ha. You know, it, it's just... It, it makes me want to be sick, but equally it will probably lead to other things down the line. Uh, Real Cows and Dr. Tar, thank you for the follows. My children's name are Sophie and Maggie. You've, you should only be considered an astronaut if you've gone to space for the benefit of the planet or space travel. Bezos and those tourists are just astronauts as... As you and me are pilots when we get in a plane as a passenger. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Not everyone can fly the shuttle that goes up in the shuttle, though. But I don't really care. I don't care whether they're called astronauts or they're not, to be honest. I've only got three sticks. The fire's out. What do I do? Uh, I think we're probably going to get the plus symbol. I think we'll probably get the plus symbol any second. I don't really want to fuck about with more sticks. I don't think it really matters, you know. They've been to space. Whether they're called astronauts or not, I don't. I really don't care. And I, I guess they don't care either. They've still been up and seen the curvature of the Earth and seen things that most people won't see, you know. It, it's a cool thing. If somebody offered me £100 or the chance to go into space on a $25 million ticket that I couldn't sell, I'd take the £100, you know. I, I'm not jealous of going to space. I'm afraid of heights. I don't like going on planes. I, like, I'm like Mr. T. You know, I have to be drugged pretty much. Like, certainly a couple of beers before I get on. I don't really want to go. I wouldn't go if it was free. Uh, so I'm not jealous. I just... Yeah, it's a bit shit. Philippe, yeah, I thought there'd be someone saying flat earth shit when I said that, yeah. I start my new role in RAF in Air and Space Operations Specialist, hopefully part of the MOD space team. I'll let you know if they're considered astronauts or not. Mowgli, well, good luck with that, dude. Hope it goes well, man. That ain't no boat, fool. <laughs> you people are idiots. The Earth is rectangular. Mm. No need to be scared of heights. Once you get enough, there's no coming down. I, I like mince pie, man. I'm also afraid of dying and crashing and choking to death in a zero atmosphere environment. I'm afraid of many things. The reality is, though, if you're afraid of heights, if you're going from the ground to space, there's an awful lot of height along the way, you know. <laughs> uh, Mowgli, fair play, dude. Hope it goes well. Regan lol. Dude, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Uh, sorry, not the Twitch Prime. Autopilot. Thank you very much for the for the gifted subs. That's insanely kind, man. Thank you very, very much. Cheers for the support, dude. Death would be instant up there. I don't know. I've seen that uh, that Space Wars DC movie film with Star Lord in it. That from the uh, from the Avengers, or, or he, he flies around in that spaceship with the Badger, and he was in space, and he he still was breathing, kind of, or you know, he kind of went a bit frozen, and then he had a little suck on something, and he was okay. So, I, I don't know if that's entirely true. 
I really need to stop jumping out of fucking thingies when I'm injured, don't I? Rocket is not a badger. I had Rocket on a pizza the other week. I guess nobody's actually done it yet, have they? Nobody's actually died in space like that, have they? Or maybe they just wouldn't announce it. And they've left some dogs up in space, which seems a bit wrong. Uh, but that nobody's actually been, like, like decompressioned into oblivion, have they? Which is good. I hope that carries on. Yeah, Big Arnold in Total Recoil, you know. But he was in... He wasn't really in space. He was in a very small... Uh, like, uh, like, it was... It had very little atmosphere. A bit like a Russ Abbott party. Three people have died. One mission... Have they, Viking? I, well, how, have I, how have I not heard of that? Oh, they were Russian. I, I just... That doesn't make it okay. I just have never heard of it or I've never read the story. But if they were Russians, there's probably never been a film about it. If they were Americans, there'd have been a film about it, probably. Am I going to try New World? No. Uh, thank you very much for the resub, Libo, but no, it... It's not really my kind of game. It's a bit grindy and just not for me. Uh, great for those that love it. It's just not for me. I would have only been 10 at the time. It was 1971. Fuck. I know I just ma made myself sound old with a Russ Abbott reference. But I think that's a bit of a stretch. But yeah, I, I didn't actually know that people had died in space. I didn't know. I didn't really realise. <clears throat> if we lose the plus symbol, I am going to have to make a fire, like, instantly. Oh, look, we've gone white. That's good. I need to remember not to jump out of, uh, anymore. I was actually going to go up to the top of the hill, but I think we'd better go straight to Krasnstaff. At the top of the hill, there's a picnic table where you might get a gun, but I think I'm going to freeze to death going that way. Uh, I quite like Fortis. The, the only thing that I, concerns me a little bit about Fortis is that a certain uh, YouTuber that, let's say, is called uh, UG seems to plug them so much that I feel like there's underhand money going on. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I, that that particular... T I really like the dude, by the way, but he seems to promote things that then don't get labelled as promotion, if that makes sense. I quite like Fortis, though. The Fortis ones look good. Yeah, I mean, died due... Like, they were in space, and then it decompressed while they were in space. That's what I mean, like like Quantum says. I, oh, the Northwest Airfield is different. Holy shit. I, like, I don't mean they were coming back in and they died, like, bouncing off the atmosphere, or they, they I mean, like, they were in space uh, and no one heard them scream. Not sure if you remember the Bifer Dolphin incident in the 80s in the North Sea where their dive bell malfunctioned and imploded, killing everyone. I don't. By for dolphin. What was that? Was that a submarine? Must have been, right? Sawyer's eleven decompressed after unlocking with Mir. Bloody hell! Believing something you can never see with your own eyes is religion. I believe there's oxygen in the air. I'm breathing it right now. Can't see it. Alright, Seb, no worries. I won't remember anyway. <laughs> uh, I do make a living from it, Ebby, yeah. Yeah, Shropshire, I believe World War II happened. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think that that sounds like an intelligent thing to say. I, I, sorry, I don't remember the new dude that says it. I'm not trying to dig you out, but it sounds like a really smart thing to say. But when you start thinking about it, it sounds a bit more stupider. I'm aware of what I just said, by the way. <laughs> uh, Freezer Boy 13 months of my favourite Daisy Talk Radio Here's to many more Keep on scoring goals and winning the game Freezer Boy, thank you very much for the 13 months uh, Cheers to the dog and monkey astronauts Ah, oh, Bongo, thank you for the bits Cheers for the support, dude 
Did I ever watch Lost in Space? What, the remake with Joey from Friends? <laughs> the best thing about that was the Apollo 440 soundtrack. <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched a few of the old TV show, but uh, I've, I've not watched a ton of it, no. I did watch the film with, with Joey from Friends, who's obviously not called Joey from Friends. He's called Matt LeBlanc. Well, that's not what the dude said, Try Handy. He didn't say. He didn't say uh, if if you can't see. He said if you can't see it. Like he didn't say if you can test it for pH value or test it for whatever. No, he didn't say that. They were different. It's a, it's been modded, Stebsy. The heat packs weren't working very well, so they've modded them. They've made them slightly smaller, and they also actually get a bit ho hotter as well. So it starts at 90 degrees rather than 40 or 50. Which is kind of cool, because the heat packs are absolutely dog shit, so it's good to make them vaguely useful. I kind of want to go and check out this airfield. I didn't realise it was going to be different. I think we're going to have to make a fire before we do, though. We haven't made a fire for at least uh, two minutes, so time to make another. Angry Chair, the only thing Flat Earthers have to fear is, is fear itself. Sorry, I had to get this one out. The only thing Flat Earthers have to fear is fear itself. My God. Ban Angry Chair. I, I agree. <laughs> I don't believe Paul exists. I can't see him. No, but you can hear him. <laughs> right. Come on. In you go. Uh, Winter Chernerus is well this particular server is new real folk but Winter Chernerus has been around as a mod for the map for a couple of years now uh, this one is slightly different in that it has Namalsk settings so it's as hard as Namalsk if not harder but the size of Chernerus excuse me so it's kind of fun to play, actually. It is, it is fun to play. It's, it's tricky. It's proper survival. This heat pack ain't doing a lot, is it? Uh, Elliot, thank you very much for the new sub. Silix, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Cheers, both of you guys, for choosing to subscribe. I really appreciate it, peeps. Thank you. Uh... Uh, cheers for the support, both of you. What's this? Uh, it's time to start running. Sorry, guys, I've just slightly sidetracked for a sec. Oh God! I got uh, just just reading a quick email about a sponsorship. Uh, I just quickly ripped hold my emails just to see what was there. And I, th I saw a sponsorship and it said The Walking Dead. I was like, oh, that could be all right. Fucking mobile game. Fucking playing mobile games. Bollocks. Uh, my Banana or My Banan 69. Thank you for the two months. Do you like to watch boxing? I certainly like to watch the boxing from the other day. Yeah, it was brilliant. I don't watch loads because most of the American fights are prime time. Primetime fights are like 4 or 5 a.m. So I stay up for the really big ones where like Tyson Fury was in. Like I, I watched that one. It was brilliant. I watched the Joshua Usyk fight a few weeks before. So like several... I only watch like like four, four fight nights a year. Maybe the really big ones. I'd quite like to watch Canelo coming up. But I can't. It, it'll be on really late. And I don't have the subscription service for it. I, and if it's someone like Canelo... It, I do occasionally pay the, the price for the boxing. Uh, like I paid for the Wilder Fury fight. I'll, I'll pay for it if it's a fight I really want to see and I'll sit and watch it in comfort and enjoy it. And, and it was it was so good. But I, I, as much as I'd like to see Canelo, I'll be fucked if I'm paying for it. Like, And I'd, I'm not staying up till 4am to watch it on my phone on some illegal stream either, you know. 
Name one other thing that we do. You've, I don't know, try hard. You've lost me there. Cornbread, uh, Tyson Fury is a scary human being. Thank you very, very much for the five months. And yes, you're right. ATF skinned my cat. Thank you for the prime sub. That's really kind. Name one thing that we did once and we've not done in 50 years. Uh, I don't know. I think you're in the wrong channel, dude. You want Reddit? Reddit is where you want. Reddit, not not uh, not TRMZ Talks Drivel. Uh, I certainly think that it's been more than 50 years since we hunted woolly mammoths or had fights with saber-toothed tigers uh, or were reigned by Queen Victoria. Uh, cornbread, thank you very much. A ATF, thank you. Miss My Banan, thank you. Elliot, Silex, thank you very much. Tulane, I missed you, dude. Thank you for the 46 months. That's very, very kind. Freezer Boy, cheers as well, dude. And Dean B, thank you for the new sub. Uh, landed on the moon. Uh, 19... Yeah, that was just over 50 years ago. Uh, had a nasty virus. Uh, Les, one more. Thank you for the for the nasty virus thing. I'm glad I read that out twice. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That hasn't happened since Spanish flu. Uh, well, that was less than 50 years ago, Steel. Yeah, it's been 50 years since you could buy a graphics card at retail. <laughs> Dean B, thank you for the new sub, dude. Too many architects, lawyers and, and specialists in every field on Reddit, is there? Load the MK. Uh, you're yeah, right. I did get bullets. You're right. I should do that. It does pierce, but only in certain circumstances. So you need to keep yourself... If you get your blood full and your health full and these two full, you'll get full immunity and it'll go away really quickly. Alternatively, if you take uh, a painkiller... Sorry, not a painkiller. Ignore that. If you take a vitamin... Uh, it will go away eventually too. So vitamins put your uh, immune system to max. So it might not go away with one pill, but if you keep taking the pills, within about four or five pills, the, the, the cold will be gone. But you can also get your immune system to max by... Every time you get one of these maxed out, it increases your immunity to things. So if my health goes to full, it increases my immunity. Blood is full, increases it. Water bottle full, same again. And likewise with the apple. So the more of those you get full the more likely it is to go away of its own accord. So this actually looks a bit like the old school airfield with the two barracks. I've not been here yet on this server, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Dean, thank you. You're welcome, fella. Enjoy your adventures. Cheers for tuning in, dude. Uh, less one more. Thank you for the new sub. That's really kind. Cheers for subscribing. Thank you very much. So what I really want to go to is those tents over there, which are on every server. They're not just on this one. But while we're here, we might as well go and check these as well. Looking at it, I'm guessing these are just industrial. They, these sheds, back in original 2014 DayZ land, they actually spawned military loot. Uh, I suspect they probably won't here. I bet they're full of industrial containers and bollocks like that. Yeah, the yellow tents are on regular day Z. That's what I want to go to, but we're going to look at these bits that aren't on there, yeah. I've never tried a server in which you have to sleep and have a bath, no. I like to stay awake and stink. I feel these have been placed somewhat unluckily for me. They're placed to just the right distance apart that makes you think you can make the jump, but you can't make the jump. This looks good, actually. I like the look of it. It looks really cool, but I don't think there's going to be much loot. Oh, I take it back. 
So what they've done is put containers in. And the containers may well have some loot. Like a flare gun. Or a trash can scope. Smoke grenade. Dude, these loots. These loots are really spoiling us. But it could be anything though. It's just bad luck. One, one, one flare... Sorry, one smoke grenade is enough. So we could get something lucky there, you know? It could be something okay. It's clearly military loot. It's just luck of the draw, what you get. Fortunately, this one only has two containers. Military shovel? Ah, oh, bollocks. Can't be bothered. It would be kind of cool in a way. You can bury a stash with that, or you can, like people around the head with it I suppose but I like the like the, the few pine trees as they go around like that that looks kind of cool I think they probably wouldn't allow pine trees to be quite that close to the airfield and I'm sure landing would be a bit tricky with those pine trees there <laughs> that's quite a vertical uh, vertical landing you've got to make with the with the pine trees there but nonetheless <laughs> Yeah, the plane wrecks aren't anything to do with the zombies or infected or whatever getting into the pilot's room. They they just crashed because they, they couldn't land on the, the runway. Hi, Egg Salad. How you doing? Cats, if you drop loot onto the ground, then it will despawn like it normally would. So if you take it out and put it down, the only thing I would say, dude, and I'm not, I'm not tell telling you what to do. Do whatever you like, but if you feel like it's duped loot, then this is what I do. But you can do whatever you like. You know, there's no rule. But if I find a base and it's got like six SVDs in it, and then the next tent has got a hundred mags in it, and the next tent is full of rounds, I'll despawn that because it's all. You can tell it's just too much. It must be duped, right? And I don't find that on PC anymore, because duping is very, very rare, it seems. But if you think it's duped, then I would despawn it. But if you if you think it's not, then I, I would think twice, you know. If, if it's people legitimately playing the game, then they're not holding fucks, you know. They might have spent weeks about, like getting that. They might have literally played for two weeks every day to get it. So if it feels genuine, then I, I would personally think twice, you know. Like, it doesn't really hurt the server to have a few tents with some loot in it. In it and that's kind of the point of them, so... You know, you could take some and leave some, or take it all, or take the tent for yourself, or whatever, but... I personally think that if you if it's not duped and you despawn it, you're kind of just spoiling other people's funds and, and, and doing nothing really for your own benefit, you know, but... Different people have different thoughts on it, you know, there's no right or wrong. But I don't think it really helps anything, you know, because those guys will still just go and collect another load of loot. They, it's not like they won't just do it again next week, you know. If they're playing the game le legitimately, it's just kind of spoilt their fun, really, that's it. Need a gas mask, please. I don't have space for you. I think we've got enough bandages. We'll, we'll place, place that one then. I have a jacket. Alright, we have trousers. I have to try and work out how to carry this shit. I bet there's a filter somewhere that I've missed. There's normally filters on the beds. Watchful, no. My, my main character yesterday died to a bug driving a car. A horrendous bug at that. That is good. That we need. Yeah, player stashes no longer affect high-tier military loot as of 114, so there's even less reason to do it now. If you if you find a, a gun in a stash and you it, it's it's not affecting the loot like it used to. Oh, there's military content, like, like loot over there. Look, so it's not as important as it used to be. A even that aside, you know, like if if there's high tier loot there, if they're playing on a legit server and it's not duped, there won't be like six SVDs. There'll be one. Take it for yourself, you know. You know, just have that. Uh, less one more. Dean, thank you for the support. 
I, I only say it in that way. I, like I say, I, there's no right or wrong, but I, I've seen people streaming, giving it the big and like they're really benefiting the server in some way by despawning some poor dude's tent, you know, like it's got two guns in it and one of them's a shotgun, you know. If it was a tent full of SVDs and fowls, maybe you might have a point, but it's a fucking shotgun and a Mosin, you know. You just ruin some poor, some poor dude's day, you know. Yes, all right, I shoot people that might have a shotgun and a Mosin, but... You don't have to, like, go, go and, like, kill him, and then when you find his base, despawn all his shit as well. It just seems a little bit over the top, really. Usually under the guise that you're somehow helping the server, which is just completely bollocks. Just do it if you want to do it. Don't do it if you want to do it, you know. That, that's kind of it. MP5. I think we'll keep the 9mm rounds for this, and just get rid of the MP5. more. There's some kind of guard building at the end there. I like this. I think this is really nicely laid out. I think I'm going to head towards Chennai Palana. I also think I'm going to take one of those and try and get there a bit quicker. Assault boots in the first building. Never mind. I'm not going back. I've got high cap, high insulation boots. They, they, they've been pretty handy if they were the ones that take your uh, if assault boots that take a knife. But we'll be alright. I'm just going to go this way. So I, uh, I kind of need to code brown, but I think we'll wait till we get somewhere I can go AFK. Uh. Cheers for the follow, Josh Mann. Uh, Josh Manth. Or Josh Mann the one. Josh Mann the one, that is. Thank you. Co Brown Isle Five. <laughs> On the village, we won't found a base uh, that made performance in Novo drop thirty to forty frames because so many items had, they had a, and glitch barrels. Oh yeah, that kind of thing, L LJ. Yeah, don't get me wrong, you know. I, I'm, but there's a big difference between some huge glitch base and like a tent in the woods, isn't there? That's kind of the, the point. Uh, the little black box, Connor, is a modded item that's on this server. It, it's for repairing plate carriers. So if I happen to bump into a zombie wearing a plate carrier, I can take it and then fix it to worn. Uh, it works like a leather sewing kit, really. I probably don't need it. I can use that. But I've got it for now. Maybe I should have kept the wire. It probably made some sen more sense to keep the wire than this, to be honest. But, ah, uh, well, not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure I picked up an IV stuck. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say I picked one up. I didn't pick loads up, but I picked one up, like, really early doors. Right, guys, this might be a gamble. But instead of going AFK and logging out, I'm going to make a fire. And stay at the fire. And I might get killed. Let's hope I don't. But when I get back, I'll have uh, I'll have the plus symbol with any luck, won't I? Have I not got matches? Where, where am I going mad here? Where's my matches? They're there. Right, headphones are off. Uh, 
Let's hope nobody kills me. Right, I'll be back in... Uh, Not dead, that's good. Look, I actually came back before we got the plus symbol, which means you didn't miss anything either, that's cool. <sighs> 10,000 IQ will be coming in and feeding him human meat, how much would that suck? How weird would it be if somebody ran in, used the fire, and then ran out? It's time Might as well do this. Running. Looks very 2009. Oh, it looks great. What are you talking about? Top notch. Top notch textures. As good as any game. It would look a lot better, but I haven't got RTX on. Tell you what, that, that's something that could have happened. We could have had a gas attack and I would have sat here choking to death. Frustrating would that be? You get a gas attack and you're AFK. Oh, oh you're twisting my melon. Right, so I'm still after a gas mask. A gas, a gas mask and a filter. I still want to go to Riffy. But it feels like nobody's looted this, so perhaps it's worth having a look around. I think there's going to be good loot here, like this for example. 
Nobody's been, have they? So we're, we're going to get decent shit in this town, I think. Nobody's been here for ages. Let's drop that, didn't I? Idiot. There must be a police car nearby. The last police car had two pioneers at it. This one's got nothing. Hmm. May have already been looted. Uh, it's possible there was only one policeman left, right? He, uh, he maybe had already looted it. Somebody had looted it before and killed the other police zombies. I don't know. There's sheep to the right. The difference between how relaxing it is watching you play Disney and how tense it is to actually play this game is staggering to me. Abominable, abominable, yeah, I don't know. I, I do miss a little bit of that. I remember when I first used to log in, like everybody, when you first start playing the game, you just used to shit your pants the whole time, you know? I do miss that a little bit. I think they're a bit far away for now. I think we'll carry on. We're, we're certainly doing okay for food anyway. The, the thing is, like, catch, getting an animal... You have to keep making fires. So whilst you're making a fire, you're also cooking cooking your dinner, you know. It's kind of killing two birds with one stone. Right, that's a no-brainer then. We'll say goodbye to you. And hello. Hello to you. Keith, well, I hope the meeting's calmed down, dude. <laughs> that work. That paid work getting in the way. <laughs> Uh, Captain Dallas, thank you for the two months. That's really, really kind. Cheers for the resub, dude. Hmm. I need those. Oh, I don't need those either. I don't really want to loot the whole town, but we are doing pretty well. Loot seems pretty solid. <laughs> Ariana, thank you for the bits. I hope you're good. Thank you very, very much. I suppose we ought to reload. Are the Zeds supposed to be intentionally frosted white like that, or is that... Uh, it's, no, it's intentional, Bombal. If you look at them when they're close up, they're, like, all frosted. Like, they've been, like, covered in snow, and then most of it's come off and shit. So they're... It's like an intentional thing, yeah. It's not an animation thing. Sorry, uh... Not a drawing thing. It seems to be a lot of rice. I would really like that axe. It's good for killing zombies. I guess I've got the suppressed pistol, which is better. Uh, Sitka, red is buckshot, so it's great for close range. You've got a good spread. Uh, and uh, the slug is like a it's like firing a slug round. So buckshot has got eight little rounds in it. A slug is a solid round of lead. Yeah, she's... Uh, She's not. It's not a graphical glitch. Let's say. I'm pretty sure I left my. Where did I make that blood bag? Was it in the first house? Oh, for fuck's sake! Dumb twat. I'm going to end up making another fire in that fucking house at this rate.
I need to I need to get this. I want the axe. I really want the axe. Uh, no, I'm Pip. They're not. The, the zombies are the same. If you do a heavy attack and hit them in the head, then they one hit kill. If you don't hit them in the head, they don't one hit kill. So a heavy attack only kills a zombie with one hit. Like I say, there is a bit of randomness to it as well. Like with the second zombie there, I did one heavy hit. Then they were all all light. If you heavy, if you hit them in the head, then normally it's one heavy hit to the body, one hit, one light hit to the head. But I think they were all body shots, so just took a bit longer. Magnum slugs through old frying pans. Fucking hell. Was it in here that I did it? Yeah. It was. Right. So. I need to make some space. That'll do. Lost the plus symbol. I'm not going to bother making a fire again. Uh, not yet anyway. We're, we're close enough to the town. I can make a fire at any point. And I actually don't mind if we go light blue for a little while. We've eaten lots of rice. We're doing okay. There's also sheep right next door. So I'm going to keep looting for a little bit. Crave, I, honestly, you used to die, but I haven't done it in so long. I'm not sure what happens now. I don't know if you get sick and you might survive or what, but if you, if you were given a blood type that didn't match your own, you used to just die. But I haven't done it in so long, I, I don't really know for sure, if I'm being honest. Nearly died from bad blood, took a multivitamin and was sorted. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's survivable now in a way it didn't used to be. So I'm just going to drink a bottle. I know I'm quite full on water, but there's a well just around the front here, so we might as well fill up. If you're in a town with a well and you've got a bottle, drinking it at least once and then filling it back up is kind of like a just no-brainer. Save yourself from the trouble later kind of thing, isn't it? Shadrill, two months left and then I can dump this baby. Uh, you're not dumping it on me, Shadrill. <laughs> Thank you very much for the resub. That's really kind. Ch thank you for the, the seven month inning, dude. Thank you. Blaze rounds. Right, what are we dropping? Pristine? I feel like that's the newer one. Let's just drop that. Or to go back and get that blaze we dropped about four hours ago. I'm kind of going dark blue, but I'm still thinking I don't want to bother with the fire just yet. I think we might just hold out just for a little bit. Ooh. That's tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. The Pioneer is kind of a good mid-tier gun, but the, the Mosin is an end-game gun, isn't it? You know, That's tricky. It means carrying shit. It means not... Maybe it means dropping the shotgun and having a worse secondary for now. I don't really know. I think what I might do... 
is... I'll carry it all. I'm going to... It was going to stop me killing zombies for a little minute, but... I'll just put the mows in somewhere around the fire station, and then I'll carry on looting. Finding good loot in Chennai, aren't we? No one's been here. Don't want that. go with the uh, thing is you, what you can't do is hide the Mosin in a bush there's nowhere to hide a gun that's easy let's go with here I want to still be able to shoot the amphibia and whatnot Players have to get off to the, the coast to loot that town. It is a little bit harder to get off the coast and survive, but I think there'll be people a lot further along in the map than here. But yeah, it takes a little bit of effort. But We spawned in Solnichi. We've come kind of a bit of a colourful loot route to end up being here. Considering how little it's been looted, there's a very distinct lack of fire station loot here. There's, a, there's no, no fucking loot. There should be... Uh, should be some NBC clothes. There should be some, uh, some good shit. There's some NBC clothes. Okay. All right. Now what do we do? Let's put it in my hand while I think about it. Mm, I don't really. I guess we drop the axe. We've still got a melee weapon, and we've also got the uh, suppressed pistol. So I think we're okay. I think you can get fire gear in this little shed over here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, bollocks to you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't really want to fuck around with these. Oh, why I dropped that on the floor, really. That's weird. That's not. That must have come from a player earlier then, because it's not the modded one. That must have been there from before. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He was quick. I knew he was in there, but I just wanted to check if there was any more gas stuff on the floor. We're doing okay with regards to the NBC loot, aren't we? And we've got, uh, not a full NBC loot, but we only need gloves and boots and we've got the full outfit. Uh, obviously we need a gas mask and we need filters as well, but we're, we're getting there. It's o I was actually trying to go with just a gas mask if I could, but I don't think we're going to do very well on that. Time to make a fire. This trooper, because the very best loot on Chernerus, on and this is a modded server, but on regular servers are in the gas zones. There's two static gas zones. Uh, and the only place you can get an M4 or an AKM or a suppressor for those guns, as well as AS valves and VSSs, is, is uh, the gas zone. So it's the best loot. You can't get valves and SVDs there and whatnot, but you can get some decent shit, so... Just keep those. They're 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 ready to go. <clears throat> I 
How long does the combat mask last? If it's the one with the built-in filter and the filter is completely full, it's 12 minutes. If you've got a completely full filter for the portable one, it's 8 minutes. Uh, cheers for the follows. Dr. Shooter, Kestiro, uh, MK Ultra, and Saber. Uh, Saber Freeman, thank you. Dialogues. Uh, I don't. I'm not convinced it was a dive. Uh, I, I think. I think it's easy to say. The, the reality is this. Dialogues. If that had been Denmark, and you'd be happy, you got through to the next round. But because it was the England player, you think you've been hard done by, and that's football, you know. If it happens to your team, you're annoyed. If it happens to the other team, you're happy. That's football. But there was two angles on that dive. One picture from one side made it look like he'd not been touched by a mile, and he was diving. Uh, the other side, it looked like there was contact. You could see the contact on his leg. You could. And so you can read it one way or the other. And, and I guess fans are going to read it. Which A, a fan of De uh, Denmark is going to take the other photo. A neutral is going to take the other photo because most people hate England. And English fans are going to take the photo that makes it look like there was contact. That's what, that's what I think. It just happens in football and has happened for years and years and years. <laughs> I think it was... I think I, I, I've seen him given for years and... I can see why it was given, and I see why it couldn't have been overturned. From the right angle, there was clearly contact. So, I, I, I didn't think there was as much drama in that as there were in some other things, you know. <laughs> why don't they add a fake an injury button? F Regon, yeah, now there's an idea. FIFA 25, buying for time. Uh, Grunt, that's cool. I don't know how much of a football fan you are, but... I don't think English fans help themselves, but England are not a very popular team around the world. Like when, when the last Euros were on, I, I mean, in Europe, I guess England are not very popular right now. Right now, in general, like England, the UK, obviously, is not that popular in the rest of Europe in some ways. You know, I I don't think that's the case. Like person to person, you know, I don't think if a if a German person meets a random English person, there's any hate there, or a French person, or I I don't dislike any individual person, but. On a sporting team level, I think there's a slightly different thing, you know. FIFA used to have a dive button. Look okay, now. Vyman, I, I, there's always little peeves around. Like, you could say that the other way. There'll be things that lots of English people find insufferable about all polices, including American foot fans of anything, you know. But uh, English football fans are a lot better now than they used to be. They're still not perfect, though. Uh, Mountain Goat, this month has flown by. Really enjoying your streams, even though you roasted me for the chicken karma incident. <laughs> I make sure I put laughing emojis every every joke since. Dude, you're all good. Thank you for the support, man. The chicken karma. <laughs> I, I bought these bits for you a while back. Then I had to actually work and forgot, so better late than never. McPherson, thank you for the bits, dude. Why don't people spell it football? Uh, I don't know, because it's not spelt. You spell football with F-O-O-T. Uh, American Ryder Cup fans are in stuff. Oh, God, some of the stuff that goes on in that, yeah. Danger, yeah, it was a long time ago now. It was a lot of drama the next day. My God, that was, that was a lot of drama on the stream that day. How can clothes be made with animal skins? Ebby, it's not in most servers. It's only in a few of the... Uh, modded servers. You can only make a backpack on the regular game. You can make a leather backpack, but the rest of the clothing can't be made yet. Uh, Quest Cusp, no, I wouldn't say that. No, I don't mean individual people, no. I, I think if, like, I, I meet people in game, I don't think I get killed because I'm English very often in game. I really don't. If I meet a French dude, we had a team up with a French dude on Monday, you know. I don't think European individual people hate English people any more than they hate anyone else, you know. It's quite a generalisation there. I, I don't think people are like that by and large. Most people are fairly balanced, you know. You get some idiots. I met an American dude in 2014 who killed me because I was English and proceeded to tell me in game how much he hates English people and stuff. It's in a video, Dark on the Light. Uh, like, you get the odd moron. 
from every country, English as well. You know, we all have a morons, right? But ah. I don't think individuals hate other individuals because of where they're from very much. I think that's kind of moronic, isn't it? Only stupid people do that, right? You judge people on the people, surely. Uh, I'm going to keep this one if I can. I don't want to go back for the other one. Why are they now smaller again? I don't get it. What's going on? Maybe that's one that's been... I don't get it. Why are these not the small size? Hate everyone equally. Yeah, there is that option as well. That's also true. Yeah, probably where they haven't despawned. They're just older ones. You're probably right. They were in the map from before. That would make sense. It'd take a while for them to all get cleaned through. And Eastern Europe, <laughs> we just hate ourselves. Aww. What's the country anyway? We're not going to get the Russell Brand countries are all made up thing, are we? Have you thought about of doing a vegan run on Daisy? Only eating veg. Uh, I haven't tie bog it. No. I like meat, even in day Z. When I can catch seaweed, I, I, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd have to grow crops. I'm not. I, the horticulture works for certain things and certain like squads or certain environments, and I, I'm glad it exists. I'm glad it's in the game, but I find horticulture somewhat tedious. Let's say it's not really my style. I don't like staying in one place very long. I like shooting an animal and then cooking it and eating it. Gluten-free run. <laughs> that I could do. There ain't much bread in, in Chernerus, is there? I suspect I'm not looting every house, but I bet if we looted every house, we'd probably find uh, Mosin rounds. I had to take that. I had to take that pig. It's just so close to where we can cook it, you know. There's a fire, there's a there's a fire we can make in that house. We can just cook it, eat it. Jobs are good. That's what I think of vegan ogon vegan only, exactly. Oink oink will be pigs, say the Griswolds. Doc, sorry, I don't think that was a link, but you've been done for posting a link by Nightbot. I know it wasn't one, but yeah. Uh, right, this one. I like these pants. Which ones are these? Jaeger pants. Right, I'm not going to cook this straight away. I'm, I've got a plus symbol right now, so I figure let's let's leave the meat. Let's leave it here. I'm just going. The plus symbol's not going to last very much longer, but we don't need it to. We could just uh, get a few sticks. We'll go back and cook cook it. I'm going to loot the houses down this way. Even if I lose the plus symbol, I'll just come back and do it in a sec. Fuck, I thought that was it. I could use a knife. I've got knives. I don't know why I'm wasting my time, to be honest. Let's go and uh, we'll just loot down here a bit. 
How's the stream going? Love the new YouTube video. Asti, thank you for checking out the vid. I appreciate it. Today's been going alright. I've died a few times. I've I've uh, got myself in a few scrapes, got shot where I was being a bit risky, maybe trying to go for a kill I shouldn't have gone for. That's three Mosins in Chennai Palana. That's a lot, isn't it? If you want a, if you want a Mosin and you're on uh, zero winter, Chennai Palana is the destination. Probably don't need that. I was just thinking I'd save the match and use that, but it does seem a bit dumb. I don't really need it, do I? Always love Winter Turner, Generous, me, yeah, Twit. I, I like the atmospherics of it and the look of it, but it's so much better with the with the Namouse hardcore settings. It's so much better. It's, it makes it like a real challenge. I'm, I'm really liking the, uh, the dynamic of playing it on like a hard mode, if you like. Zynil, thank you very much for the eight months. That's really, really kind. Saint Birinus, not had as much free time lately to catch your streams, but just saw your sub numbers and congratulations smashing it. Saint, dude, thank you very much. We're doing all right. It, it's going really well. It might not last forever, but hopefully it'll last a little while longer. You never know. But thank you very, very much, dude. Hannah Poke, happy birthday. Here's my sub. Ah, oh, thank you very much for the support. That's really, really kind. Thank you. David Brent, thank you for the six months gold badge. Rody, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to make that video, and hence I, what I was a bit unsure of was how to make the second half, because that life was a bit uneventful, really, aside from the ending. But I had a kind of a, a bit of a horrific ending from Livonia, and it just seemed like it would work as a first half, second half kind of thing, so I went with it. Right, going to check this house, and then I think we're done. We're done for this town, I mean. Ditch the love gear if didn't know if you want it. Kill myself as uh, eight human. Uh, grand up, grand poo. I I wouldn't take it. I I don't take like metered loot. So it's all good by the way. Don't worry. But I wouldn't take loot uh, in that way because it's not like like real Daisy if you like. If that makes sense, you know. Grand poo bar. I should say not grand poo. Uh, Regan, keep being authentic and as entertaining as you are, and I think you'll keep growing. Oh, dude, thank you for the kind words, man. Less of the uh, inflating my ego, right? Zeppi, good luck, dude. I, I've not seen exactly what's going on, but it's just not the place, dude. I hope you get yourself sorted. I genuinely do, but uh, it's going to cause flames if you come in, like, asking for stuff in a Twitch chat, you know. Sorry, but it almost certainly is. I hope you get yourself sorted, though. Smoking makes it last longer, but I'm not going to smoke anything. We've just got another cold event. As you can see, everything's just gone blue. So now it's uber cold. I'm not smoking any of it. I'm just using the smoker to heat it up a little bit more. I don't even know if it works, to be honest, but that's what I'm doing. So it's when you get a blue filter like this, it means we're, at, we're having a cold event right now. And it means that uh, it's the perfect time to have decided to make a fire, basically.
think I might just get rid of both of those because they're, they're both shit. They're the old type. They're both going to be shit. Uh, Sussex guy, thank you for the bits. That's very, very kind. Good afternoon. Thank you very, very much, dude. Thank you. Yeah, uh, if you smoke it until it's cooked, it loses hydration and gives you less energy. Uh, baked meat gives you the most. The only reason you should ever smoke food and actually smoke it is if you're putting it in a tent and you want to eat it tomorrow. If, you, if you're putting it in a base and you want to eat it not immediately kind of thing, you know. If you're looking to eat it straight away, it should never, ever, ever be done anything other than baked. So just like on the mouse, we can't uh, we can't eat food until it goes below 60 degrees or 60 and below. DD Max, thank you for the prime. That's very, very kind, dude. Cheers for the support, man. Darius, I, I, I prefer lone wolfing, to be honest, but I will add the caveat that I prefer lone wolfing because of streaming. Uh, because it's like I'm being kept company, you know, this conversation we're having right now. It, I don't need to have another player in with me in TeamSpeak to, to get, like, the to and fro, chatting shit, having a laugh kind of thing. You know, I get that from the stream, so... I don't feel like I'm alone when I'm a lone wolf, if that makes sense, because of the stream. So, I prefer lone wolf. I do like, I like teaming up. I like teaming up with people from time to time. Like, we have some great collabs in the last year. We had one with Muller the other week. We've had all sorts, you know, like, like some with Doc Dreis and Lottie and Ish and loads of other people too. Like, lots and lots of different people. I like teaming up. Uh, like, but that's why I team up roughly once a week. I like a mix, so I team up once a week. But lone wolfing is kind of my thing, really. I, I, I think it's the, 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 the most survivally way to play DayZ. The choices are all your own. You can team up with a friend that you meet in game, like a random, and make a friend for the day. But it's much more authentic. You're using VoIP and it's more tricky. You're actually surviving with somebody else you just randomly met. You know, it's really cool. Uh, Talon, well... I like that with randoms. I don't see the point if I'm playing with someone I've pre-arranged to. I, I respect the fact that you do, though. I understand why. But for me personally, if I'm going to play with somebody and it's arranged in advance, I'm quite happy to use TeamSpeak because every other day when I'm lone wolf and using VoIP with randoms, everyone else is using TeamSpeak or Discord, you know? It's just... I, I'm quite happy to use it on the odd occasion when I... Like, if I'm teaming up one day in five, that means four days I'm using VoIP. To me, that's fine, you know? I've never used a soundboard living room, no. We are eating a lot of pork chops, but I haven't got the space to carry all of it. Suds, I'll play every map that comes along. If there's a new modded map and it's got people in it, I'll play it, you know. So we're actually full hydration now. I don't need to eat all of this, but I'm eating enough so that I can fit everything in my inventory. That's what we've done. That, that means we're good. Hello? Hello? him shut a door. I think he went over there. If he's this far over, he's going to have some gear. He's not going to be a new spawn. That's an awkward gun. 
Right, let's go. I think he's in that grandma's house. And I heard him run over there and I heard a door close. He's probably got to make a fire. He'll be freezing his nuts off the same as I was because it is dark blue. Like, you can see there's a blue filter on the screen. We've already got the plus symbol, so I think it would pay to uh, get, get to fuck quick before he catches up. It does look really crisp, doesn't it, with the, with the blue filter. Look at how everything looks over there in the distance. I think it looks really clean somehow, like really crisp. The houses and everything look different somehow. It's really cool. Am I not fighting? Well, he, he didn't fight, did he? He just ran away, you know. I'm not going to go chasing after him. I, I'm not desperate for gear. I think I'm doing pretty well gear-wise, so I'm not fighting because... I don't feel like there's much to be gained and there's mostly things to lose right now, you know. Like, he didn't talk, but he didn't shoot either, you know, so I don't think there's much point. We don't know what he has. He might have a melee weapon and a couple of cans of food. Or he might have a Mosin with a scope and uh, infinity bullets. I guess we don't know, you know, but... Right, so here we've got the police station and the hospital. The hospital in particular is interesting. Yeah, I, we are, like, like Uncle Food says, right now it's extra cold. So as soon as we lose the plus symbol, we've got to make another fire. So I'd probably rather make the fire when I'm a bit of a fair distance away from that guy. That's a barrage. It could land. You do get barrages that land in front here. TD Max, thank you very, very much for the Twitch Prime, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, Sussex Guy, thanks for the bits. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Naki, uh, well, on the mouse, and this is using the same thing, when it goes cold, the screen goes a bit bluer. Everything's got a blue filter on it. Look at that mountain up there. That, that looks badass. It, it, everything's a lot bluer than it should be. And when it goes, everything will suddenly look like rose-tinted spectacle kind of view. That's it landing. You, it's like we're wearing blue sunglasses right now, but we're not. And the mouse has that as well, so... And you also know if you, if you keep an eye on your temperature, you'll soon know, so... On the last patch for the mouse, on 113, if it was cold, you just wouldn't know. It was dark, and that was that. Uh, sorry, it was you were you were cold, and there was no visible difference. But now you can you can tell uh, the screen goes blue, and it happens really quickly, so you can actually tell it. That's good. I don't really want to stay here too long. I'd like to get up the hill before before our friend from Chennai Palana has a chance to catch up. I'm trying to loot quickly. I'm probably not looting as thoroughly as I might, but we're still seeing stuff. Hodge, uh, I don't think there's less zombies. No, I think the zombies are kind of regular numbers, but... Uh, I've been finding lots of zombies. There was loads of zombies in Chennai Palana. But yeah, there's normally a few zombies kicking around there, but I don't know. I don't know how the zombies are set, but there's certainly been plenty of zombies through the course of today. To Seemingly not very... Oh, there's some down there. That looks like it might be a drivable car over there. Don't need charcoal tabs. 
Do I have painkillers? Yeah, I can add those to those then. I'm starting to seriously contemplate dropping the, uh, the, the Pioneer rifle, which might seem like a really dumb move, but I hate that scope that I've got. And I feel like before we find an ACOG scope for the Pioneer, I'll have found Mosin rounds, and, and I, I just I can't really be bothered. I'm, I'm be fucked if I'm dropping a Mosin. Uh, parts guy, love the streams, Paul. Help me get through my boring day at work. Parts guy, dude, thank you for the resub. I hope uh, I hope things sort of settle down and or become a bit more exciting, perhaps. <laughs> Cheers for the resub. That's very very kind, dude. Thank you. Surgical gloves. But actually, take those. One of the things we're missing now is gloves. Uh, and the surgical gloves are meant to work a little bit in the gas zone, so. They might help us. We're only boots away, and the gloves aren't perfect, but they might work to go into Berezine. Sorry, going into Riffy Boat if we can get a gas mask. Unfortunately, we're now heading to head elsewhere. Like, still not found a single filter. I'm going to have to make a fire. Uh, Kenshin, hey Paul, hope everything's going well. All the best. Dude, thank you very much. Really enjoyed today. It's been great. I really am enjoying this uh, this modded uh, DayZ stuffs. It's fun. I don't even think that is a drive on car. I think I just imagined that. I think it's not. It's like... It's it's part of the... Yeah, it is. I got that completely wrong. I just don't ever come up here and look. Oh, well. Right. I don't have anything to cook. No, thanks. Not today. But I do need to make a fire. I can't survive out here in this cold for very long. Uh, tell on the portable stove I don't think does any heat. It's exactly like the mouse hardcore setting. So the only way the portable stove would help you heat things is if you uh, used it to cook meat and then used that meat as like a like a heat uh, like a heat pack. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out. I think I'm going to take that. Well, now we can carry it all. We don't need to drop anything, do we? We can carry the whole lot. Oink, oink. Oh, stay still, you bastard. Where are you going? I need to make a fire. I want to kind of leave, but it's too far. Nagano is too far to go in one hit. Look how cool this looks with the like the, with the blue shading. Like I say, I think it looks really fucking cool. The, the, like just the look of it, it looks really nice somehow. That bush was annoying. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. I need to get indoors. Can 
we just go for this house? Uh, is new Winter Cherno new or has it been out for a while? Nick Beard, the, the actual mod has been out a couple of years. I've got some videos of me playing it from like before. But this is the first time I've played it where it's got like Namalsk style setting. So it's not just cosmetically different, it's really hard to survive. It's very cold. You have to make fires and build up your frost resistance and stuff. Blazing away, it's got a little bit better lately. You're right, it's been it's been pretty dead, but with with people searching for NBC loot and loot and stuff, it's got a little bit better lately. You are right, it's been it's quiet, but lately it's picking up a bit. You can have a firefight here. Mr. Alama, frost resistance is something that's in Namalsk. I play Namalsk a lot, it's always on there, yeah. It's not in the game, only in Namalsk and in this server. Uh, if you can if you can try to reheat the meat, Pykan, but there's a real distinct chance you'll burn it, so it's a it's a risk. It, you you are kind of risking burning it and not having it anymore. So it's it's safer to heat cans. You can again. This is a feature that's only on the mouse. It's a modded feature. Likewise, it's modded on this server too. So you can do it on this server alone, or on the mouse modded servers alone. I should say. Uh. Mowgli, this one is just uh, Zero Winter Hardcore. If you just search for Zero Winter, you'll find it. Hi, Woozleman. Hope you're good. Any car accidents today? None. None at all. I've been KOS'd a few times. Uh, and I've been the KOSer a few times as well. Uh, the German Terminator. Thank you for the gifted sub to Mystic Jono. Thank you very, very much, dude. S. Maddie, thanks for the four months. Cheers for the support as well. Thanks for the resub. You're right, my belly is full now. It only just went full, but I'm still going to eat the rest of that fat. Just to get rid of it. So yeah, we're completely full of hydration and top topped out. We're topped out on everything except health. I've, that's very rare. That's very, very rare. Here and your backseat tip was just a second too late. Sorry, dude. <laughs> uh. Right. Plus symbol is needed and then we can fuck off to Nagano. Whatever it's called. I don't think I need those. This backpack makes everything so much easier. And it's kind of annoying, but it, it does make everything easier. You always make my lunches better, thank you. Well, I hope you're having something nice for lunch today, John. I had, I had soup for lunch, which was kind of... It was alright, but a bit dull. But for dinner, my missus is doing some kind of fancy... Thing. Someone's been a naughty boy. How, he missed me while I was sitting here doing nothing. How does that guy feel right about now? He's just had a free hit on me and he missed. How does he feel right now? I hope you're watching. I'm sure you're not, right? I'm sure you're not, but I hope you're watching. <laughs> That would be funny. Dear me. And we've all done it, though. I've done it too, you know. I I've done exactly the same kind of thing. Right, so I've got the blaze now. The blaze is my gun. I've got the shotgun. I don't need the Mosin either. We're set. 
It maybe hit like the uh, the frame of the window or something, and it dispersed the bullet. This is probably our guy from before, you know. It probably is. He's got a lot of stuff. He's just put, like, many hours on the line there. Many hours on the line for nothing. Which I've done too, you know. I've, I've got killed and done something stupid. We all, we've all done it, right? But it's a lot nicer when someone else does it to you. <laughs> it's a lot nicer that way. That much I do believe. I'm going to keep the fire burning for a little bit because I want to sort through the loot. There's absolutely a possibility that he's not on his own. But let's just hope he is on his own. We might as well stay by the fire and keep warm while we sort through his loot, won't we? He was up on the hill by the church, was he? So he was watching me, do you think? I'm actually wear that. Oh, I don't want to wear it. don't want that either. You can't move bodies, no. I don't need that then. So it might seem like I'm being really cruel, but like the guns I don't need, despawning them doesn't make me a bad guy. By putting them in here, it just means they appear somewhere else on the map. Right now, the only person that can get back here is like me if I die, or him if he, if I die, you know, and. And whilst I would sometimes go back, if I died in Berezino, I might go back to where I died. Like, when you're dead, you're dead, you know. I think, like, the only person that knows this loot is there here is that guy, and he doesn't deserve it. Fuck him. To be fair, I think it, nobody would bother to try and make it back. It's such an arduous trip. I might take that. I don't really need it, but we might as well have it. He's actually defrosted all of this stuff as well. It's all ready to eat. Holy shit. All right. Well, I think that's good. That's got 63 spaces and this has got 80. I probably don't need to... Uh, I probably don't need to take my blue bag anymore. But because I want to keep the press... I don't want to wear the, the field vest. I want to keep this stab vest on. It'll give me some protection. So I think we should carry on as we are. One thing I want to do though. I'll take his helmet. It was nice to get a kill with that pioneer. Alright, let's go. Off to shock the nervous system in the gym. I'll catch the VODs later. Kill Phil, you're very, very, very kind. Thank you for the very generous support today, dude. You're insanely generous, man. Thank you. Uh, I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thanks very much. Uh, have a good day. I'd like First, if, you, if you've not been in the gym for a while, it can be a hell of a culture shock. And I'm doing a lot of walking at the moment. I'm not doing any gymming, but if I tried to go down the gym and do what I was doing in 2019, I think I would die. The helmet is nice and warm. It's got a distinct aroma of noob. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not me that's the noob this time, you know. Sometimes you're the noob, sometimes you're the noobie. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean. Pass Sean, I'd like to think he missed because I started doing something, but I actually hope it, really. Secretly, I hope he just fucking missed the shot. Cassio, I, I haven't been down the gym. I, I went down the gym in 2019. Uh, I started in, like, April, and I went down only for, like, April to November. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe March, I can't really remember. But I went for about seven, eight months, roughly. But it, at the end of 2019, I went on holiday to India, and I just wanted to be a bit fitter because it was going to be quite a lot of walking, quite a lot of visiting lots of places, and... 
uh, a year or two before I'd been to New York and at the end of each day my feet were like hurting so much that I just needed, I felt like I needed to get fitter so I did, that's all it was. Uh, I'm now actually trying to be a bit healthier in general but I'm not so interested in the gym, I don't, I don't need a six pack or big biceps, I just, I'm just walking and trying to be healthier. The one and only time I'm at the gym is to renew my membership for the next year. <laughs> uh, well, Kill Phil, yeah, don't pull you back though, right? They're, they're meant to be really good for your core, those, aren't they? But yeah. That guy, yeah. Well, it's it's chicken thighs. Yesterday we had she bought a big packet of chicken thighs, and yesterday she did tandoori chicken, uh, tandoori chicken thighs, and they were really good. And today we're meant to be having the other half of the packet, but I can't remember. What, what she's doing, but it's some kind of homemade chimkin thing. Yeah, it should be good. But it's, it involves chicken thighs, but I don't know the flavour. I think it's... Uh, I think that there's certainly mushrooms that are involved, but I can't remember exactly the, the stuff. Uh, tragic Mike. I walked past a gym once. I was starving and there was a Greg's next door. I had a lovely cheese and onion pasty. Keep on running. <laughs> cheers, Tragic Mike. Thanks for the resub. Mike, thank you for the two months. Uh, cheers for the support. Sussex Guy, thank you for gifting Kill Phil the sub. Very kind, dude. Must be nice. Wish my wife cut, cooked. Well, it is, it is pretty cool. It's nice that she's cooking a meal tonight. But uh, this time last year, she had a full-time job. <laughs> Uh, right now she's she's oh, to be fair she's really sorting the house out and things are going great but uh, in November last year she quit her job and came became uh, a helper of TRMZ Enterprises no I am not Rolliver although I don't normally answer questions on servers as a heads up I am so hunky She, I should get a cooking stream, do you think? I don't know about that. She might disagree. Nothing better after a long day at work. Now watching the best shit that out there, that out there and eating. Well, I hope you're having a good dinner, dude. I'm actually quite hungry now. It's ten to six. It's not that late, but I had soup for lunch, and so yeah, I'm starting to be, feel a bit peckish right about now. How satisfying was it when he just peeked the corner like that? How satisfying was that? It's like, there's no way he's going to peek this corner. He's going to move. I sometimes make that same mistake. I, st I did it earlier today. I, I stood up and peeked a no-win peek. There was no way I was... Like, even with my, like, 33-year-old actions... Uh, sorry, 33-year-old reactions, I was never going to not hit that shot, right? I, but, and just like the dude earlier, when I stood up, clearly he could see the top of me and I stood up and let him kill me, you know. I should never have done it, but I did. What kind of soup? P&M. P&M. That's why. P&M. Uh, Jester, have a good day, dude. Have a good day, man. I don't say awesome very much. No, it, it makes me think... The word awesome makes me think of, like, skaters from America. Or, like... The teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or something. 33 the old reactions. Oh, well, to be honest, Nero, saying I had them six years ago is a compliment. 11 years ago. As Dr. Zisrespect says, they always peak. <laughs> Wicked! <laughs> Radical. Yeah. <laughs> Paddy, I'm not lying. It's just a bit of fun, right? We well, smokes a lot. I well, I don't say dude very much. I've said it a few times in real life, and it sometimes breaks me when I do. But uh, awesome isn't a word that gets used in Daisy. Like it's not. Dude became a thing for me because of Frankie's videos, and I think maybe that's where it came from for most people. You know, maybe I'm wrong, but. I got dude from Frankie's videos, and I've said it every since, ever since. I didn't get Bambi from Frankie's videos, I just don't say it. I don't really like, get care either way, I just didn't say that. But I've always said, you're right, dude, or whatever, and I probably got that from his videos, you know? Dude, where's my car? What's, what's mine say? 
<laughs> totally gnarly. <laughs> I need to start saying, bro, I can't do skater accent impression, though. That's the trouble. Ooh, should we go up here and check that? Now we've got the blazer. I'm thinking scopey scope. Uh. That's cool. That... that 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 uh, that would have been the end of the stream if he'd killed me. By the way, guys, if it, if I died there, that would have been it. End of stream. Ca stream cancelled. So it's just as well we didn't. We've got a very good chance of getting a scope for this blaze now. I did right. So there's one of these here. There's also another hunting stand just down the road there. There's a few up in this hill, but I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to go to the summer camp. I'm still hoping we'll find uh, bits for, like, NBC loot. So, the summer camp's got a hospital. And it's also got a load of uh, summer camp sheds where we might get ourselves uh, a scope for this blaze if we don't get one before. I've got some somewhere, haven't I? No, oh, I don't know. Probably have. I don't know. I'm actually full. I, can't, I probably can't keep eating this, really. I'm, I'm, I'm skirting with full and then not full at the moment. But because I'm dark blue, I'm burning energy quick. I'm just keeping it top top. I've got so much food. I've got more food than I know what to do with. So I'm kind of just eating some of it as we go. Dr. Jones, uh, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Lopesy. Thank you very much. Really, really kind, dude. Any interest in Far Cry 6? Uh, yes. But I've not played it, and to be honest, the last Far Cry, I'm pretty sure, was on Steam. And I got it, and I tried it, and I kind of enjoyed it. And maybe this is really narrow-minded, but I don't have the Epic Launcher, and I don't have the Ubisoft Launcher or whatever it is, and I can't be fucked to get it. And, and maybe that's harsh, but I'm on the fence about streaming Far Cry 6. And the fact that I have to go and download another launcher for one game just puts me off, you know? Maybe I'm stupid, and maybe I shouldn't be like that, but... I'm not really bothered. I understand why they do those things, but I just can't be fucked to go and get another launcher for that. I don't want to. I'm, I'm all passworded out. I don't want to sign up to anything else. I don't blame the devs. I don't blame the devs. I don't blame anyone, you know. I I kind of get it, but I, I can't. I'm at my limit. I can't sign up for any more websites. I've had enough. We went to Nando's the other week, and we had to sign up to a fucking... Ta we had to sign up. To an account so that we could order from my fucking table because they weren't they wouldn't let you go to the counter to try and improve social distancing so you couldn't go to the counter and order you had to sit at the at your, your your desk or your desk sorry your table and order and in order to do that you had to set up a fucking account i hate that it really winds me up something fierce i know i've talked about it a little bit already but it really does grind my gears that it it, it gets on my tits something fierce like during the Euros, we went out to a pub and they weren't doing... You couldn't go to the bar to order. You could only order on their app. And likewise, like, you have to have an... Like, I want to order a pint of beer. I do not need to give you my fucking email address, my full address, my telephone number, my date of birth. Fuck off, you know? <laughs> like, I, I know I'm ordering beer, but if you bring it over and I'm underage, don't serve it to me, you know? Just like you would do in the pub anyway. Fucking hell. It... Frustrated frustrated me some, I'd say. I just think there's no need for it. They, and I understand why. They're just like marketing up the wazoo, right? But I, I just... I don't want... I'm going to I'm gonna unsubscribe from every single thing you send me. What's the point? Leave me alone. Get me something. I am ordinary. It's, that'd be good. I'll pay for it. You bring it. That's the deal. What spice do I have? Jamu, I don't have the very hot one. I have the next one down. So I have, like, the hot, but not, not uber hot. That's about the same level I'm at anyway. You know, if I go for a curry, I never go for, like, the uh, foul. But I'll go for, like, something with naga ghost chilies in it or something. 
There are spices in England, Regan. I, I don't know where you're from, but uh, our national dish is curry these days, dude. Our national dish is Indian curry, right? We eat more spices than than uh, most, aside from Indians, I'd say. <laughs> uh, Raptor, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the gifted subs. That's sorry for the resub. That's really really kind. Uh, Jack's Jangles, uh, Doctor Jones, thank you both of you for the gifted subs. That's really kind. I really fancy a curry now, actually. You know what really grinds my gears with TRMZ? Aye, that, that's that's the name of the stream now. What really grinds my gears? By me. Uh, chicken tikka... Well, it's, it's obviously inspired by Indian stuff, but it was more made for our market. Yeah, I think I did know that most, yeah. Like, the curries we have are kind of inspired by, but they're all kind of adjusted for uh, our palate, if you like. Curry can be healthy. It's not very healthy from a curry house, more often than not, Navy Blue. It's normally full of uh, extra gubbins, but... If you make like a home cooked curry, it's it's normally really good, and most Indian ones are a vegetarian as well. They 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 very rarely have much meat in them. Does the snow in the cooking pot work? And I haven't tried it actually, Kempus. I haven't tried it. I haven't needed to, to be honest. I, and it is kind of a, a fun challenge this server, but I haven't really worried so much so far. You, you do need to put the time in and make fires and do the right things, but if you do it. It's kind of simple enough. I don't know why I picked that up. I should probably open the bullets for the blaze. Yeah, that's true. It, it's not like uh, Namaus Kempers where you've got down south. There's not a single uh, any. Well, there's no wells. You know, you, you've got to. You've got to get water in a more creative way. It's time uh, to start. I wonder if that might be an interesting idea. It might be a bit masochistic, but it might be interesting if they maybe took a few wells away on this. It's time to start running. Uh, only smoke, uh, only smoke Hunter. Thank you very much. Happy hunting, loving the stream. Thank you for the four months. That's really kind. Five months and still really enjoying the adventures. Avato, thank you very much for the five month thinning. Very, very kind as well, dude. Thank you. Uh, Fonza, cheers for the 18 months. And Leaky Z and uh, Leakies, maybe. And Caps96, thank you both of you for the Twitch Primes. Cheers for using your Prime subs on my channel. Uh, just like Fonza and Avato and Only Smokes did as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers for the support. Thank you. How do you play Daisy without Steam on PC? You don't. I've got Steam. That's that. I've got Steam, but no, I, I don't. You can't. You have to have Steam to play Daisy. You can try to have fun with it, make an alias, uh, use the null void for uh, all non-government forms and accounts. Uh, do they rude? Yeah, I, I tend to. When I'm in a hotel, I just tend to say, "No, nah, I don't want to give you my email address," and they just do it. They you know they they don't they they want the money. You've, I, I just don't give out things that I don't want to give out. But when you're sitting at a table waiting to, like, order and you have to, you know. But, yeah, I I guess I could have more fun with it. I just, I, I am a bit of a grumpy old bastard with it. But I really hate, I, I understand the, the desire to reduce, uh, like, like, to improve social distancing. And I support that. I get that. I completely get it. I just don't get the need to uh, make, I don't want an account for every fucking fast food, not fast food even, every chain restaurant in the world that I go to once every two years. I don't want accounts for all of them, no. Because these places will get hacked one day, won't they? You know, <laughs> just like, uh, just like happens, right? One of these days there'll be a leak. That sounds good, Drift. That does sound good. Chess one sauce on chicken. Sounds good. I've had Szechuan sauce from, from the local takeaway in the past, but uh, I'm not having so much of that stuff at the moment. Right, I don't think... Oh, matches, that's good. I don't think we need too much from here. I don't want to look... I only wanted to check that for a scope. In fact, I know my hydration's fine. Let's just go. 
I don't I can't really be bothered with all of this. I think we'll just we'll just go to the the next uh, the next looting spot. I'm still hoping upon hope that we might find enough stuff to go back and, and loot the gas station the gas area, but I don't see us getting a gas mask at the moment. They seem incredibly rare. Whether well, you might be right, they might be selling that info on and profiting from it. You may well be correct. I have two hours until lunchtime and you're all making me hungry. Slow bunny, sorry dude. Uh, I've got about an hour, hour and a quarter until I can go downstairs and then I may be helping the missus cook the dinner, I don't know. Regan, they were all in Tissy, yeah. The, they're, they're only looted on here though, they're a, they're a modded item, but it was a Tissy specific thing. The zombies do seem a bit weird actually, I don't know if maybe they've been tweaked to try and make the server run better perhaps, I don't know, but there are slightly fewer zombies than yesterday, there was fucking hundreds of them yesterday. Typical slacker, take it easy, dude. Uh, Fonza, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. That's really, really kind, man. Thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the gifted subs to Misery, Mr. Lasax, Kiefer, X Horter, and Ruger. Thank you. Uh, nothing better than watching some TRMZ while having dinner. And Tom, thank you very much for the for the gift. Sorry for the resub, dude. Thank you. And cheers, less one more. Thanks a lot, man. I've been drinking cold coffee for about two hours. It's time to switch to the squash. Uh, on this server there is low level, yeah, and it, it's like a, it takes up 20 slots, but it has, uh, I think it was 49 or 59 slots inside it, I think 59. So it's five slots wide by four slots deep, but you can fit an entire suit and the gas mask in it as well. Yeah, Roma, it sucks, dude. I agree. Interesting, HB. That's cool. That That's cool. I think what happened with my car was related to the gas zone. I really do. I, the only times I had the cars running badly when I was driving it around yesterday was to do with gas. I was within, I don't know, three or four hundred meters of a gas zone. I feel like that's a massive issue for for the performance, maybe. I could be wrong, but that both times my car started bouncing around, I was really close to gas zones. Make a trip wire, it holds less. Yeah, it could do. It's not that dramatic, but it is a little. The reason I'm struggling for space is because I'm carrying so much food, isn't it, really? Probably not going to bother with the military base. Uh, that particular military base there doesn't tend to spawn a great deal in the way of uh, a, a great deal in the way of NBC stuff. There might be one thing if we're really lucky, but if you want NBC loot from the military, you go to Tissy. I don't know why I cut that all the way, really, but anyway. So I think we'll just uh, loot here, loot the medical, try and get some more NBC, go down to Severograd, check the fire station and the hospital. Have I seen the EOS mod in development? I have not. Uh, 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 right, come on it. So we've made a tripwire. Yoji Dubs, yeah, it just confirmed it just now. So I've not, I've been skirting around it, not knowing, but yeah, the zombies have been turned down a little, but. The server was struggling. It, obviously, it's running like winter, and it's running all sorts of other stuff. So it's, uh, I would imagine it's something you'll be tweaking like over a number of days just to see how it goes. It's weird. The pockets of how they spawn is kind of strange. Like, like normally there's some here, obviously, and there aren't, but. There's still lots and lots of lights. Chennai Plana felt like it had kind of regular levels of zombies. Oh, that's a shame. It's a bit like collecting the Panini stickers. We keep getting swaps now. If I had a foily swap, it would be worth more. If I had a green NBC suit, it would be worth more as a swap, wouldn't it? 
I need to... Uh, it's environmental overhaul system for Chernerus. Interesting. I need to check this again. I don't feel like I checked it thoroughly enough. I didn't need to check it any more thoroughly, did I? Right. So, we're going to quickly check here. Hopefully, we can get lucky and find... Uh, a scope. That's kind of the main thing that we can find here that would be useful is the scope. Yeah, Rody, I do as well. It's it's really fun. I really like the the, the feel of it and how it's playing as well. It, it's really cool. So I am very, very close to full hunger, like completely full hunger, but as we're running around and going light blue again here and there, you, you do soon dr lose it. So I'm, I'm trying to eat more spacing my inventory, basically. Full Metal Jacket, Present, Negan, and Pickle Jesus Bean. Thank you for the follows, guys. I'm sure there's been many other follows today that I've missed. Thanks a lot for coming in, peeps. I don't catch them all, but thank you. Well, someone's been here. There could actually be someone at the at the millie base. You never know. That might be a reason to go to, go to the millie base to, uh, to find the bad dudes. Or good dudes that we can pretend are bad, one or the other. But I think we're going to go Severo. That repeat has been dropped. Doesn't spawn there, so... Doesn't really tell me a lot, though, because it could have been dropped ages ago. Ah! To backpack, 63 slots, high insulation. This is... Oh, I'm going to keep it. Actually needs fixing again. I, I was in midway through fixing it when that dude tried to shoot at me, wasn't, wasn't I? I might start using those heat packs just enough to stay light blue. Oh, God. That, that would have definitely bust a knuckle. This is frustrating. I, best place we could find a scope for a couple of kilometres. And there's not any scope. Oh, now we've got a bit of a fuck around as well. Oh, let's just put it there for now. I'll do it later. Oh, in fact, we could probably do it here. There is a well behind me to the... Oh, God. I'm, I'm getting sick now. Oh, it's wet. Okay. Someone's dropped that, then. Someone's actually dropped that. I thought it would be frozen, but someone must have dropped it there. Okay, well, we can stop ourselves getting ill just by taking this. To be honest, with I don't even need to take it. I, I shouldn't have took a vitamin. I can't get sick. I could drink straight from the bloody pond. It would be no problem, because I'm completely full immunity, aren't I? I'm so used to never getting there. But with full blood, full health, full full water and full drink, we could, we could like, eat raw food and do what we want. We can eat stomach and stuff, you know? We can eat anything we like. It's all good. We're like a, we're like a goat or something. Literally anything can be classed as food. Any Lightly Modded Daisy servers? That, well, the Lightly Modded Daisy servers are day one. Zero, zero is very good. I'm on a zero server right now. Don't play on it while I'm streaming, though. That would be unwise. If you're watching, that is. If you're watching the stream, of course. Uh, the Lightly Modded, uh, day one and zero, along with Daisy Underground if you want a harder experience. 
If you want no modded and, and community server, then Spaggy. Spaggy servers are good. And he also has some modded ones on, like, Takistan as well. Like, he has Namalsk that are modded and one or two others. How do you empty the canteen? You just look at the ground with the canteen in your hands. Jack's Day, thank you for the prime sub. That's very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the support. No worries, Jack's all good. Thanks thanks for the prime sub, man. Very kind. Uh So this is Namals concept on Scherno. It's very similar, Scooby. Yeah, it's those kind of settings. It's as hard as Namals. Yeah. So you do have uh, frost resistance. You do have uh, like food is frozen. You've got to defrost it and so on. You know, it's it's a proper survival tough experience. You know, you you wouldn't want to swim to Scalisti. I think Scalisti is a bit of a swim too far. I, I wonder if there's actually some kind of extra islands in to help with that, perhaps. But. Yeah, it, it, it's really fun actually. That the 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 survival is trickier as a result because of the surroundings and whatnot. But uh, obviously, it's got none of the Namaus law. That's somebody at the military base. Sorry, yeah, it's got none of the like alien technology and the the portals and whatnot. It's only a single shot. I find it hard to believe that's a, a firefight. I don't really know what that would have been. Yeah, Uncle Food, that's true. I guess you could do it, but you'd need heat packs or you'd need cans of food. You'd, you could swim it to Scalisti, but I think you'd have to make a fire and have, like, like maybe you'd have to have two or three heat packs and two or three cans of food. One thing I am feeling, I could be wrong, but the cans and, and all of the food seems to be degrading temperature a little quicker than it does on the mouse, so it wouldn't provide you much of a benefit before it all went cold. But now they've modded the heat packs, I think that would be your best bet. You'd have to loot a few, though. Uh, I've not tried uh, I've not tried Banov yet, your mum's bum. What a name, your, your mum's bum. Uh, I've not tried Banov because... I tend to play lightly modded or no modded, and there's never a lightly modded or no modded server that's that's got people in it. So I, I am going to try it at some point, but I've not got there yet. I will do. Not going to go towards the shot. It, it, the chances of me finding him are probably like one in three, one in four. And I'd rather go and keep fight, keep doing what we're doing. We're do, we're doing okay. We're told, I'm not entirely made my mind up yet. It depends how we go here, you know. Uh, Fedorable TTV, uh, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. That's really kind. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel, dude. Thank you. Uh, Billy, uh, well, Tarkov will help you with the shooting, but it's the, it's the learning the map and the survival that's a bit trickier, so... Daisy's hard. It's not hard in the same way Tarkov is. It's similar, but for different reasons. It's like when you first start playing Tarkov, it's really, really hard. And But you you don't know what you're doing. You don't know the exits. You don't know the map. You don't know how to build anything. And when you go in a game, you've got some shitty little pistol. 
and there's guys running around with the best guns in the game and armor that means your bullet can't even go through their armor you know uh, so it's really hard and a massive steep learning curve with this one you spawn in the middle of nowhere and then you pick a direction and then die of thirst you know <laughs> uh, and then you spawn in again and pick a direction and die of hunger or get killed by a player or get killed by infected or whatever you know what takes the time here is learning the map and learning the uh, learning the nuances of how to survive and what to look for and so on how to read the map even if you don't know the map very well how to like just follow a road or power lines or whatever it might be to the nearest town and maybe survive in, in Tarkov you're playing and you gradually rank up to level 50 60 or whatever and you're gradually ranking up your traders in Daisy there's no ranking up of stuff like that you're ranking up yourself and gaining more experience yourself all the time Have I ever played Deadside? When it first came out, yeah. Carlito, I upload videos on a Sunday, so uh, the next video will be a Sunday, just like the last one. I only have one day a week to edit videos, and that's usually tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm either going to edit or I'm going to stream, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know which is going to be the answer just yet. Sunday's video might actually be this stream, though, so... I'm undecided if I might upload this stream as an unedited or whether I might uh, edit. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. It depends. That's that's very, very cool, but very, very hard. We're going to have to do some serious dropping of loot. Actually, no, I don't want to go that way. I think I might gamble on going back towards the gas, you know. I, like, I need a filter, so and we've got the, host the fire station to check yet as well, but... I feel like we could potentially head back to the northeast airfield uh, and maybe find that we don't have gloves. I've got everything out. No, we don't have boots. That the boots are the. I need boots and gloves. I might yet find them here. But even if I don't, I still might risk it and give it a try. I, I've got. I just. I really want to do it. I want to do the gas zone on uh, on this map, on this sort of snow map. Yeah, eradicated. That that might work. Like farm the zombies, but you could easily get overrun there as well. That would be a tricky thing, depending on what gear you've got. But yeah, you're right, farming the zombies for extra stuff might be wise. But I've only got about an hour left of this stream, and I, I really would love to get there. I really want to get to the zone. I feel like we were robbed yesterday by a bug in the car. Oh, look at that. What insulation are they? Low. Do I... So now we've, we've got the gloves. i tell you what, we can drop the other ones. I picked up those. We don't need those. So we need boots and a filter, and we've got the complete set. That would be so cool. Still a very realistic chance at the fire station that we could get, we could get some. Well, uh, I normally wear the gloves, Craig, but I'm on a particularly cold server. I'd, I think you might find that your decision-making would change if you're on a server where you, you can get frostbite and freeze your nadges off, you know. So uh, I'm just wearing the other gloves for now. I might change my mind, but it's, it's slightly different based on where we are. Like being on, like, Namowsk level cold. It 
if you get frostbite in in this bear in mind it's modded by the way but if you get frostbite once it it costs you 10 percent of your health and then more so thereafter so you go down from 100 to 90 percent and then 90 to 80 and so on right so it's uh, it's pretty serious right what can we think about dropping i think i am going to go with that i'm going to regret it but i'm going to do it Fuck that. Okay, that'll do. We don't need the Mosin rounds. Okay, right. We can still eat and drink more as well. We, we can gradually start making more space. So, I'm probably going to give the... Uh, fire station a, a, a loot. I'm not I'm gonna give the police station a swerve and then I'm gonna start heading back. I think it's worth it. We can head back towards the northeast airfield. I may be able to do it without making fires as well. We're only light blue temperature right now and I've got like five heat packs so I might start activating a, like two heat packs at a time. As long as I don't go dark blue I'll just keep going it'll be fine. So good. That's the way I'm going. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zombies aggroed? Come in. Please come in. So the shot must have been... Oh, she's aggroed. She's stopped. The shot must have been close to the fire station. Actually felt like it was further than that. Nobody's looted the fire station or the garages, I don't think. I'm going to go with my gut. I feel like it was more along here. I'm going to try heading towards the tents. I feel like you only shoot if you're if you're heading out of town, maybe. I, I doubt he's in the fire station. My gut tells me he's gone this way. And so I'm just going to try and head, head towards the tent, see if we can catch him off, you know. Like, maybe this might be a mistake, but... Oh, did I just see movement? No, I don't think I did. You'd think there would be zombies here. See, I don't know, with the zombies having been turned down a touch, I don't know how many zombies there should be here. I don't think he's here. I think he was back where we were. see a zombie oh no there's there's several there he's not here then look I think they've spawned in for me I did get quite a lot of epinephrine so we could take a few I 
I don't think that shot was far. I don't think it was far away. And that zombie was kind of vaguely aggroed for a split second. Like it was just on the edge of the town. And then it gave up being aggroed, you know. So it could have been in one of these houses. Or it could have been just the other side of the fire station. So, But whoever fired it could be anywhere. Absolutely fucking anywhere now, couldn't they? Hoping we might find a scope. There could be a fire in one of these houses as well, couldn't they? They're... Keep an eye out for smoke. It's one of the tricky things with slightly fewer cars. Sorry, cars. Cars on the brain because I've just seen one. With with fewer zombies, although there was a few aggro, there was a few around. Kind of like a suppressed pistol there. You, you can't get quite such a steer. There are plenty of zombies here, though. really need are NBC boots. They're the only thing I'm missing. Well, and a filter. Hello? Hello? has gone on here. And he's been looted, right? He's definitely been looted. Where the fuck did his... Oh, there's a mask there with a filter. Yeah, I wasn't going to take the bag because I didn't think I needed it, but now I have a reason to need it, don't I? I need that. <laughs> 
God almighty, we've got so much junk. So, this shot, whoever got, the, the guy that got killed, he was killed recently. Like, literally, we heard the shot, and then the zombies were aggroing, and he's, what's he done? Where's the guy gone? His killer must still be around somewhere. We, he might be sorting his loot out in another bit of the building, or he might be... I don't know. He was shot in the chest to be killed, so multiple shots killed him. But we were really nearby, like where would he have gone? I just need NBC boots. It's a shame. It's a shame I can't work out where this dude's gone. Like, where do you go if you've killed a guy and you want to sort loot? I don't think he'd be very far away. Like, we went to the tents and he hadn't gone that far. I ain't got time for this shit. The killer is obviously searching for the NBC kit. I don't think he is because he didn't shoot. He didn't check the fire station fully. I don't know what's gone on there. Maybe he's logged out. Maybe he's just logged out with the win and like, oh fuck that. I'll come back another day. Could have gone over there, but I, th I think I'm not going to bother looking anymore. I think we're just going to go back. I still need NBC boots, and I've got a complete set. So, we can actually survive. We can survive with what we've got, really, but... I think I'm going to head back towards the northwest northeast airfield, or maybe, maybe I'll check a couple of different places. But I'm going to just try and paste it back and get in the gas zone, you know? That'll be a cool, cool end-game goal try and get to the gas zone on one of these. I think that would be kind of a cool achievement in a way. I'd still love to know where the guy is though. I would have thought there's no flies on the bodies, just like Namask, yeah. Says, I think it could be cool. I think the reality is that it would probably uh, it it would probably not go so well. You know, like the idea would be great, but you just like because you can wall bang doors, you'd be slowly opening a door to be tactical, and they'd just shoot you as you did it, kind of thing. You know. I already looted this once, but we've moved a little bit away. I'm not going to loot the whole thing. I'm not doing the whole hospital, but I'm going to quickly just check the the outer lying bits. You never know. I actually don't think I looted in here. I did, I came out of here. Alright, 
That's enough of that then. Let's go. God, I'm never going to find anything to reload. My inventory's so full of junk. Haven't I got another mag? Yeah. So where did my mag go? Uh, Blackjack, fuck time flies, no wonder we are so old, Paul. Speak for yourself, dude. Speak for yourself. Cheers very much as well, Blackjack. Thank you for the 48 months, dude. We're not getting that old, right? It's fine. I think it's okay. Maybe. Thank you very much, Blackjack. Giovanni started watching Daisy last year while Stroud was playing Winter Generous. Here I am watching The Godfather. Gi Giovanni, thank you very much for the support, dude. Cheers for the three months. Prozo, thank you for the two months. Cheers for the resub. Really, really kind. Desync, thank you for the 14 months as well. Uh, Ed2K, thank you for the tip. That's very generous as well, dude. Uh, I'm going to take one more of these just to get out of town, I think. Ed2K, uh, keep the unedited videos coming so I can spend another night without sleeping. Love your content, Paul. Keep it up. Greetings from Germany. Dude, thank you. This today might be this week's video. It might be unedited as well. I might upload this today. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but we will see. It's a car there, look. Cars work perfectly f for me. They always work great. Uh, ED, Ed 2K, thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, what have you got? No, it misses some stuff. Fuck that, let's go. Uh, Brutus, you will only get max one cut without NBC boots or gloves in the gas, if I remember correctly. It's two, Brutus, two cuts. Two on your feet, two on your hands. I think. It might be one. You might be right. Oh, there's a extra military tower there. There's Oh, there's military on the top as well. Look at that. I'm not going to loot the whole thing there, but there's military there. Maybe I should. You never know. We might find NBC boots, but... That's pretty cool. It's a fucking nightmare for being sniped in, though. Like, well, no, just being overwatched in. I would imagine the building itself might have a bit more military in it as well. SKS? Got 30 bullets. I might think about that. Can make a grenade trap now. I can't be bothered to check the whole building. I haven't got time. These aren't going on the floor, are they? No, they're not. Uh, Jika, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the northeast airfield yet or not. I might go to the fire station at Chennai and the medical... I don't really know. I'm not quite sure what makes sense yet. I've not made my mind up entirely. But I'm going to look... I'm, go I'm trying to get back towards the, the gas zone anyway. Uh, Curry Carl, it's a modded server, yeah. It's modded to be like the mouse, but in Chernera, so very hard. Constantly cold, struggling, kind of... Look at our frost resistance, though. That's going pretty well. You wouldn't think it was hard, based on the backpack full of gear I've got, but yeah, it's it's quite hard. Where's my... Tr oh, my trousers are gone. Where are they? There we go. So just two heat packs. I'm not going to use more. I don't mind if I stay light blue. I just don't want to go dark blue. We'll use two heat packs. See if we can make some serious speed. I've started before that epinephrine fin. Oh no, it's gone in. That's cool.
Uh, Mork, thank you for the two months as well. Thanks a lot for the support, guys. Very, very kind. Cheers, cheers for the resubs and teams. Jaxel, you've been unlucky. If you've been, if you're talking about just like all regular servers, uh, you do need to check every little minute detail, though. Like I went, I went to Riffy the other day, for example, uh, and there was not on the Riffy boat. There was not a single thing worth looting. It was dog shit. The loot was shit. But in the containers out the front, in two containers next to each other, well, there was an AKM and an M4. And the best loot you can find at, at Riffy is an AKM and an M4, and both were there. How cool does this look? It looks really cool, doesn't it? Makes the map look a lot bigger, though. It makes it, makes it feel like it's a lot more travelling. Yeah? Well, that's the same. It's the same for me as it would be on console, Jaxel. It's the same kind of randomness. I was playing on vanilla servers at the time, so it's the same loot table as you, you know. So you should still be able to get them, but it is luck of the draw. But, like, if you're at Pavlovo... Uh, or whether you're at Pavlova at Riffy, check everywhere. Every container on the outside on the beach. It, and you probably have done and you've just been bad luck, but... Same at Pavlova. Check every little shed. Check the big building going around the back that nobody used to loot before because they're all... They're all kind of useful. I'm a little bit gutted we couldn't find the, sh the shooter there. It's almost... With, with the door was closed on the inside. That guy, he was facing into the building. He was facing into the room there. But you've got two doors and they go into that little room. He was facing into that. So my guess is somebody was camping inside. He walked in and got sprayed down dead, right? And I also would guess that he'd been killed multiple bullets. So I would guess he's been shot by something suppressed that I couldn't hear. Uh, and we did, I thought I heard a suppressed shot, so maybe we had somebody killing a zombie afterwards, but I think he was killed from inside the room, and he got one shot off himself, and the other guys probably got the same primary weapon, took all his Mosin bullets, and fucked off, but I thought we heard him kill one zombie just as we were running back, you know. What about the door of the barn I ran by? Zed, it's not any different to navigate, dude. Oh, the barn door opened, did it? Interesting. There's been some weird desync things going on with that, so it might not actually be a player, believe it or not. Not desync, but... Like, you get close enough and then it opens, but it's like... Just should have already been open and it wasn't on your client kind of thing. It could have been a player, but I think I'm just going to carry on anyway. It's certainly more than 2% chance, Willis, because I've found them a lot more than two. Uh, I, It feels like it's more than 50-50, you'll get one or the other. Uh, I'd say it's probably about two in three times I've been that I've found an assault rifle of some sort. Like, not including ASVALs and VSSs. Ebby, yep, it's full with a queue. I'm not going to bump into people here, though. Ebby, I'm always going to be on a full server. <laughs> Uh, very, very rarely will I not be. So that question's kind of moot as a as a rule. I I don't play on low pop servers, just so you know. Uh, cheers for the follows as well. Quite a few follows coming in. So there is uh, there's a civilian barracks up here. We could probably head towards it. I don't know. I, need to, I feel like I'm watching down in my chair. I need to sit up. There we go. We might as well go. I don't think you... The chances of NBC loot in places like this are very, very small. But there is a small chance. Maybe we should check it for boots. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't work on percentages, Mars. But uh, if th maybe there's meant to be one AKM and one M4 on the ground at any one time, right? That's probably where, the way it feels to me, roughly. But that there's only Pavlovo and Riffy that they can be. So if you go to Pavlovo and loot the whole thing and there isn't one, chances are they're both at Tissy. Sorry, at Riffy. Do you know what I mean? There's probably meant to be one on the ground of each. 
but there's two places they can be, so maybe you could be unlucky on that basis. But that's like a Punnett Square in a way, isn't it? You, there could be one at each, there could be two at one and none at the other, you know? The, but the chances are better that there'll be one than there won't be one, you know? Uh, how long is the stream going today? Rebo, I reckon I've got about another half an hour at the most, really, today. I'm hoping to try and blitz to the uh, to the gas zone and, and loot the gas zone as, like, the end of the stream, to be honest. That's my plan. Just went dark blue there for a sec. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm still dark blue. So that's the civilian area that I was going to go to, the civilian barracks that actually spawn military loot. Christ, we must be having a cold event. Must be. So I've got four heat packs on the go. I only had five. But I want to get back. I, I don't want to fuck about. I want to get back and, and try and do this last thing before before we uh, get killed or run out of time. So I do still need NBC boots. So if we go inside with the, with the full suit we've got now, we're still going to struggle because we haven't got the boots. But we've got one last decent place to try and check to get it. We'll, if we're lucky, we'll get NBC boots. There's, there's limits to the gun spawns, Craig. Yeah, there is limits, but what it's not limited by is whether players have got one in. Like, in old, old, in the old game, if there was meant to be one SVD per server and somebody picked it up, it was still in the server, so another one wouldn't spawn in. So guns in players' hands or guns in players' stashes would stop it spawning in. They've changed the way it works now, so I don't think it happens in the same way. So just because someone's picked up an SVD, it doesn't mean there won't be another one somewhere else. That, so, yeah. That was gas, but that was, like, dynamic gas, so it was, like, one that had exploded there. It's not a static zone where the loot will be better. It, it, must, I it doesn't actually seem like it's blue, like we're in a cold event, but it certainly is behaving like it is. Holy shit, what is going on? Right, so we've got one heat pack in the top. Maybe we should move move one in there. Does that work? Two in the trousers, one in the top? No, I'm going to light the last one. Five heat packs. God knows what we'd be if we weren't using these. We'd be, we'd be dark blue flashing, I guess. Yeah, the, I, the gas was the Civ Barracks drift. Yeah, I said I said it was. Yeah, but that was that was dynamic, yeah. It definitely was the Civ Barracks. That's why I've ran around it. And I did say it was as well, by the way, but it's all good. <laughs> uh, I, I'm really wanting to come here, you know. We've made it here really quick based on the uh, fact that we've not stopped to make fires and we've used a few EpiPens as well. I just, all I need is NBC boots, and the chances of them being here must be really, really high, you know, we'd be really unlucky. I know I looted this before, but that was like an hour and a half ago, you know, so... Uh, after after we were here, we went to Chennai Palana, we went to Novo, uh, got a kill in Novo. Uh, we've been to Severograd, we've been to the summer camp, we've been to Nagano. You know, we've done quite a lot of looting since we are here, so hopefully there's an excellent chance that... Uh, that uh, a pair of boots are spawned in, because that's all we're after, a pair of boots. We'll be laughing. NBC. NBC. Nuclear Biological Chemical. It's the suit, this. Uh, and we're trying to go to a gas zone where you need a full suit to uh, survive. And the only thing I don't have is the boots. I've got gloves, I've got ha I've got the hood, I've got the jacket, the trousers, the, like, the gas mask. The only thing I don't have is the hood. Sorry, the boots. And here is our best chance probably on the entire map to get it. So let's see. You were just hired by the Eagles. Word is Bond. Congratulations, dude. 
that's cool. We had somebody in earlier that works for Man City. We're getting all the sportos in these days. Fair play, dude. Good job. I hope I hope it's something uh, rewarding that you really enjoy, man. That sounds cool. I am most impressed with your ability to discuss dynamic gas exploding without giggling like a ten-year-old. What the hell is wrong with you, Paul? Farts are funny, even thick ones. On the on on others, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I I hadn't even thought about it. I'm too busy focused on gas, focused on NBC. <laughs> Head T ball. Thank you very much, Rick. Stop counting these these a couple of years back. Just here for the entertainment, good vibes, and the love of Daisy Rick, dude. That's very kind. You're the second 77 month of today, which is mad. That's insane. Thank you very, very much, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Remember when we went, we left here and went off travelling because we needed NBC stuff? I bet we find everything here except for the boots. If I just need the gloves, please. Give me the gloves. No. Why do I keep saying gloves? Boots. I mean boots, okay. I asked for the wrong thing and that's why they were there, isn't it? I fucked up my, my daisy luck. I'm still going in even if I don't get the boots, but it's going to be risky. I believe wellies can actually work a little bit. Wellies can help. I should have picked up a pair of wellies, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's actually a good shout. Taking more bandages would be wise. I'm just going to take those two. I, if there's another one in here, I'll take that too. But there is. Krasnostad Town Medical Centre. Uh, it's the wrong way. I've, I've not got long left. I'm, I'm going to go for it anyway. It's probably uh, risky and I shouldn't do it, but I ain't got very long. It's either we go to the gas zone now or we don't go to the gas zone at all. There's a good chance I can get, get boots inside. I have found stuff like boots in there. Oh, look. It's a shame we got rid of the scout now, but... Pioneer, I should say. But I have found boots and other things in there. We're just going to have to bandage regularly while we're in. Sip. <laughs> it fills you with hope, does it? Blimey. Where am I? This is a modded version of the North Northeast Airfield. I've got a blood pack, blood bag. Yeah, I've got one. So that, that will help as well. If we do get sick, I can fix myself, which is good. got a lot of epinephrine as well so the problem I've got is the cold you know it's dark blue cold I'm gonna end up like freezing to death when we try and loot Riffy it's getting night time I've got five heat packs on the go and it's still not enough I do feel a bit unlucky that we haven't got NBC uh, boots but never mind Jax, I don't think it slows the rates of cuts, unfortunately. What it does do is uh, reduce the maximum you can get. So I think I can get one cut now, I think. I think it's one for your... one for your, Or is it two for your hands? I can't remember. I can't remember if it's two for your legs and two for your upper body, or two for your boots and two for your hands. Animal guts keep you warm if you warm them up. You have to heat them up. I'm not going to bother, though.
I'd guess one one foot cut total based on leg breaks. Yeah, I hope so, Uncle Food. I don't know, but I think you can get a maximum of seven bleeds, and I'd be surprised if two aren't associated to the top and two aren't associated to the pants. And so the hands and the uh, and the feet equate to one, but I don't know. I, it's in Wobo's video, and I've seen it, but I can't remember it. And I, I we'll find out when we get in there. To be fair, we probably won't, because I'm probably going to bandage the cuts away, but... Five zero. This is a hardcore Winter Chernera server with uh, Namalsk uh, type mods on it, so it's hard. Paul smashing epipens like they're tramadol. <laughs> I got is that the last one? Oh. Your face counts as one. Oh, okay. Hot bar break. Well, it cross graze it might, but I've got a hot bar right after I've used it every time, so I'd actually be wasting a little bit of this infinite stamina hot barring it if that makes sense. So I don't think it would do much good. You can't hotbar it if you're taking it and running, if, you, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to be fine. I'll be all right. I don't need sleep. Sleep is for the weak. We're going uh, gas zone lootening. That's what we're doing. It's going to be great. Definitely won't fall off a cliff, not pay paying attention. Sea Tower, thank you for the four months. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. This feels a bit high. We're getting near a lake. Uh, sea Tower, thank you very much for the words. Didn't know there was a winter churno. Cheers, no worries. <coughs> Thanks a lot for the support, dude. Uh, CB, love your content to many more. Cheers, thank you very, very much as well. Cheers for the support. Uh, what does EpiPen do? It allows you to run without stamina. Like, so you get infinite stamina for one minute. Jesus Christ, this is cold. Like, I can't do any more heat packs than this. One of the other problems is that when we get there, I'm going to have to... No, oh, didn't like that. I'm going to have to switch to NBC clothes, which is worse, you know. It's not just that we're going to be cold. Uh, we're already cold, you know. We've got to put on worse clothing. Everything we're going to be switching to is worse clothing than what we've got right now. Maybe I'll need the buff, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take some sticks in and I'll get the buff on the way, you know. I'll just get it inside the... We'll make a fire on Riffy Boat. That seems like the best idea. Andy Miller, I've saved one EpiPen in case I need it, actually need it in a fight or something. I know that, Craig. There's a few other places you could build a fire there as well, I suspect, but... Oh, that sucks. You could build it on the top deck, but there's a few... Like, you could do it there and then you don't need your gas mask, I suppose, is the main benefit, isn't it? You, you can make it there and uh, then skedaddle away, you know? You don't, know, you don't have to fuck about. Like, you can keep your gas mask off and, and save the filter. Very cool going night time just as we're getting here. Look at it looks so cool. It's actually gonna be hard. Normally I hide stuff in a uh, in a bush, but that I will have to pick a pine tree, I suppose, but 
There's not as much cover on the ground. Even the pine trees, look. Most of the pine trees don't have anything. So we're going to struggle to to hide our loot somewhere where people can't just steal it. I've managed to eat my way up to full energy again. We might as well leave that now. Uh, Sip, thank you for the 16 months. Merman Jazz, haven't been playing for some time, but still love watching your streams. Keep up the good work. Merman, thank you for the two months. And uh, Tarzan, thank you for the bits as well, dude. Thank you. I don't know. The lighthouse maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter whether I lose my gear or not. It's more... I want, I want to get in there. I, I want to get in the adventure more than anything else. Yeah, I don't really understand why they're not they're not got stuff on. It's like those trees are dead, isn't it? I don't know. Look, some of these have got bases on. Look, I don't know why some are dead and some are alive, but it's probably a good thing. to have plenty of bandages to hand. Also those to hand as well. Probably don't need food. We get the heat let's get the heat packs. They should still have heat in them. Where's my other heat packs? I had five on the go. Where did the others go? Maybe they despawn once they're in once they've been used. It looks like they've just disappeared. I probably don't need to uh, take quite all of this food. Let's just leave a little bit behind. Uh, we'll take that because we can use it to fix things. I have I haven't sorted my inventory out for so long; it's a complete mess. But that'll do. Gonna need that to light the fire with, though. Right. Alright, let's go. We have got quite a lot of stamina now, haven't we? So the biggest issue we've got right now is our feet. We're going to need to bandage a lot because of my feet. The other issue we're going to have is uh, we're bright yellow. So let's hope there's nobody else here. can actually see in the gas a lot better through the gas. You can see it better because of the, uh... The fuck is there a light there? What is that? That means someone's been in there. I feel like that's modded there, like, to make it look spookier. That is cool. I think it's a Halloween pumpkin, do you? Okay. I think you're right. I think it is. Oh shit, I have two cuts already. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to do nothing but bandage. I really need, like, two. So it is two, one for each foot. And every 15 seconds I'm going to get more.
M4. One bleed, another bleed is coming. Oh shit. Run, run, run! Run! Oh, you knob! I had no stamina! Oh no. It wouldn't give me stamina to run. Obviously, I'd used it, right? I'm, this might be a real problem now because we're uncon for 30 seconds. We've got two bleeds for all that time. Uh, I should have saved some EpiPens for the gas. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. <laughs> How have I got three bleeds? And one of them must be from a zombie hit. Injector is good. Where did the zombies go, right? That was just inundated by zombies a second ago. Where are they? I'm ill. I've got the sickness already. How quick was that? I presume it's the sicking up blood sickness, right? I feel like that's gone a bit soon. I, don't, I think it might be a cold. If your suit's damaged, it doesn't make any difference unless it gets ruined. It's fine. I know I've got regular boots on Green Machine. I said that before I came in. You're not telling me something I don't know. I came in anyway because I'm running out of time and I wanted to try it. This is really a challenge doing it this way, I have to say. Holy shit. I'm not coughing blood. I'm not coughing blood. 
If I was coughing blood, I'd be bending over and coughing blood. I'm not. I, I've just got a cold from being cold. I've not got anything else. That's all. Unfortunately, I think my matches... Are oh, no, they're not, because of the suit. That's cool. Why can I not like that, then? Why can I not like that? Ship is above the water, it won't work. Oh, that sucks. I hadn't thought about that. I think you you are absolutely bang on. <coughs> uh, where are you? I've got so much crap in my inventory. I'm going to try this, but I don't think it's going to work. I think you're right. I'm definitely not coughing blood. That's that's definitely not happening. So, okay. <coughs> I'm going to have to drop this. I can't keep carrying everything like this. I, I'm going to drop this gun. I'm going to need to change my boots because my boots are wet. So any boots will do. I'm going to run out of bandages. But even if we have to leave, I've got an M4, you know. I feel like that's a cool achievement. I don't think I've got many bullets, but... And I can maybe pick that up on the way out. <coughs> okay, now I am. Now I'm sick. I don't want the SKS anyway, guys. It's fine for now. It's okay. I'm, I'm not worried about players. I'm worried about the sickness. I'm worried about the cold. I just want to loot. And I can't loot for very much longer. So we're good. We're, we'll have to see how we go. I don't think I have hardly any M4 rounds. So maybe it's a mistake. But I'm going to do it anyway. Besides, it's too late now. I've just read it in the chat. I've already done it, haven't I? So... You think I have no choice but to leave. Challenge accepted. I don't I can't sit and wait for my blood to refill. I can't, unfortunately. Because if I do that. I am uh, I am going to run out of uh, bandages and I'm also going to get frostbite. Is an AKM there? I did have an AK. Oh, is that a 101? I think that's an AKM in a in a 101 skin. Yeah, it is. So there's both guns here. Look. I think I chucked chuck the AK mag, didn't I? Oh well, let's let's do it anyway. I definitely didn't nearly die there. So yeah, I I uh I may have slightly missed <laughs> I I obviously didn't want to do that, right? But I was trying to get on the yellow fork because on the other side in the middle bit on the bottom there's three military containers where there's often good shit. 
and I'm running out of time. I'm going to go red blood. I had to be quick. <laughs> so I tried to be go, go across. I did that all the time in the past. A lot of you guys will have seen me do it. But you can run onto the fort, get onto the far side. And I was trying to do it quickly because I only had so much, so little time. And I, it, I was just like urgently looting, right? It felt like it was possible. And it was. But yeah, that was too far. I can probably run in and grab the gear as a freshborn, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. Well, if I get a Berezino spawn, I'll try and run in. But if I don't get a Berezino spawn, I'm giving up. And I don't think you get North Berezino anymore. So we'll see where we spawn. But I, th I think uh, I think that's a no-go. Oh, that sucks. What a way to end. I really enjoyed the stream today. It's been really fun. I, some ups and downs and some cool moments. Christ, it feels like we've actually spawned on the mouse. Oh, guys, I tell you what. I tell you what. This is North Berezino. I can't believe it. We can try. We can try. I think we're going to die. I don't think we... I think we'll die before I make it, but I'll try. All I can do here is get the stuff and then leave. I, I don't think I can do anything else. Well, the gas is probably going to kill me, right? But I can get there. I can bandage it away the, the, the bleeds. But I'm going to get a bleed every 15 seconds. So I've just got to go there, drag all of the stuff on, put the gas mask on, take the pox injector, and then bandage my way out. You know, it should be possible. I had a pox on my body, so the pox injector I picked up from the boat will cure me. So I can get sick. I just can't go unconscious in there. Uh, so we ha we actually can do it. It's just, I don't know the shortest route. I don't know the shortest route into the boat. I don't know the shortest route, so I think we're just going to run. <sighs> Fucking hell. Insane, yeah, I'm going to drop all of my loot before I get in there. I think that's that's the way to do it. Oh, God, I can't believe we've got that spawn. I nearly just exited them, but I can't believe we've got this spawn. That's mad. I, I'm just going to have to run straight in from the very edge, guys. I can't fuck about. We're just going to go straight in. That's completely my fault. I'm so I'm annoyed at myself at that because I wanted to get that M4 out and then use that tomorrow, you know, or use it whenever. I, I felt like it would be a good, like, part two or a, a let's see what we can do or we've got a mission to go and find M4 rounds. You know, the M4s are rare. I also had an ACOG scope as well, you know. We, we really had a, a, a reason to be cheerful right there. And I just completely fucked it up. I am a little bit worried about the zombies, though. I just killed all the zombies, but they could easily respawn. Oh, so stupid. Do I, uh, this feels like a further run then. I think I might cut around to the edge a little bit. I certainly want to get my stamina back. I don't think we can go much better than this. I think I'm just going to go. I shouldn't have done that that early, but never mind. <coughs> One bleed already. <coughs> Flashing blue. Run out of stamina. Three bleeds. Have the sickness.
Come on. Just got another bleed from my feet. I'm going to bandage this out and I'm going to get another bleed. Where did the night vision go? Oh, it's gone on the... It goes on the blaze! That can't be right, can it? Is this a risk, would you say? I can't do it. I can't. I've got to go. I've got to go. We should take the win. We've got the M4. I'm very pleased with that. Where did my SKS go? There it is. We'll take that as a backup. I also have the AKM on the back as well. I don't want to use the pox until I'm out of the zone, because if I use it and I'm still in the zone, there's a chance I'll end up needing it again and I won't have it, you know? I, I want to get out of the zone. Like, just like this. And then we can bandage. I presume I've got a... I presume I'm actually ill. Uh... Where is the pox injector? Let's just take it. I presume it's not a cold and it's actually the illness. Yeah, it was. So we had the we had the illness. We've cured that. I've not sicked up any blood. We're instantly cured. All is well. Holy fuck, I can't believe we just got that back. So we've lost out on a hell of a lot of frost resistance, but we're still alive. We're still uh we're still kicking, right? Alive and kicking, as it were. Holy shit, I can't believe that. I can't believe it. That is insane. Might as well drop that one, actually. Uh, put you there. I'm probably more used to... more need to use that for now. So yeah, I didn't get killed by the gas. I got killed by my own stupid parkouring. <laughs> I can't believe it. What a spawn. I was not going to respawn. I would, if we if we got the spawn, great. If we didn't, that's it. And we did. That was an incredibly lucky spawn. Oh, hang on. Holy shit. Right, my health is going down. I need a fire. I think we're just going to make one. I could do with a building, actually. Where's the nearest building to here? There isn't really one. Well, there is one in the trees, but I might easily miss it. Where's my last EpiPen? I thought I had one more. I can't believe I just survived that. Mazma, it probably won't be. I think this will probably go up to YouTube unedited. So if you're watching this far on YouTube as I'm talking to Mazma in Twitch, thank you. Uh, I'm going to be streaming part two of this tomorrow. But by the time you watch this on YouTube, it will have been three days ago. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you probably took a week to do this. So thank you. I do appreciate it, guys. Hello, YouTube. Uh, so my plan now back in Streamception world is to just go this way a bit. I need to make a fire. I'm, I'm actually dark blue temperature. We're completely geared to the point where we should have like uber frost resistance and we've just lost it all. But what we have gained is a mission. We've got an AKM and we've got an M4. 
I'm probably going to drop the M4 and we'll just make the A the sorry I'll drop the AKM and we'll just make the M4 the mission right and, and uh, see if we can't go and get geared you know that would be very very cool and we we've got a mission to go and try and get an M4 and then maybe we can get a bit more stuff together and uh, try and go back to one of the, the the boats a bit more prepared and get a suppressor as well. I still need a scope for the blaze as well. Feast, that was a bit of a save. It was a very lucky spawn. My missus is going to be having my guts for garters, though. Uh, I told her I'd finish at quarter past seven, and it's half past seven, so I'm, I'm going to get my nuts chopped. Uh, just need to try and find the house. the one we're going for. Tell her I saved an M4 and she'll understand. She she won't give her shit. <laughs> uh, let's get another stick. I kind of want to do this because I was obviously in the water there a lot. That was really risky. I have to say the urgency of looting the gas zone when you're just missing boots. It's a good job. Thank you to whoever said pick up some bandages by the way because you were bang on like I needed those bandages, because you need to bandage a lot, right? I did need them. Uh, that was cool. I've never done that before. That's the first time I've done that. If I guess if you know there's a body there, you can risk it. But you can only risk it if you know there's a pox injector on the body. It, there's only certain circumstances where that's going to work, basically. Right. Uh, do I have anything what will burn? Where's matches, 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 matches? Where are you? Oh my god, my inventory. It's, it's all the more over the place than it was before. There we go. You better have a diamond on it. Yeah. You, you've met my missus, I think. <laughs> uh cool that we had we kept all this food that I didn't think we needed because now we definitely do need it don't we I can try and sort the loot out a little bit later like not now but god the temperature looks a bit pale doesn't it hey Tibo, I'm sorry to hear about your potential nuts def deficit maybe these bits will help dude thank you very much for the support man cheers for the uh, bittening I'll probably be alright hopefully I won't get too seriously in trouble. We'll see. Uh, chicken dumpling. Thank you for the bits. It feels really pale, doesn't it? Is that frozen? Yeah, it is. Right. Now we're not at risk of frostbite. We managed to do that without getting frostbite, which I think was a fairly solid achievement. All, all being all in, you know. Yeah, I'm yellow blood. I'm just not really, uh, I'm not really with it yet, you know. I just, can't, I can't believe we just managed to run in and get that gear. That is insane. Uh, oh. Uh, head T ball, thank you. Uh, Chicken Dublin, great seeing live. It's a 12 hour difference from where I am. Uh, watching you from high, watching you in my office. Keep up the great work. Dude, well, I hope it's nice. I bet the weather's nice there, right? The weather's starting to feel a bit more like it is out here, over there. And it's not snowing here or anything, but it's starting to feel a bit more wintry, let's say. If I can just get a little bit of heat in these, I just need to be white temperature. Surely they should all warm me up a bit. How am I not white temperature now? Grimlove, I'm going to upload the entire VOD from my first death. 
So I had a, the very first life of today was about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to upload it from about three minutes before I got killed all the way through. So it'll be nearly that. It won't show the first upload of the first life. Uh, and it'll just work because after that I KOS somebody else and then went on a three minute rant justifying it. <laughs> it wasn't a rant, but I talked about it quite a lot. Uh I don't know. I, I think today's been a really in interesting day. I, the thing that's frustrating is that I chuck the, I've actually killed myself when we did all of the hard work and really got a speed loot route and got an M4, which I think is insanely cool. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed that I... Oh, God. That I, I kind of chucked it away a little bit. But... Oh, my word. I tell you what, that is going to be cool. I want to try that. I've never actually bothered to try one before. I, I want to give that a whirl. But we've got an M4 and we've got an ACOG. We live in the dream, you know. We, we've also got the SKS still. We've got this crazy backpack with all sorts on it and an AKM. Probably should drop the AKM. It's a little bit greedy to have it, but oink oink. Come on. I can't get the plus symbol. I need this. I need to go uh, white temperature, like sharpish. <clears throat> right. How are we doing? Surely we must be getting close now. That, these are losing their temperature so quick compared to how. Like that one's already lost it completely. It doesn't seem to be keeping the residual heat like they do on the mouse. Maybe that's a separate mod, or I don't know what. Maybe I'm imagining it as well. Put the meat on the smoker. I, I, I don't want to risk anything getting ruined or disappearing. It's, it's fine. Uh, Lil, Lil Oddie, uh, it, uh, the maximum temperature for any fire is a thousand degrees, and stick fires will get to a thousand degrees as well. This one's now eight hundred. So when you're waiting, most of the waiting is waiting for the heat to to rise. You're waiting for the temperature of the fire to get to the to the max, like one thousand. But what, like you can see now, and now it's nine hundred. It's blazing away. We're going to be fine, you know. Kind of a shame that we got the AKM suppressor. And most of my clothes shouldn't be wet because I wasn't wearing them. In fact, the only clothes that are wet are the boots. So yeah, I, the, the, the clothes I didn't wear, I went running in without them, didn't I? Oh, come on, the plus symbol must be coming. Will the MVG scope... I can't believe that MVG scope goes on the blaze. I, I didn't realise that went on it. Is that actually like that in vanilla as well? I'm surprised it does. I've never tried. It doesn't go on it on vanilla. I didn't think it did, but yeah, it seems to go on it on here. Do you know why it is? It's because it's a reskin blaze, and some of the modded skinned weapons take kind of random loot. That's why it is. I won't use it on there anyway. I'll use it on the M4, or I won't use it. But that Kabasi, yeah, that's the scope that's been added to the game. I've found it a few times, but I've never bothered trying to use it before. Right, guys, we have the plus symbol. Uh, I've got ourselves out of the shit. That's it. What a, what a fun little last half an hour that was. That was mad. <laughs> I can't believe we lived. So we may well... I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'm not going to edit this week. I'm going to stream tomorrow. It'll be a daytime stream. Something like, I don't know, half ten till five or whatever. But I'm going to stream tomorrow so that we can carry on doing this some more and go and get some M4 stuff and see what we can do with this character. Uh, that is cool. What a lot of fun. Uh, so this week's video is going to be this. So if you're watching this, this is the end. Thank you very, very much for watching. 
I'll be editing this week's. Next week's video will be an edit. Probably. Might not be. I don't know, because next Thursday I might be going to London. I don't know. But anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, on YouTube, take it easy. Catch you later. Love you. Bye. Uh, and everybody on Twitch, thanks a lot for watching as well, guys. <laughs> Little bit of a, like, a YouTubeception there.